Bowser is back again and he's kidnapped Princess Peach. Mario and his friends use new power-ups to save the Mushroom Kingdom from Bowser and the Koopalings. In today's video, we play through the full game of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, completing each level, collecting every star coin, and defeating all bosses. Let's get started. Today is Princess Peach's birthday. Oh, isn't that nice? It sure looks like it. Look at all the, the, the presents and the flowers and the eggs uh, and the cake with hair on it. I don't think I want a slice of that cake. Oh, oh gosh, it's Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings. Now I really don't want a slice of that cake. <laughs> Did they just take her already? Come on, it's been like two and a half seconds. We can't get like any exposition except it's her birthday and boom, she's gone. And Mario and the gang are chasing after her. It's not just Mario this time, but Luigi and two toads. <laughs> what about this toad? Is he chasing after her as well? Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want the princess to be without her presence on her birthday. But what were the symbols on them? We had a penguin and like a little helicopter helmet. Ooh, maybe, just maybe, they're brand new power-ups. Come on, Mario, Luigi, Toads, keep running. I don't know if you guys are really fast or if that airship is really slow, but I guess we'll find out when we catch up. Oh, look at World One. This is looking really good. Oh, and there's Roy Koopa. How are you doing, dude? Probably as evil as always, right? Okay. And here we are, World 1. So this is the new Super Mario Bros for the Wii. Like I said before, one of my favorite new Super Mario Bros games. We're gonna be doing our best at 100% th this first world today. And yeah, it sort of just goes right into it. So why don't we go right into it with World 1-1? I am so excited for this. Like I said, I love this game so much. I'll probably be explaining throughout the series why I love it so much, but for now, let's just focus on the first level. Uh, and I, I just like how you can see Princess Peach's castle in the background. Worst birthday ever, you get abducted by evil Koopalings, but we'll do what we can. And that's a new addition to the new Super Mario Bros. series. There's a pipe down here, I wanna go check this out that in New Super Mario Bros. for the DS, you were de dealing with Bowser Jr. and Bowser and a slew of other baddies, but not the Koopalings. Here in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, they start using the Koopalings. So that's a def definitely an interesting change. And I'm hoping I can play well for you guys because this is, like I said, my favorite New Super Mario Bros. game. And I also feel, feel like it's one of the easiest. It's a really a breeze, a pleasant breeze to play through. So yeah, let's try to check out some new power-ups, let's play these new levels, and have a good time. I definitely wanna hear, if you guys have played this game before, be sure to let me know. Oh boy, let's be careful about this. Oh, we got some coins. I'll be sure to earn up as many lives as I can right at the beginning, but I remember this game being super easy when it comes to earning up lives, so let's hope that's not gonna be an issue. And we got a little checkpoint right there, and we got our first star coin. Just like in the last game, we have three star coins to collect, and here's our first one. So I could go up there, but I sort of want to run over this way for one specific reason. And also, I haven't mentioned it. We got a new power up, it's a propeller cap. I don't know why I just <laughs> didn't even realize. I guess I played this game so much, it's a little second nature to me, just be like, okay, pick up a propeller cap. But yeah, you shake the Wiimote and Mario goes flying into the air, but quickly we need to go into this pipe. The thing about this pipe is you only get, I think, one chance to hop into it before it disappears for good. And that's not good. So you wanna go into there and get the second star coin. And then we can worry about everything else in the level because it's not as time sensitive. Like going up here and hitting this block and getting another one up. Now every time you do exit the pipe, you do sort of get like a second chance to go through. This time we're not gonna go down even though it really wants me to shake my Wiimote right now. I'm not going to, so I'll start flying. But if you keep moving, as you can see, there's a bit of an invisible wall, which I think is another new addition to this game is that there's invisible walls everywhere. And in here we can get even more one-ups. You can get an insane amount of lives on the very first level. Definitely if you're running low on them, I suggest playing through this level a couple times and you should be right back up the speed. So we're not quite done over, oh gosh, leave me alone, no. The Koopa stole my, my propeller cap. You gotta be careful. I wanna go up this way. Cause you can see there's a ton of stuff I missed and I think that if I go back, I should be able to get another propeller cap. Yep, yep, yep. And up here there's a couple things as well. So it's sort of a bit, a bit of a, you know, like a bran branching path, I guess you could say. And that gives me another one up, just in case I was running a little low on lives. Which I'm not, we already have 12. Excuse me, Mr. Koopa, please don't hit me. Oh, they dance to the music in this game too, I love that. And there's Star Coin number three, wait, wait, go back. Got it. Okay, very cool. But some of you may notice, if you're a long time Zebra Gamer fan, that I've actually played this level, not this level, but this game before for you guys. 
I wanted to play through it again because when we played through New Super Mario Bros. for the DS last month, a lot of you just requested that I should. And the Zebra Herd has grown since so much since four or five years ago that I figured a lot of you haven't seen me play the game and you want to see me play it. So there's World 1-1 one, one done. Let's keep moving. We got World 1-2. This is actually one of my favorite levels. It's a lot of fun. Honestly, World 1 of this game is a really solid World 1. Every level has something fun going on with it. I think it's just a really solid Mario platformer. A little straightforward with how it works, but sometimes that can be a really good thing. And here, we have our other new power-up. It's the ice flower, so just like the fire flower, it will throw out a little ball that'll bounce, but then it turns them into ice, and if we pick them up, we can throw them and they keep sliding. I don't think there was an ice ability in the game before this, or in a Mario game before this. I'm pretty sure this is the first time it showed up, but then it showed up again a little later with Super Mario Galaxy. So it's a pretty cool power up. Unlike the propeller cap, it doesn't have too many appearances in none of the Mario games. And we also have the POW block, which wasn't in the DS version. So differences for sure. I don't know why I'm getting hit so easily. I am playing really badly. I do have to apologize. I haven't played a Mario game since uh, last month when we played Mario DS. And honestly, that one controls a little bit differently. So if I am a little bit rusty, I apologize. But since this is, this is the Wii we're talking about and there's motion controls on the Wii, they definitely had to utilize that in this game. To move this platform, I need to tilt the controller either to the left or to the right. It's a little bit difficult to do with hooves, but I, I, I do my best to make it work. Luckily, it's not too demanding. It's one of the few Wii games that isn't crazy with its motion controls. And then I think there's a star coin up here. We're gonna be careful about how we do this because if I press this button, all the coins turn into blocks and all the blocks turn into coins, so I can get a lot of coins, but I wanna make sure that I get them to turn into blocks so I can get the star coin. We already have two of those already, so things are turning out really well. And one thing is that this game is just really pretty. I love all the backdrops and everything. It definitely is a huge step up compared to Mario DS, which was already a pretty, pretty game. A pretty, pretty game. It was very beautiful. It had wonderful art. But this one as well. So if I remember this correctly, if I slide under, uh, I almost did that correctly. I might be able to get like another one up or something. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, well, we can only slam down here. And this I do remember. Boom, we get ourselves a power star. I could get another ice flower there, but I wanna make sure I make the most of this power star before we get anything more, because I can get a ton more one-ups. Come on, get this one. Yeah, there we go. I could get him, but I'd rather go up this way because if I butt slam down this, which remember, you can only butt slam through uh, brick blocks like that if you're big Mario, so you wanna make sure that you didn't get hit too much. And then we pick up this pal block, that star coin we saw up there, We'll fall on down. Awesome. So we're doing pretty well so far. We have 17 lives already. We got all the three star coins in level two. And you might notice that just like World 1, 2 in the original Mario. Oh, okay, I forgot he came back. Oh, I can't get up here now. Oh, come on. Well, there should still be that mushroom back this way. I am definitely getting hit way more often than I normally do in this game. So I'm trying to be a bit more careful. I don't trust myself anymore. Oh no! <laughs> no, I can't die in the first world so easily. Oh, I'm the worst. So what I was saying before is that you can actually get up like this, and if you do it correctly, there should be a little secret. It's not anything major, but you get a couple extra coins out of it, which is nice. So let's move this way. And like I said, it's nothing major, but it's just pretty cool that, you know, they sort of added a little, I guess, homage to World 1, 2 in the original Mario Bros, where you can get up to the top of it and you can eventually get that secret warp. You don't get a secret warp here, but it would be pretty cool if they added that at some point. <laughs> Anyways, we just got normal Fire Flower now, which can still be a plenty powerful power up. And just like we used before, we can use this little ramp and get to the top of the flagpole. And if we do, we get a one-up out of it. So I'll be trying to do that a bit more often than I did it in my new Super Mario Bros. DS playthrough where I just didn't do very well with those. So let's hope that everything works out. And as you can see, not only do we unlock World 1-3, but also a mushroom hunt, which is actually worthwhile to take these when they're in front of me now because, well, I guess you'll see in a moment. For now, let's just go ahead and check one of these out since you know we haven't yet. This is our first one we're unlocking. Feeling lucky, step right through the door to win some items. So let's see if I'm any good at this. Some of these are a bit tricky. Uh, oh, the power of panels. I really like this one. Press one to punch a panel and flip it. Match a pair to win. Match two of these and it's all over. So a Bowser or Bowser Jr. See, that's sort of what's really tough about this is I've never actually got it all the way. I've gotten a lot of these, but I've never done it all the way where I've gotten every single match. Okay, there's a mushroom. So we can get a lot of power-ups this way if we don't mess up. Oh no. 
So if I get another Bowser Jr., it's already over. There's a fire flower, that's good. No, that's a Bowser, I don't like it. Okay, that's it, oh, nice propeller cap. There's another propeller cap. Fire, or not fire flower, but ice flower. Another fire flower, I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, so we got the ice cap, or not the ice, the ice flower. Another fire flower, can I actually do it? Oh my. Okay, so two of these are gonna be a Bowser and Bowser Jr. And then the other one is gonna be a propeller cap. No, it wasn't that one. Was it the was it the one that I skipped over? No, it was the top right. Darn. That is the closest I've ever gotten to getting all of them. Darn, maybe one day. That's not the first time that we'll run out, or the last time we'll run into one of those. Uh, press one on the map to access your items. Don't be afraid to use items to clear a tough course. So unlike new Super Mario Bros, where you get to hold one item here in Mario Bros Wii, we actually get to hold a slew of items, as many as we want, I think up to 99 for each slot. That sort of spoils some of the power-ups coming up soon though, so I'm gonna ignore that we even saw that and head into world 1-3. This level is very, very cool, because it adds another thing that is new to the new Super Mario Bros. games. And we still have our Fire Flower, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage as much as I possibly can. Plenty of coins again this level as well, it'll be fun. And I think it also has our first secret exit and the return of Hammer Bros, get out of here, dude. Didn't have to even use my fire flower. Just use classic jumping on the block that you're standing on, attack. Whatever that's supposed to mean. And anyways, Yoshi's here, oh, I love him. As you can see, he can jump, he can flutter jump, he can eat little fruits, he's the best ever. I think there's a way to get a couple one-ups here if I'm smart about it, maybe not here, I think coming up. But yeah, as you can see, there are different fruits across the level, we wanna make sure that we pick them up. I think this is the first time Yoshi's been in a platforming game or a 2D platforming game for Mario since, I guess, Yoshi's Island. But if we're just talking normal Mario games, I guess Super Mario World, but I guess Yoshi's Island is still considered Super Mario World 2. I don't know. It's sort of weird. Anyways, we get another one just in case we did lose our Yoshi friend. It gets really crazy when you're playing four players because that's sort of another big thing about this game. And let me go ahead and get rid of this guy if I can. Whoop, yep, yeah, I got him. <laughs> that's cool. But um, that's another big thing about this game that's different from the DS version and this, is, this one features four player co-op and that's a big focus on the new Super Mario Bros. games from here on out. I think all of them have some form of co-op. Well, the original just sort of had like a single player campaign. Okay, there we go, we got five. And we get a nice flower for it, I'll take it, sure. So let's go ahead and get rid of this dude. Nothing can stop Yoshi. He can jump on top of the prana plants as well. He's just a little monster, I love it. Here we go, we're just gonna make sure we go through everything, try to get as many coins, one-ups, everything as we can. And here comes our first little secret of this level. Right here, so sneaky, I love it. These hidden walls, which also were another thing that weren't in the DS New Super Mario Bros are just all over the place. They can be really tricky to find. So there's tons of new stuff in this game. And that's why I think it was so exciting for me is that it was just, oh my gosh, so much new stuff. Let's explore it all and have a good time. And then we got another Yoshi egg just in case we need it. For us, it's just a bunch of points. I don't know how many points we're gonna have by the end of the series. Oh, I remember this. This is where we can get a couple one-ups. We can spit that out. If we follow the fireball, it'll go through everybody. Come on, come on. There's a one-up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, can I get one of these hammer bros? I guess not, looks like the hammer bros ruined my fun. So let's try to ruin theirs. Come on, hop down. Ugh. Oh, okay, that didn't quite work. Here we go, hey up. Oh, come on, you know what? We're doing this the old fashioned way. Okay, so you might have noticed that I missed a couple of things there. So let me go back like this. And, uh, hiya. He <laughs> went spinning. That was weird, that piranha plant just went flying away. So there is actually a secret exit on this level, but I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. We're gonna worry about it in a moment. Like after we complete this level and everything. I wanna get this one block, so I'll hop off of Yoshi just like that. And I think right here, yep, should be the end of the level. Yeah, we got the one up. And unfortunately, the biggest downside to Yoshi is that we can't bring him from level to level, so he's gonna have to stay here. See ya, Yoshi, whatever level you pop up in next, or maybe this level, because we're gonna be heading back into it. But as you can see, that unlocks the next level, which is one tower and a star hut. But before we worry about any of that, the toad wants to bother us. Mario, bad news, this letter just got dropped off at the castle. I ordered my minions to stuff every annoying toad they catch into a question block. Ha, huh. if you want to save them, come alone. You won't get any help from your friends, Bowser Jr. So if I'm, I'm worried about them. If you find a toad, carry him to the goal. So we can go back into levels, oh boy. Oh boy. 
No, <laughs> he seems to be the first victim. So as you can see, Goombas might grab some toads and stuff them in a random question block in a level, and your goal is to pick up that toad and bring it to the end of the level. It's not something I'm gonna bother with right now, just because it's just sort of a weird excuse to replay old levels, and all it really gives you is some power-ups, which I don't need much right now. They're great if you already had to replay that level for like an extra star coin you missed, but if you don't, then it's not really worth playing them all that much. So I'm gonna leave it for now, maybe we'll have them at the end of the series, we can go through a bonus episode getting a couple toads. But for now, we're gonna head back into World 1-3 and get ourselves a secret exit. This one isn't too bad either. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's just a sneaky little secret. So we're gonna rush through all of this as quickly as we can. Even if we take a little bit of damage, it should be fine. I won't take Yoshi just yet because he does make me go a little bit slower. So I'd rather just run through all of this. Oh boy, ow. <laughs> yeah, that's where we can also get another one up or two is from that area. Ignore this hammer bros if I can manage. Oh gosh, you're scary. Okay, maybe now it's a good time to take a Yoshi if we can find one. Just gotta be picky about where I jump. Don't wanna land into the mouth of a piranha plant. That wanna be fun. Okay, we got Yoshi. Oh, he's yellow. I guess he has a different color depending on which one you get, which is pretty cool. So let's get up here. You might've noticed there's a little secret ledge and it might seem just like your basic secret for now because we can just pick up a couple coins, another fruit, but it's actually much more than that. Instead of hopping down there, what we're gonna do is flutter jump by holding the jump button up this way where there's a sneaky little secret. As you can see, we can see our little feet right here and then into an unseen pipe, which has us plop out right here. A secret exit, our first secret exit in the game. This game does have some really cool secret exits and also some very, very difficult ones, but it actually looks different here. As you can see, the fortress that you exit out of and the flagpole is sort of like dark and gray. You didn't have that in New Super Mario Bros. DS. The secret exits were sort of inconspicuous. You didn't know it was a secret exit until you hopped out of the level. But that unlocks our first cannon, which just like in the last series with New Super Mario Bros. DS, we're not gonna worry about that until the very end of the playthrough. But for now, we have our first star hunt. Now, I don't remember these too much. I don't know if there's a mini game tied to these at all. Here's a rare item, sure it'll come in handy. Well, thank you, we got ourselves another star. And instead of having to put that in an, a singular item slot, once again, we have that in our, like, I, I don't even know what to call it, but like our item list, as you can see. So that makes things a little bit more useful. And now, we have one tower. Looks like we're gonna be taking on Larry Koopa. Hopefully everything works out well. We already have 25 lives. If anything bad is gonna happen, hopefully I have enough lives to make it last. And we got dry bones, oh gosh, that's scary. I think we'll do okay, but you never know. But luckily, there's actually a way to defeat dry bones quite easily in this game that you don't see in many of the other Mario games, and that's with the ice flower. You can just turn him into ice, throw him against the wall, and boom, he'll just be smashed to smithereens, and there's no way for him to come back. And that's pretty handy, because before that, there was no real way to like securely get rid of a dry bones. So we gotta be careful about this dude, but I can take him out whenever. I feel sort of awful doing that, cause I can just land on their head and keep moving from that, so maybe I should. Don't wanna unnecessarily destroy dry bones. This fight, that's rude. So I think if I hit this, there might be, an, yep, another power up. Probably should've saved that in case I need it for later. But I do see a star coin on the top left. It's a bit tough to get, timing has to be perfect. And my timing was okay. You might also be noticing that when I jump, I might do like a little spin in the air, just like that. How you do that is you shake the the Wii mode. There's a lot of motion controls in this game. And I'm not the biggest fan of motion controls. I've talked about it a lot in previous videos. Uh, I think that sometimes they can be great, but sometimes it can sort of be not for everybody, especially you know certain disabled gamers. That can always be an issue. And I, I've never been a big fan of it because of that, but I feel like this game does it okay. There's not too much motion controls. It's not entirely required to play the game, even though it does make it a little bit easier. So I'm a little 50-50 on it. Okay, so let's wait here. And I'm gonna hop onto that platform just like that. And I think I gotta go up the other way, but I can't remember. It might not make any difference. Yeah, I think it actually doesn't make a difference here. So let me just go up like that. There might be like a, oh, oh, there it is. Never mind, I was right. <laughs> okay, I thought I misremembered, but I actually remembered correctly. So I misremembered my my remembrance. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get some red coins if we can. These ones can be tough to get. I need to get these two and then get these three. Nice, and we get another one up. Oh no, my one up. Come back here. Ah, got it. Okay, 27 lives. Well, let's see if we can't get to like 50 lives in today's episode. That'd be insane. I don't know if that's gonna be possible or not, but I'm, I'm sure if we try hard enough and we don't die too many times, 
And it looks like we had the option of a fire flower instead of an ice flower, and I think I'll take it. Is there a block on this side? Oh, hey, look at that! Another one up. One step closer to 50 lives. So we got our first boss fight of the game, I think. Uh, hey, here he is, it's Roy Koopa. He's got a little star on the side of his head. I've never noticed that. So we could take him out a couple ways. I think it'd be fun just to, you know, use fire, fireballs against him for now. Okay, so that was actually just his first hit, as you can see. And it's sort of similar to the Bowser Jr. battles in the last game, oh my, but honestly, I think they're a little bit more difficult. He doesn't get taken out as easily. They all sort of have their own tra traits, all the Koopalings, so we gotta be careful. Luckily, he isn't too bad, being the first boss. We're able to take him out without taking a hit. Yeah. Mario, you may be number one. I mean, you have a lot more of the game to go before I think you can truly say that, but he says it after every boss fight regardless. Okay, so instead of having to deal with another Koopaling, he's gonna hop off into the castle and we'll see him again there. And, yeah, we got that completed. So we're doing really well. Every level we've we've tackled so far, we have fully completed without too much of an issue. I died in one too, which was embarrassing. But beyond that, we're doing great. Let's keep moving, let's save, and check out one four. I have a feeling this might be a water level, seeing how it's a bridge above water. We'll have to see. I do like the overworld a little bit better in this game than the previous, just because it is a little bit more interesting in the detail of it, and that makes sense. Of course, it's on a home console instead of a portable. Let's go ahead and get the ice flower. I always try to make sure I get the the item the game is giving to me, because I feel like that's always like the most recommended thing. And these guys are just chilling over here. I think they're supposed to be here to like, sort of tell you, hey, if you have the ice flower, you can actually get rid of these guys sometimes. It's sort of weird how it works, but those guys are not fun to deal with. So I feel like I would have rather had the fire flower, because you can take these guys out in one hit, but this de definitely makes something useful. As you can see with the big cheap chiefs, you can actually turn them into ice, and they become little platforms. So that'll be helpful later on. But for now, we're just gonna worry about getting through this level unscathed, or as close as we can get to it. So if there are little blocks over here for getting power-ups, I might not worry about it so much. I'm just focused more on surviving, even though there are a lot of little fishies around here. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. I'm gonna dodge all those coins, even though I wanna get a bunch of lives, I feel like I wanna keep my life a little bit more. Look at all the yellow ones! Okay, they sort of move in their own little formations. I like the little school of cheap cheeps. Oh, it's so cute. Apparently, we we're already halfway through the level. That's sort of concerning, I haven't gotten any star coins. I hope I haven't missed any, because I don't remember there being any over there. Okay, let's go under you. Oh boy, oh boy, be careful. And here's where we used the ice flower a little bit, as you can see the little cheap cheap right there. And then we land on top of them, and we can use them as a little platform. It's very useful. So th that was the first star coin, thank goodness. Got a little clam. He just has some coins, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna be swallowed up by him. That's scary. Everything about underwater levels is so scary. I do think that if they hit the ceiling, they should explode. Yep, that's sort of awful when you think about it. But maybe I won't do that anymore either. Save the cheap cheeps, save the dry bones. Add us like swim up this, I think. Oh, you know what I'm supposed to do? I think if I press swim a lot, I can just get up here if I just press the button a ton, just like that. But I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. I think you're supposed, yep, to make these guys sort of block the current, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that though. Doesn't seem to actually work. I think you're just supposed to press the swim button a bunch. Weird. Okay, be careful. Try to get past here quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, I don't like it. And then I gotta get past you. You can see the final star coin over that way. But you can see here, this guy blocks the currents. Now we can get under there. Okay, so let's go down this pipe. What is gonna be down here? I don't remember. Oh, more clowns. Oh, but this guy over there, I don't like him. He'll chase us. He's like the cheap cheap from, uh, from the last game, it's like, oh Mario, I'm such a big fan. Oh, a star power. I wanna make sure I take this on my way out as much as I can. Leave me alone. You know what, I'm gonna take the fire flower now. I think that's gonna be a better choice. This guy's even more mad at me. And I was like, how dare you freeze me? Okay, but I wanna take this on its way up, or on my, when I'm on my way up. That way I have as much time with it as possible. I just wanna get this one up. I know I'm taking a ton of time right now. Okay, and... Oh gosh, I'm not doing a very good job at getting it. Because I want as much time with it as possible so that we can get up this way, and I think there'll be a lot of fish so that we can get a couple one-ups maybe. Oh, there's a lot of fish, all right. We just gotta get to them. Got them. Oh, they're all, they, they all try to get away from me. They are not my biggest fans. Okay, well I got two one-ups out of that, not bad. Could have been better, could have been worse. So I'm not gonna complain. Oh gosh, a clam fell! 
Are you okay there, buddy? He's like, goodbye. See you on the ocean floor. So we got two more of these purple dudes. They're not fun to deal with, but luckily the fire flower saves us a bunch. And then I see that one last one up. I wanna get that, because I think the end of the level's coming up. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, I don't like the clams. And we can go on through this way. We've been actually spending a lot of time on this level. We only have like 200 seconds left, which honestly isn't too much in this game. And there we go, another one up. Awesome stuff. So I feel like we're making our way through pretty quickly, but at the same time, I have been recording for like 20, 25 minutes. So these episodes might be a little long, which is fine. I'm having fun, so that's all that matters. And here is another addition to this game. As you can see, there's a little Goomba walking around. And we gotta be careful because he moves with us. And if we bump into him, you can see it goes it goes into a little mini game. So this can be a little bit difficult if you don't have power-ups. Luckily for me, we do. So all we gotta do is just stand up here and throw some fire flowers at him. And we take care of all the enemies. It just makes things a little bit easier for us because we're supposed to pick up all of these toad balloons. And it doesn't matter how you do that. You can go ahead and get all the toad balloons without taking out care of a single Goomba as long as you get them all, and for it, you get three mushrooms. So that can be helpful if you just died and you wanna go into a level as Big Mario instead of Small Mario. And then we have another mushroom hunt. I don't think this will be the same mini game. I think it'll be a different one. I think there's like one or two different mini games, but maybe I'm wrong, we'll find out. I feel like you step right through the door to win some items. What are we gonna get? I mean, maybe I'm wrong, I can't remember. It looks like it is the power of panels again. Let's see if I can't get them all this time. I mean, I got so close last time, I was so excited. But that's a Bowser right away. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, because there's no way to know. It purely is a guessing game. I mean, even if we failed right now, at least we got a Fire Flower and the Propeller Cap. There's Bowser Jr. No! Ah, we barely got through any of it. That's a shame. I don't know if these panels are predetermined or if they're totally random. Maybe there is a way to like know which one it's gonna be depending on what's showing up, but I don't know. And then we also have one six, and then up here you can see it branches out to one five, which is the level we'll be going to because I want to do them all in order. So yeah, let's get to it. One five. I remember this level being one of the more difficult ones out of World One. I mean, they're all pretty easy in World One, but this one up uh, because I thought I pressed jump, I apparently didn't. Well, what did I say? This is a higher risk of failure. There's a lot more spaces where you can just fall in between stuff and just fall to the the endless below and that's not good. So let's try that again. This is where maybe that mushroom I just got from all those Goombas would be helpful, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now because we should get a mushroom somewhere around here. Maybe like this, that's a mushroom. Now I remember that, that there was a, a tough star coin to find around here. So I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can when looking through everything to make sure I don't miss anything. There, There's a star coin, is this our first one? I hope so. Whoop, no, that's our second one, so we definitely missed something. I think we need the propeller cap for it, so if we can find one later in this level, that would be great. And as you can see, this is another new thing. If we stand on top of those little screws, we can shake our Wiimote, and uh, it'll sort of move it, as you can see. It moves one and raises the other, lowers one, raises the other. So it can be a bit weird like that. Oh, okay, so I got up here, that's good, because I'm gonna try to get all of this, and hopefully it will get me a propeller cap. Come on, come on, propeller cap, yes! Okay, so I can go back with this because I'm almost positive that we missed a star coin that needs a propeller cap at the very beginning of the level. If I remember correctly, because this is one of the ones that I would always get stuck on, like, oh, what did I do? Where is the where is the platforms? Okay, they're right here. No, no, come on! I need a little bit more boost off of him. Jeez, that stinks. It's a tough level for sure. Okay, this time, no mistakes. We're gonna go ahead and get a mushroom. That way we can get a propeller cap right at the beginning. I'm such a dingus, I mess everything up. And then all we have to do is not fall down. Just don't fall. I don't know why I'm getting so scared about all of this. So yeah, hitting you will give me a propeller cap, and then I'm pretty sure, yup, if I go this way, land on one of these blocks, and then if I duck under this, we got ourselves a vine. Let's go on up it and see what happens. Ooh, there it is. So I think this is supposed to be pretty difficult if you don't have the propeller cap. I don't know how you'd get up here without it, maybe you could've. But as you can see, you can't get up it normally, so you're supposed to ride these things up there. I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that when I got a perfectly fine propeller cap that'll get me anywhere I need to go? And that definitely makes this level a ton easier, is having the propeller cap for some of this stuff, like the uh, star coin we're about to run up on. But you can also use that Koopa shell to get this. 
Once again, why do that when we got a propeller cap? Oh gosh, <laughs> speaking of which, I almost lost it. So get up this way, and I'm gonna try to skip out on some of this so that we can just sort of save our time for more important things, like maybe getting another one up from these now. Just gotta make sure I don't get hit by this guy. Nice, and I got it, give me that one up. Nice, okay, so we got that. We can head this way and get a checkpoint that way. If we do die again, we don't have to do all of that again. That's much nicer. Where is this gonna bring me? There's clearly something up here, but I'm trying to, it's not working out. Hold on. Go down. No, no, come on, just land on the Mario. What's your problem, dude? Okay, maybe it'd just be easier if I go here first. No, come on. What is wrong with me? Jump. Got it. Easy as that. And there's nothing up here except for me. <laughs> that was funny. So what am I looking for? I'm not really sure. Whoa. Oh, there's something up this way. Just more coins. I mean, I don't mind coins. Coins are great. But I'm also looking for some other stuff. Ooh, what is this about? Oh, we got rid of that Koopa in a very stylish manner. So here's even more. I, I didn't realize there were two red coin rings in one level. That's quite a lot. <laughs> got it? I don't know where this other star coin, okay, it's just right here in plain sight. Never mind, pretty easy one to get. Don't have to worry about it, gotta be careful, because you can only propel her in the air once and then your feet have to touch the ground before you can do it again. Even bouncing off enemies, as we saw before, doesn't get you an extra propeller spin, so it can be a bit scary, but there we go, we got it. Everything's looking good now. I'm so happy. I'm really enjoying playing this game. It's, it's just so much fun. So that's one way we can get to the tower or the castle, but it's not the only way. And as you can see, there's this Goomba here that I guess we're running right into. I don't know why he moved. That's sort of the thing about these things. There's a mini game like this in every single world, and every time you move, they'll move. But you can see that it's a little bit different this time. Instead, we have very, oh gosh, large Goombas. I was trying to make sure I land on each one, because if you can manage it, it's not easy, but you can get a couple one-ups out of it. Oh, too bad I stink. Got it. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But if you can land on each one of them, I think you get a couple one-ups just for, you know, having the combo jump. We're fine, though. We're fine. 38 lives, might not be 50, but it's pretty gosh darn close. Okay, so we're gonna head into this next level, which is World 1-6. Should be pretty good. I don't think I need to get any extra power-ups or anything. I think we'll be fine with what we got. And I don't know what this level's gonna be like. It might just be sort of a, no, oh, come on, you stinker. Get out of here. Oh, this thing's moving quick. Oh, it's moving real quick, I don't like it. It's scary. See, I would've just got another power up right here, would've been all fine. But no, that Koopa had to mess it up, so I'm gonna make sure that every Koopa that's in my way, that they're no longer in my way. <laughs> so here's our first star coin. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this normally. There we go, got it, got it. Ooh, nice combo jumps there. Could've gotten another one. Oh, and there's a vine already. I don't remember this vine. Weird. Well, it's just a power-up area, so makes sense. I get a one-up. I wanted anything but a one-up there. I mean, I guess but a one-up and a mushroom. I wanted an actual power-up, but I'm sure we'll find one soon. And here's the next Dark Queen already. Okay, this level isn't so bad so far. A little bit tricky with some of the things, but I think we'll make it work for the most part. I just gotta make sure none of these pipes have any secrets. Ooh, there's definitely something down there, isn't there? Do any of these have anything? There's a fire flower, let's go ahead and get that. Leave me alone, Koopas. You've already ruined one of my power-ups. Ooh, here we go. I think this is where the third star coin is. Yep, right here. We just gotta be careful, because I know that, yep, Goombas fall from those pipes. A lot of like moving circles, it's very odd. Okay, so we should be good. No, wait, oh, now it's the Goombas ruining my power-ups. I thought I was gonna land on the other one, and I ended up not. Okay, oh, what is this? Oh, free coins, I'll take them. <laughs> There's not too many of them, but I'll take them nonetheless. Uh, what is this gonna be, probably a one-up? I don't care, I don't care, it's too risky. I don't wanna take that risk. And this should be right here, oh boy. The end of the level, yeah, we made it. <laughs> if you're ever afraid of making a jump, you can always do that spin mid-air. It gives you a little bit more distance, which is great. But there we go, there's another level done, which means I think we are all set up to go ahead and take on the castle. I don't think there's any other levels we have to tackle, but if I forgot any, we'll just do it after the castle. So for right now, World One Castle, let's beat up Roy Koopa for good and see how that ends up working out for us.
I mean, hopefully everything turns out all right. The tower was very easy, so, oh my. We already have lava, which of course is a one-hit takedown no matter what power-ups you have. That ain't good. I really like this castle, though. I mean, everything about World 1 in this game is really, really good. It's exciting to me. Hmm. And I know that some of them do have some cool secrets. Like, if I were to ride this cog up here, I'm pretty sure, yep, we can find some cool little hidden coins. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, they're not worth it if I get taken out. Uh, got it. Okay, so we gotta be careful with all of this as well. But it's just a lot of fun to find these secrets. Like, I feel like there's another one on top of those cogs as well that'll like bring you somewhere special, but I don't wanna risk it right now, at least not from that angle. Maybe if I were to, no, I don't know why I'm playing so bad right now. Ooh. There we go, I think this is a little secret. Am I mistaken? No, I'm not, look at this. This is so cool, this is why I love this game. Because I only found this secret, I think like only a year or two ago, when I was just playing the game for fun. And it's just, it's really cool. Because, it's just great, I love it. <laughs> okay, what do we get there? It's just like a, a little unnecessary secret, but it gives you some cool stuff. It's just rewarding to find all on your own. Like, hey, I never knew that was there with how many times I've played this game. It's probably one of my most played Mario games out of all of them. And I've played a good chunk of Mario games at this point, but I feel like this one I've completed multiple times, which I, I can't say I've done with too many other Mario games. Like, thinking about it, Super Mario Bros. the original, I've only completed like once, like actually gotten to the end of the game. Oh yeah, let's be, let's be a little careful with these swamps before I go down memory lane. Cause these guys aren't nice. They're gonna try to, oh, thwomp me. Let's get up like that. But yeah, like Super Mario Bros. I've only finished once. Super Mario Bros. 2, I haven't ever really played too much. Mario 3, I've played but never beat. Super Mario World, I've completed like once, 100%, and a couple times just getting to the end, but only 100% did it once. Is there a pipe up here? There's not. I was gonna say, I, I didn't know about that either. I don't know if any of these gears really lead anywhere. I mean, of course you can get on top of them. Whoa, we're running quick. Just like this, but I don't think they do anything for us. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I was just curious. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, keep moving, keep moving. Don't get squished, don't get squished. Oh, we're moving real quick right now. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful about this. We're trapped in with the dry bones, I don't like it, let me out of here. And we're still missing one star coin, but there's also a mysterious pipe here, so maybe those two things are related. Okay, see, I'm gonna let him fall in the lava. So sorry, buddy, but at the same time, not too sorry. Plop down like that, it's a tough jump to make. If you don't make it right, you might land right in the lava. And here's our final star coin. So I should be able to jump, jump, and I could stick around if I wanted to get some extra coins, but I don't think it's worth it. Risking everything just for a coin or two. Doesn't sound like a very good idea. And then here we should get another power up. Will it be worth it? I don't know. I think it'd be fun to try out the uh, boss fight with a propeller cap. I don't think I've really ever done that before. Well, let's find out if I can do it here. Okay, the, the, the castle bosses are always so intense. You have this long corridor. And then, oh my, this is very uh pretty. All the different colors. Hi, Kamek. Yeah, Kamek is a thing in this game as well. What is he gonna do? Uh-oh. I guess he's enchanting the floor. So yeah, that's sort of something uh, Kamek does a lot in this game, is that he'll not, instead of like enchanting the characters, he usually enchants the environment around them. And here he's made the, the ground into like separate pillars where they move up and down, which can be tough to deal with. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, oh, okay, be careful. No, wait, oh, you stinker, you got rid of my propeller cap, I'm gonna get rid of you. <laughs> okay, keep moving, be careful. But yeah, that's sort of something you'll end up noticing in all the castle levels, is that each one has like its own different environment that changes things up a little bit. The Koopalings themselves play a little differently as well, but it's mostly the environments you'll be focusing on. But we defeated Roy, and for that, no, that's actually, that's not Roy. That's uh, Larry. I've been calling him Roy, he's Larry. But we got a key for it. And oh, hey, it's a princess. Can we get her back already? Or no. Uh, uh, okay, can I just hop on? I guess Mario's too polite for that. Well, goodbye, princess, see you in the next world. <laughs> Mario's just like, well, there she goes. I sort of spaced out there, maybe I should've done something. Okay, so, the castle is completed and we chase after Princess Peach, but as you can see, you got all the star coins in world one. 
awesome stuff. So we did fully complete everything there, which is excellent. We don't have to worry about going back. And as you can see, we have arrived in World 2, the desert world. There's a pyramid, there's falling sand dunes, and just a whole bunch of awful stuff. And now we have Roy Koopa. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not too, so excited for this world. One of my least favorite in the game. Very difficult levels in the mix with this one. It jumps up in difficulty quite crazily. We got all of World 1 completed. As you can see, all the star coins in all of the levels. It was a lot of fun. And we're hoping to do the same here in World 2. It is a very difficult world in my opinion. So let's get cracking. Let's see if we're gonna use up all 46 of our lives or maybe we'll even go up a little. I'm not sure. But there are a lot of tough star coins, a lot of tough secret exits that you can find in this world. I've never been a big fan of a lot of desert levels in Mario games, I dislike them more than I like like water levels, and a lot of people dislike water levels in Mario games, but I feel like desert levels are almost always worse. There's always just something about the design of them that I've never really been too happy about. I feel like it slows down the pacing of the game a little bit too much in a weird way, but hey, this one isn't too bad of a desert world. It just can be pretty tough at times. We got all these sand dunes that are raising up. I gotta get a star coin from it. And if I wait for the sand dune over this way, I can throw this guy in, boom, get myself a one-up, which will be pretty useful. Like I said, I'm gonna take all the lives I can get because it is very easy to fall and just make a ton of mistakes. Oh, like I almost made right there. That wouldn't have been great. Okay, dodge those Koopas. The timing of these things can be really weird as well. It's just, it's a little bit to get used to. I do think that some of the other worlds that will be coming up in later in this series are actually easier than this one, especially when it comes to 100%ing everything, finding the uh, the star coins and the such are a little bit just, a little crazy. There we go, got him. No, I was trying to jump over that. That's a new enemy for us, boomerang bros. They uh, throw boomerangs, who would've thought? Okay, so we gotta be careful. This prana plant, but I think we can handle it. And this is where some difficult star coins show up. There's a really tough one right at the beginning of this level that sometimes I just recommend having a propeller cap for, but since we don't have one and I don't think there's one in this level, it's not gonna be easy to get. I'm trying to think about how we can get it, but we'll have to get up to it first and I'm taking unnecessary damage. That is not good. Luckily they know that you will and they give you a mushroom. No, 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 come on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I almost saved myself too. Gosh darn it. I mean, I guess that gives me a second to go and get a propeller cap. I do recommend it, even if it is a little cheap to go and go into a level that doesn't have a propeller cap with a propeller cap. I will make exceptions for World 2 because I just don't like this this world very much. I know I went from having so much fun last world to maybe not having as much fun this world. But it's okay, it'll all balance out in the end. The next couple worlds are a lot of fun. Okay, so let's just wait here for a moment. So this one right here should just, you know, it does give us a power up, but I don't think it's a propeller cap. No, that doesn't give me a power up. I'm getting that wrong. But we can dodge a lot of the obstacles in our way with the propeller cap in this level, which is why I think some people just don't go for that. I feel like it's a little bit of cheating. Oh my. So yeah, this is the really tough star coin. And what they expect you to do is land on that Koopa as he's over a sand dune pick up the shell and then throw it this way. But why would I do that when I can just do this and save myself 10 minutes of trial and error, right? It's one of my least favorite star coins in the game, which is pretty crazy that it's this early on in the game. But hey, we did it. World 2-1 is completed. That was one of the more scarier ones. There are many scarier ones still to come, but definitely I did not like that one very much when I first played it and the second time and the third or the 80th time now that I've played it. Anyways, we got ourselves another mushroom hunt. Last time we did this, we weren't so successful. We only got like two combos out of the possible like eight. Okay, so let's see how we do with this one. I think it's still gonna be the matching up. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, it's gonna be power up panels. Can we get all of them? I really hope so. I really, really hope so. And that's not a good start. That was a really bad start. I wonder if it's possible just to immediately lose. Probably, and I'm bound to do it at some point. <laughs> There's some propeller caps. That's a mini mushroom. We haven't even run into that yet in the game, but we will need it soon, so it's good to have it. There's Bowser, oh boy. Yeah, we got the mini mushroom. That's gonna be great to have. Grab this, that's a fire flower. Propeller cap. Fire flower again. Propeller cap, okay. Ice, ice flower. Come on, no! Okay, we got a good amount of stuff, though. I can't complain. Ah, uh, if I just went, Oh, if I just moved one to the left and did those, I would have gotten all of them. That would have been so exciting. But we at least got one mini Mario. That's pretty good if you ask me. So there is that level done. We aren't quite done with 
the first couple of levels, this first little area yet. We gotta move on over to 2-2. Two, two. I do not like this level either. This one's a tough one. If I remember correctly, this might actually be where we need Mini Mario. We might have to complete this level twice to get everything. But we also have little barrels which we can pick up, just Donkey Kong style. Just pick them up and throw them. Let's see where they go. I think I'm gonna hold on to what I got with the propeller cap. I honestly think it'll help me more than what these guys can. And hey, look, it's Spike. I think he's from Mario 3. Well, he's back now. I don't think he was in the DS version of New Super Mario Bros. So it's cool to see him here. I know he's in the new Mario game coming out, Mario Tennis Aces, as a playable character, which is pretty cool. I'll be playing that soon, so hope you guys are excited for that. Oh yeah, there's this little button here. Let me go ahead and press the P switch. I never understood what the P standed for in the P switch. Maybe just push? Okay, so we got rid of Spike. Get all these coins. That's a good chunk of coins right there. And I'm gonna ignore that power up. Just because, like I said, I wanna keep the propeller cap as much as I can, if it's possible. I just gotta be careful about how I handle things because there's lots of obstacles everywhere and Spike will sort of turn towards you, which is not good for me. Come on, get him, get him! <laughs> because if he picks up a, or I guess he spits them out. If he spits out a ball again, that'll hurt me. And they just roll around, they make a, a big ruckus. What is this gonna be, nothing. So I do remember I need this Koopa shell to be bouncing around. It'll hit all these Goombas, and I was wrong about that, actually. <laughs> I need this Koopa, and then we should be able to bounce between these guys just like that. But if I could have grabbed that other Koopa shell and then hopped here, up here with this, I think it could have gotten an extra one up out of it. But hey, that's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, one up. Okay, so there is the checkpoint here, but I'm actually gonna go down here first because we just want to. <laughs> we have a death wish, apparently. Now, actually, there's a secret if we go down this way, which you never would have guessed, you know? <laughs> I, I actually just was like, huh, this is weird. Let me roll down here. I actually did find this on my own when I was little. But I wanted to talk to you about that a little bit in today's episode when we find the time. My first experience with this game. But for, for now, we gotta hit another P switch. And this one stands for, press me, oh, I'm falling. That doesn't make any sense, Zebra. What are you talking about? Anyways, we fall down here. We get a bunch of coins for it. But then we have not one, but two spikes. And they're not fun to deal with. And this is why I really prefer to have the propeller cap for this level as well. Because doing this without the propeller cap is so difficult. Because you got to do this. And then you got to get up there. And it's just like you got to do that while dodging the spikes or get up to them and defeat them. I'd rather not deal with any of that. And just use the propeller cap. It's so much easier. But we're still not done with all the, the spike action. If I pick up one of these barrels, I might be able to treat him to a little bit of his own medicine. That's good. And then down this way, there's a little something, if I remember correctly. First off, if we could get rid of you, and then let's go up this way. I forget what this is about. Is this where the uh, next star coin is? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe. Huh, I don't remember at all. <laughs> Let's get these coins. We're almost at 50 lives. I wanted to get to that last episode, but in the beginning of the second episode, isn't that bad either. But anyways, I played New Super Mario Bros. when it came out back in, I think, holiday of 2009, such a long time ago. Here it is. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we gotta be careful. Um, uh, I don't know why I keep spinning like that. I don't know what button, I, I, I guess I was just sort of shaking the Wiimote a little bit. That was scary. But um, yeah, like I was saying, it was back in the holiday of, oh gosh, 2009. And that was a little bit of a memorable spot for me. I was like 13 years old. And here's the mini Mario. I'm pretty sure there's a star coin down here, but I don't know if there's any way to get a mini Mario in this level, which is one of my biggest gripes with this game. I'm just trying to pick this up. Come on, there we go. Whoop, whoop. Okay, yeah, I guess I don't have to keep keep uh, shaking the Wiimote to hold the item. I just need to shake it to pick it up. And then this is how you get out of there with without the mini Mario. So we'll have to come back in this level in just a moment with the mini Mario to actually end up getting that, that that third star coin. But for now, that's it. But yeah, that's a memorable time in my life because that's actually back when I started started more seriously making videos. I started making more gaming videos and I started playing through games for you guys. I was very young. It's almost 10 years later now that I'm playing the game still. But it was just a very, very memorable time. I had so much fun playing it for the first time and that's why this one is so special to me. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get the mini Mario, just like that, and now we gotta head back in, and I guess we gotta make it all the way there without getting hit once. 
So if I don't do this, I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. So this is not good. As you can see, I need to dodge every power up now because every power up is gonna actually make this more difficult for me. I mean, maybe there was a way to get Mini Mario in the level itself, but I do not remember that. And I was looking around pretty decently. So that's not gonna be very worthwhile for me for right now is to look around for that stuff. Okay, this can be a little bit scary because to actually hit any of these enemies, I'd have to butt slam them. So I think it might actually just be smarter to bounce off one of their heads. There we go, and get an easy getaway out of this. I can't hit the checkpoint either. Whoa, whoa, I went a little too quick there. I can't hit the checkpoint either though because of the fact, oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. We're almost there though. But the problem, oh yeah, the major problem is I still need to pick up this barrel? Whoa, what is all this stuff? I guess I didn't see this because I did the, the overhead area. No, that's bad, that's really bad. I think I, whoa, need one of these barrels to get to the secret, but maybe I'm wrong? I can't remember. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh no, I don't like it. Run, Mario, run! Come on, keep running, buddy! Oh geez, I don't know if I've ever been over to this spot though. Maybe there was a way to get a mini Mario that I just was missing out on. Oh gosh, I almost fell in a pit. That would have been awful. Cause I need to get down here. We did it though, right? I guess, I guess, I guess I was wrong about the barrel thing. I swear that you needed barrels to break your way into here, but I guess I was getting the barrel thing wrong. <laughs> That's fine, I don't care. Uh, I don't know what those are, they might be power ups, so I might not wanna do that just yet. For now, just hit this P switch, get up this way, just like that. Get a bunch more stuff, we got it. Now we gotta finish level without dying. So if this does give me a, a mushroom, no, it gives me another mini Mario. That doesn't make any sense. I got in here because I was Mini Mario. Why would I need another Mini Mario? Huh? That's weird. Okay, just run, just run. Don't care about the one up. Just get out of here, we did it. Yes. Ah, that was scary. I don't like it. Not one bit. But there we go. That's another really difficult star coin to get. I can't believe I'm getting them so easily. I mean, in my opinion, at the least, maybe I have a little bit of difficulty with it. And let's go ahead and get a mushroom. I really don't think I need mini Mario for the rest of this world, which is good because I'm I'm fresh out of them. But hey, we should be able to move on to two, three. This yeah, this world has a lot of levels too, which makes it even more difficult to get through everything. But I don't remember this one too well, so we'll have to get through it slowly and see how things work out. Oh, is this the level where we go underground and it's all dark and spooky? I think so. Is there anything up here? No, I guess not. Okay, go into this pipe and let's go on down. But yeah, that's a big reason why this game is so special for me is because I played it back at an important time in my life. So it's super special for me because I just enjoyed it and I just remember that time of my life a lot. But also it was a good game, that's a good mixture. Because there are some not so good games that I played that I don't remember because I want to omit them from my memory. Okay, be careful, be careful. So it's very dark in here, I'm sure you've noticed. The only thing that gives us light is the fireballs from the piranha plants and my fireballs. And I wanna make sure I eliminate their fireballs and make a lot more of mine. Oh, oh, this is a pipe. I always try to check every pipe in a level like this because you never know when you're gonna find a room like this. And we get a one up, cool, I'll take it. I don't think there's a star coin around here, so I think we're good to get out of here. Oh my gosh, it gets scary real quick. But what is this pipe? This is surely something as well, right? Uh, oh, I didn't even see that you shot. Oh, that stinks. Just as soon as I get out of there too. That's gonna make progressing through this a lot more difficult, unless I can get another one soon. So I'm gonna be looking out for it. We still haven't gotten a single one in all of these guys. What game are these guys from? Mario 3, I think? Yeah, I think so. They are not fun to deal with. Oh, there's a pipe. No, 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 no! Come on, <laughs> get me out of here. I need to run quickly. But I also have to dodge the fireballs and the fireballs with eyeballs. That is just weird. Maybe, the, is this a star coin? I can't remember. I don't think I've ever found this secret before. Okay, so this might be tough to get. These guys are like indestructible. I ain't gonna one up for that. Weird. Okay. I'll take it, but that was really bizarre. <laughs> okay, so still no star coin. This is getting really concerning. How far have I gone through this level without a single one? Be careful, go through like this. I wish this would give me another fire flower. What is going on around here? Got all these weird little blocks that we can run through, but can't go down under them. 
Oh, is this another mini Mario thing? Oh, now I'm a little concerned, but we get a star power, and as you can see, it lights up the whole room. So if there is a star coin around here, yep, just like that, I'll be able to find it a little bit more easily. Oh, we get another one, and that is our first one. Awesome. So I gotta, gotta be careful. Mini Mario is not something I wanna use in this level if I don't have to, so let's hope that I don't, and that my memory isn't just like awful or something. Get another star coin, and not star coin. I wish it was, but it's a star power. Oh, here's one. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're a fire bro, huh? Not a problem, that's what you are. Oh, there's another one. I wanted to get these as much as I can. It makes this level so much easier. And what is that? That's just a fire flower, which I'll gladly take still. Grab it. So I only need one more star coin. Where could it be? I don't know, but it looks like our star power is up for good this time. Get rid of these guys as much as I can. But I might have to get rid of their little friend first if I can. I don't know if, I don't know if that's possible at the moment. Don't come to that. Gotta be careful. Got him. Okay, that's pretty good. Now they're just, you know, one last piranha plant to deal with. Oh, is it up there? I think it is. Let's see if we can't make that jump. Oh yeah, you definitely can. I just need to run, 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 jump, jump. Oh boy. Is there a secret exit in this level? I don't think so. Yeah, there's just a star coin right here. Okay, so I got it, all three of them. And I'm almost positive this is, yep, not a secret exit. This is just, this is just the other exit right here. So very, very cool. I think you can actually do an indefinite one-up jump here if you weren't holding the, the hold the Koopa shell button. <laughs> okay, I've never actually successfully done that in any Mario game, the infinite one-up glitch. I guess it's not a glitch if they intentionally put it in so many different Mario games, but it's still a very cool little thing. Anyways, so there's that done, which means we can finally move on to World 2 Tower. And will it be easy, will it not be, I'm not sure. Let's ask Roy. He doesn't seem very willing to answer. <laughs> okay, um. Doesn't seem very friendly. Instead of lava, we have sand though, which is a little bit more survivable and there's two doors. Do these both go the same way? I suppose we'll find out. Ooh, okay, so yeah, it looks like they both go the same way. But if I tilt the Wiimote, I, I can't tilt it too fast or I'll think I'm trying to spin it. We got a bunch of coins. Oh, this is cool. This is an easy way to earn up some extra coins. Extra money. Be interesting in a, I mean, I guess that's, I mean, now that I think about it, that's exactly how they do it in Mario Odyssey. I was gonna say it'd be interesting if you could actually use the coins to buy something for once. And then I realized Mario Odyssey is a thing and that's exactly what you do. So let's be careful. And then you also have these little grates. Haven't even mentioned those really too much. I think this is the first level we've had them. And they're just like Mario World, where you get to climb up the little grates, and sometimes there'll be enemies on the grates as well, so you gotta be careful about that. Okay, oh boy, oh boy, wall jump, wall jump. I'm trying to keep an eye out for any kind of hidden walls or hidden like little secrets like that, but so far I haven't found too many. Hey, who's shooting that stuff at me? That wasn't very nice. I think they just sort of randomly, yeah, just come out of the sky. It's so weird. I always imagine, oh no, did I go the wrong way? Uh-oh. Oh no, I can go around that way, it looks like. Oh gosh, don't hit the fireball, <laughs> be careful. Oh gosh. I always imagine that Kamek is just slightly overhead, just out of sight shooting those, because he's around the entire adventure, always trying to make things more difficult for us. It would make sense. Okay, so there's one star coin down, we're going through a door, it's not the boss door, it's just a normal, regular door. Okay, go ahead and grab that. Oh no, wow, okay, that was weird. Let's go ahead and grab this. Be careful of dry bones. Oh, oh gosh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I wonder if that dry bones is protecting some power-ups. Let's find out the safe way. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, we, we still did it, we still did it just fine. Oh, oh, what's up this way then? Maybe just an easier way to get up? Gotta be careful, because of the fireball still. Yeah, this might, I, I didn't know that you could just get up super easy like that. Is this something, the good way, to, or the best way to check if there's any secrets in the walls is usually the pattern that's next to them. Gosh darn it, I just wanna land up here. There we go. I mean, maybe I need this for something, but oh, oh, that gave me a bunch of coins over there. See, I guess there was like a little thing up this way. Oh, come on. Oh, and a one up, that'll be good. Two one ups, right there. But yeah, I guess up here there's a little secret thing. You can tell, like I said, by the patterns on the, on the wall there, it sort of, points out if there's something secret. Oh, that's a mushroom. And here's another example of that. You can tell that this one seems a little bit odd, and that's for a reason, because there's a door behind there. So let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh, okay. 
So this isn't gonna be too helpful for the star coin situation, but it'll be plenty helpful for trying to get more power-ups. So flip on over like that, and then get this one if we can manage. Nice. And we got it. Okay, so that's an ice flower that'll help a lot for all the dry bones, because there are a lot of dry bones in this castle, this tower. So I wanna get rid of them. Just like this. Yes. I do really like the new power-ups in this game. Every new Super Mario Bros. game has new power-ups. Of course, in the DS version, it was the giant Mario and the mini Mario. And then this version, you still have the mini Mario, and you don't have the, the giant Mario. Sorry to spoil it, but yeah, giant Mario doesn't show up a single time in this game, which is a total shame, because it's a great power-up. It's so much fun. Unfortunately, it does not. Anyways, let's go ahead and face our boss. It's Roy Koopa. Last episode, I kept on calling Larry Roy for some reason, which isn't correct. Oh gosh, oh no, he stuns me. I, I forgot he did that. I thought that was something another Koopa did, but I guess he does it. Anyways, we'll try to be careful. His Koopa shell moves around. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was gonna wall jump there, but I didn't exactly. Come on, get him, got him. So yeah, that's sort of a nice little trick is that you could just hang out in the sand if you don't wanna deal with him. It's not that big of a deal regardless. But then we can land on you one more time, we took you out. Roy Koopa is one of the largest Koopalings for sure. He's just huge. And he's got some cool shades. Well, adds a lot of personality. Okay, so there is another tower taken down. We're, we're gonna be facing Roy Koopa again though at the castle. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. He's jumping around like it's no problem. So yeah, let's continue with World 2. The difficult stuff has yet to end because we have a lot more levels left to go. So we'll deal with them however we can. But for now, we got ourselves our first, I believe, mushroom hunt and a toad has been abducted again. We're not worrying about that for now. We're gonna save and uh, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and do two, World 2 mushroom hut. Or I guess, I guess one up hunt. I don't know, there's no name for it, it's just a symbol. But this should be different. Here's a chance to win some one ups. Go through the door to play. I would love to. Okay, so we got the one-up blast. Hop in a cannon, you only get one shot. Oh, that's scary. So we need to point the Wiimote in just a certain way so that we can get, oh gosh. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy for me. Oh, I'm really bad at these. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wait for the perfect moment for when they line up to the right. Okay, ready, set. God, oh, no, okay, that was good. Now we got three of them. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> okay. There's that done. What? Spend your star coins at Peach's Castle in World 1 to watch hint movies. More hint movies will unlock as you continue your adventure, so stop by every once in a while. I actually didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I totally forgot. So yeah, we'll, we'll check out Peach's Castle once we complete the game and get all the star coins, see what that's all about. But for now, World 2-4, is it gonna be a treacherous level? Probably, aren't they all? It's World 2 after all. <laughs> oh, I really don't like this one. Oh, I remember this one all right. It is not fun. Propeller cap will be very helpful, but it's just all sandstorms and awfulness. It's not easy to deal with. But if I can get you, and it's just like holding on tight when the, the, the wind starts blowing, because there's not much you can do about it. Oh, well, I just got rid of the Koopa shell I wanted to use. Okay, well there's a power block. I mean, I can make some coins fall, but it doesn't too, do, do too much more than that. But the propeller cap will be very, very helpful for a couple of things. If I do remember, there is a, yep, a secret right there. A little bit of a tough one to get to without the propeller cap, so you really, really want it. And this is the first dark coin of the level, I sure hope. Because I haven't really had too much of a chance to miss too much. Oh, here we go. How can I get up there, though? I am not sure. I mean, I guess, oh yeah, like this. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I got it! Yeah, now I just gotta get out of here. <laughs> that's a little tricky. Oh no, come on, that's bad. I had to go back this way then. Nope, just like that. You can do it. And then land on this one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this time we got it. Didn't make any kind of silly mistakes. And I gotta be careful, don't land on the Koopa. I don't know where I'm going. So I'm hoping that if it's plopping me off over here, that means I haven't missed any star coins. Can only hope. There's another propeller cap if I need it. And I may just. For now, let's throw that barrel, see what it gets done for me. Not too much, but a little something. Prana plants aren't a worry anymore, which is great. At least there's two of, of them. I don't see too much over here going on. Oh, one up. I'm gonna have to leave that one where it is because it fell. 
and here's our checkpoint, so let's really hope we haven't missed anything. Gotta be careful the wind, but I got into this pipe. This has to be a star coin, right? And this is another one that you need a propeller cap for. Luckily, they're nice enough to uh, give you one in this level, instead of it being something where you have to get it from another level. I feel like that's sort of the biggest problem this game has, is that there are a fair chunk of star coins that it feels like it's almost impossible to get them without a power-up that you gotta get in another level, and that's sort of a pain. I don't really like that design choice. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, 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 I'm gonna die. I didn't expect the wind to push me yet. Ah, oh, that stinks. Because I know how to get that star coin, but I need the propeller cap, which means I need to get another one. Isn't that fun? So this is a tough jump to make because you actually have to use the power of the wind. And I suggest you just try to time it. Of course, if you hold the down button, the wind doesn't push you as much. Okay, just go like that. There we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I did it. Okay, so yeah, if you have a bit of an issue, you can sort of wall jump a little bit. That's another crazy difficult star coin to get, especially if you're newer at the game. But since I'm just a little bit more experienced because I've played this a couple times, even then I still die a lot. You know, just, but that's something that can help. Oh, let me try to get that Koopa. I might be able to get a one up here, depending. Okay, nope. Wow. Yeah, I'm such a skilled player at New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I've played this game a thousand times. Watch me get hit by the simplest things. I'm Zebra. Blah, blah, blah. I talk a lot. Okay, I've made fun of myself enough. Ah, oh, and I missed the one up. If I actually got a triple jump there, I might have been able to make it. Because I think the triple jump in this game will give you a little bit of extra, like, jump distance, height, and stuff. I don't think the original had triple jump. New Super Mario Bros. DS? Yeah, I guess not. Okay, so there's two four done. We got two five and two six, so let's head into two five first, obviously. Wanna make it all go in order. And it looks like we have ourselves pokies. These guys were in uh, Super Mario World, and here they are again, which hopefully means we'll run into another friend that was also in Super Mario World. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure if he actually is in this level. Oh gosh, be careful. I don't know how I survived that except for ridiculous luck. And, oh hey, here he is, our good friend Yoshi. So if we wait for these guys to turn into fruits for some reason, which they just randomly do, we can actually eat them whole and just get a one-up out of it. Or at least if they're big enough. If they're smaller like this guy is, I'm not really sure how it works, but it sort of goes with the music. It's a little odd how that works. That was, yeah, that was just a mushroom, I think. Oh gosh, eh, no, Yoshi! Okay, that's our first time getting hit with Yoshi, as you can see. What'll happen is he gets scared and runs off. But you might have noticed another detail. It's that Lakitu's throwing stuff at us, and if I get into his cloud, I can start riding it and grab a star coin that's right there in front of us. Okay, awesome stuff. Oh gosh, it runs out really quickly. Holy cow, we had like no time in that thing. Can another guy show up, please? Because I didn't know what was in that little brick block. I want to check that out. So we want to try to... Oh, got him. Okay, that was awesome. So let's get up like that, get into it, and you'd imagine these clouds would have weight limits. Mario plus Yoshi, Yoshi must be pretty heavy. Maybe that's why it runs out so quickly. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's, I think there's a secret here somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Let's try it out. Maybe I'm wrong and this will just lead me to my doom. But if I remember this correctly, there's a secret around here. If I plop down like this and that, Yep, there we go. Ooh, it's dark down here, it's spooky, but I do have Yoshi. You might also notice that when you're playing with Yoshi, the music changes a little bit in a really cool way. But if you have the light box, you can eat it, and you still light up the area. That doesn't make a ton of sense. What are you, what are you laughing at, buddy? Oh, did that seriously hit me? Oh, that's silly. Luckily, Yoshi's sort of in a little, little pit, so he doesn't run away from me. Because he'll like run right off pits, the poor guy. There must be, yep, a star coin somewhere around here. Thought so. Don't wanna leave the level without that. Do we keep the light block? That'd be funny. I don't think we do. Yep, he just eats it on his way up. Silly Yoshi. You're not supposed to eat those. There we go, we got him again. Yeah, these just don't last as long, so you can't really properly explore with them. But I'll be trying my best. There has to be another secret around here, I think. I'd have to imagine so, right? I mean, I probably wanna explore the ground just as much as I'm exploring up above. Gotta be careful about all that kind of stuff because Lakitu shows back up and it's just always causing havoc for us. Got it? No, 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 I did not get it. Okay, oh boy, be careful. <laughs> I gotta get to that before it disappears. I don't know if it'll start disappearing until you land in it, luckily, but that might be wrong. 
And yeah, it's already gone. Come on, that's silly. Oh gosh, Yoshi, Yoshi, where are you going, buddy? I need you. I need you, you need me. No, Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Yeah, I gotcha. I can't believe I, I got the save there. So let's wait until you guys turn into little fruits if I can. I might not be able to for you. But that's one of the interesting things about these guys. If you hit their bottoms, they'll just go one less, but if you get them by the head, they'll turn all the way, I guess, gone. I don't know how I'm trying to explain that right now. We got a mushroom there, nothing crazy. Get rid of this guy as much as we can, just like this. Then if I can get over to you, ah, oh, I ran out of time. But I missed a star coin. So yeah, it, ha it definitely has to be up above. So I need to find another Lakitu, and I guess get up there. I don't know why they disappear so quickly. I don't remember that being a thing. Maybe if I hop onto it without Yoshi, that might be a big help. But they definitely expect you to get onto this Lakitu. Whoa, okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that, but not as much the way I did it. Yeah, we move like way faster too. Sorry, Yoshi, you're just a bit too heavy for this one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, there it is. No, come on, that's so stinky. You really gotta move it there. No turbulence allowed. Go ahead and eat you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yoshi. Can you just hang out there real quickly? I'm so sorry if you end up getting taken out from that, but I just need to move this way. I really need this star coin. And then, got it, okay. Is Yoshi still over there? I'll save you, buddy, hopefully. I might be too late. Or he might have just disappeared because he's off screen. Oh no, he's gone. I'm so sorry, my dinosaur pal. Okay, run this way, got it. Oh no, <laughs> I missed the jump by just a little bit. That's fine, unfortunately we don't have our Yoshi friend, but we do have all three star coins, so I guess it makes up for something, right? Maybe? I don't know, there's a Yoshi size hole in my heart now. I miss the poor guy. Anyways, we're gonna go this way, uh, not up, but to the right, right here for World 2-6, where we have a normal exit and a secret exit. The only secret exit in this world, I believe. I mean, there was only one secret exit in World 1 as well. They sort of keep it tame with the secret exits in this game. I mean, I feel like they do that for most of the new Super Mario Bros. series, but this one included. <laughs> okay, so. Gotta be careful, but I do get a propeller cap, which will make this significantly easier, because I feel like the most of this level is on top of this spinning block, which is just simply not fun. So I'm not gonna worry about that Koopa too much. He's a green Koopa, so he should fall off, but if, buddy, you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and do the falling for you, or something like that. I didn't sound as witty as I thought I was going to. Okay, get rid of you as well. You always gotta remember that the Koopas with the wings take two hits. I never expect that for some reason. I just gotta figure out where I'm going. I think there might be another star coin up this way. I don't remember this being a very long level. Oh, here we go. So what's interesting about this is that I can like get like a double propeller going on. I don't know if that's actually how it works. I sort of want to test that out. Do I pick up one of these things? Right, no, no, no. Go like this, pick it up, jump, propeller, throw it, propeller again. Nah, you can't. That'd be so cool if you could get like a double propeller out of it. Obviously, it wouldn't be very useful because you can you can't take those things out with the out of the little area with you. So it wouldn't matter much if you could, but you can't. Anyways, we got another one up. Now I just want to get this, which is another propeller cap. Maybe I'll just leave it there in case I need it. Because these guys, these guys were in the last game and they're just as much jerks now as they were then. I don't like it. But we can get a lot of uh, coins just by being propeller Mario, which is nice. Come on, grab those. Fly up here. And then there's a last star coin, which is great. Okay, be careful, be careful. If he strikes me down from the sky, I won't be able to, ah, uh, what? I landed on him, he didn't land on me. That was baloney. But yeah, if he strikes me from the sky when I'm on the propeller cap, that might have me landing to my doom. Or I guess practically not landing at all, because it's an endless pit. Be careful, oh, I'm not gonna be able to get all the, f the, the I was gonna cut the fire coins. Red coins because of you, you jerk. Get out of here, stop. Giving me a hard time. I'm just trying to win the game. So you might have seen those little coin outlines. That'll be important to follow if we're trying to find the secret exit, which we're doing next time, not this time. So we don't have to worry about it at this moment, but in a couple moments we will. Okay, get up like that. And then, oh, got the one up. We're at 72 lives. I didn't realize how much we've been climbing with that. Very cool, so there we have it. There is world 2-6. We're gonna head back into it one more time though to go ahead and get that secret exit, so let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully everything will turn out okay. Okay, so we're coming up on it. I think I need to jump, jump. Oh no, I was a little off, I was a little off. Be careful, 
Okay, up here. Yeah, we made it. Oh, you gotta get it from like the very tip of your jump. It's a really scary one. We we're able to make it work. So we need to go up like that, like this, and then, whoa, -ho -ho, we made it. Okay, sort of messed up on that last one, but I was able to survive and still get the one up. That shows you how overpowered the propeller cap can be. But I'm not complaining, I love the thing. So there's that done, that is a World 2-6 secret exit, and as you can probably tell, it leads to the cannon up this way. Actually, maybe I did miss a secret exit. Did I? I can't remember. Cause you might've noticed that there's a, there's a pipe up this way. I don't remember where that pipe comes in from. So maybe I did miss a secret exit somewhere. I might want to go ahead and check that. Oh, but first we got our first mini game. Well, not our first mini game, but our only mini game of World 2. It is these guys. And these guys aren't too bad. They're actually pretty workable because as you can see, when you go near them, they start plopping down. And then if you just land on top of them, you can pick them up and then throw them that way. Okay, and he should take out his little friend, which will be helpful for me. And I get hit by that one, which is a total shame because I would love, would have loved to keep that propeller cap. But yeah, I don't know where in the world that pipe comes from. I gotta figure that out because that's probably from a secret exit that I wanna go and find. So I might go and double check. Oh yeah, right here. Oh gosh, totally forgot about World 4, 2, 4 secret exit. Let me find this one real quick too. Okay, so I do remember this. Oh gosh, yes, I really remember this. I don't know how I missed out on this before, but yeah, it's a bit of a tough jump to make. We need the propeller cap another time, and what we do is we jump, jump, and then I need to wall jump like that, yep. And then in this pipe right here, this sneaky little pipe, we got ourselves our secret exit. And it's such a weird one too, but I guess I was totally wrong about there only being one secret exit in this world. <laughs> I can't believe I'm forgetting such little details, but once again, I try not to remember too much about World 2 because it's agony. It's such a tough world. But there we go, we got that done, which means we unlocked this little pipe right here. It's such an easy thing to miss in the overworld map too. But it just leads to there, and it's a nice little shortcut to the castle if you're just trying to get through World 2. I mean, I would suggest if you don't like World 2 that much, you should probably go ahead and get the cannon from World 1 and just shoot yourself right over to uh, World 4, I think? World 4 or 5, something like that. But anyways, it goes, um, Two castle, pretty cool. So let us continue forward by, I guess actually, yeah, I guess we're actually all good to move to the castle. I mean, I might wanna go ahead and get this star hut as well, cause why not? A free star sounds fun to me. Oh, this thing is chasing after me, I don't like it. Oh, it's creepy. Anyways, we're going this way, gonna go ahead and get the star hut, and then we'll be good to go ahead and finish this treacherous world. Uh, here's a rare item, I'm sure it will come in handy. I'm out of here, goodbye. <laughs> I can't get out, let me out. It just sort of ends it by itself. Okay, so, no, and I got caught. Okay, hopefully this won't take too long, but I'm not really too worried about it. I don't expect to use a propeller cap in this uh, castle. I mean, I, I mean, we can, it just won't be all that useful. Okay, so I might go ahead, try to grab that, throw this down there, that might be helpful. It'd be cool if that could actually pick up the balloons for me, but it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, we should be fine. Getting rid of the rest of this. Oh, look at that cool little move I just did. I like it. And there we go. We saved the toad and get three mushrooms for it. Now you can actually die with this, and if you do, you don't get any prize, of course. I don't know if you lose a life or not, but you might. Well, there's that done, which means, like I said, let's move over to the castle and beat up Roy Koopa a second time. Hopefully everything works out just fine. I'm sure it will. Won't be too bad, right? Let's see. Okay, so we got a first star coin right up here. So I guess it can be helpful to have the propeller cap for that, but I don't think it's necessary. Because I believe this is a reference to a castle in the original Super Mario Bros. for the NES where you have to sort of choose the right path. Like it'll give you three paths and if you choose the correct one, it will let you continue, which I think is this middle one. Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, it'll play a noise if we've chose the correct one. And if you choose the wrong one, it will just cycle through. So I did choose the incorrect one. As you can see, I'm back at the beginning again. But that's how you get the star coin, is by choosing the incorrect one. And I like how we can get rid of the little fire guys by throwing ice at them. That's convenient, because I don't think they show back up after you do that. So it's definitely not the, the middle one. Is it the top one? Is it top, bottom, middle? Because usually there's three you have to go through. Let's see. We're gonna have a noise. 
Uh, yeah, that's it, ding ding, we got it. So here's our next area. We got ourselves a piranha plant and a couple of other things. And we already have our star queen. This one isn't too bad. We just need to make sure we're not mini or like small Wario. And we're good. But here, to, where do we go here? I wanna get this fire flower real quick because I believe we gotta go down this way. As you can see, there's some piranha plants blocking the way. If you had ice Mario, it wouldn't help you get through there anymore because it would freeze them, making them permanently in the way. Well, not permanently, but in the way for a couple more seconds, which actually makes you at risk of the screen squishing you as it moves forward. But yeah, I guess it's top, bottom, middle is the overall combo we're looking for. Oh, okay, we got our, our final little star coin right here. So go ahead and grab that, and then we gotta get back up there real quick, any way we can. No, 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 wait, am I wrong about that? I am. Top, bottom, no, we needed middle. Oh, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> see, now we can't go through there, as you can see. If we had Ice Mario, I guess maybe we could have with maybe one of the dry bones, but we're supposed to, with the piece switch, run over there, collect the coins so we can make our way through. I just totally forgot, I blanked. But that was wrong, so we gotta go do it again. It isn't too hard to do, luckily. I can just go ahead and do that, run over this way. Try to be quick with this as quick as I can, I suppose. Got it, hop up here, collect these coins, and now I'm good. Now I have nothing to worry about. No, no fear at all. What is it called? Uh, no worry in the world. That's, that's the saying, right? I think so. Anyways, I'm just sort of being a dingus, making Mario jump around because I'm trying to waste time. But yeah, I guess that's the pattern, top, bottom, middle, which I'm pretty sure that's what the pattern was in the original Mario game that had that. And there are any of these. Yep, we got a power up right there. There's nothing over here. Okay, we're good, we don't need it. We already have a fire flower. Don't think it's gonna do any more for us. So let's see what this is all about. Will this be just the same as uh, the previous castle where there were pillars moving up and down? I'm sure there'll be something, that's for sure. Hey, Roy. Actually, nothing looks fancy in this room. But he's about to change that high Kamek as well. Uh. Hmm. What is he up to? Oh boy, pipes. Hey, I'm the plumber here. Mario is at the least. He should be the guy running through pipes. So yeah, this could be a little bit tricky because remember, if he lands on the floor, it shakes us and we can't move for a moment. So we need to jump when he lands, but he tries to trick you out by poking out of a pipe, but not fully going into it. So we gotta be careful. He'll be like, hey, here I am. But then when he raises his arms, that means he's gonna, he's gonna fall. But if we actually follow Roy this time, he should pop out of his shell when he bounces through twice, and then before he can get, some, get into the pipe again, we can take him out an additional time. Look at that, we got you, Roy. You're taken down for now. Okay, so there's that done. And for it, we get yet another key. And we broke a million points in the top right there. Uh, that's probably the first of several million we'll get. And here's Princess Peach again. Why don't you just jump out? Now's the perfect time. I mean, I guess she might be worried. She might twist an ankle or something. I, I, that's a plenty fine excuse. But Mario, if Bowser Jr. can make that jump, you definitely can. You learned from last time. Just make the leap, grab on. <laughs> You're silly. Well, off they go and we'll chase after them. Stop. <laughs> it's like, stop. They were already stopped. You got all the star coins in a row too. Awesome, so that is another world fully completed. We actually did get all the secret eggs this time, and now we are moving on to one of my favorite worlds in the game. I am so very excited for this one. As you can see, it's world three, and it is totally snow covered, and has my favorite Koopaling as the Koopa boss. So everything is going well in this world. I can't wait to play it. I love this world a lot, so let's go ahead and just hop right into it. World 3-1, hopefully everything goes well. I feel like this is not that bad of a world. It's not too difficult. I think it's actually a little bit easier than World 2, but I think we'll be able to make things work no matter what. We get a new outfit. It's the penguin suit, which is pretty cool. New power up, not an outfit. <laughs> this is Mario Odyssey. But this thing is very, very useful. Oh gosh, leave me alone. <laughs> Because like our fellow penguins, we can actually just sort of go on our tummy and start sliding. We can bust through blocks, we can slide on ice. There are a lot of benefits to this power up. Some people say it's maybe even a little bit overpowered because it's also an ice flower. Obviously, if you have the choice between this and an ice flower, there's an obvious choice you wanna make. You wanna choose this one because not only do you have the ice flower abilities, but also you can do the tummy roll thing. You can actually have traction on ice. You have better traction, you can turn around a little bit more quickly. Okay, watch out, this guy is gonna land on me. I don't like it. We have a checkpoint up here, I'm gonna gladly take that. And there's a star coin down that way. There are some tricky star coins in this world, but overall I think things will be manageable. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy, or not. Then my best bet will be to do this. Oh, okay, that sort of worked. 
Oh, I remember what I gotta do here. I gotta hit you with an ice ball so that you're frozen. Yeah, that's a tricky one right now. One of the, one of the more tricky, whoa, whoa, no, he pushed me off, that jerk. Come on, that stinks. I just got the, the, the star coin too, that is not a good start. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get another mushroom and hop back in there. That was silly. Okay. So, I think that there's a penguin suit somewhere around here, we're gonna find it, because I could really use it. I mean, maybe I already passed it, but let me just keep moving just in case. Yep, right there, right there. Okay, got it. Get you out of here, sir. And now I gotta get that star coin another time, because I'm just so silly. I messed it up for myself. I wanna try to get rid of this guy this time. Yep, get out of here. Don't want you bothering me anymore. Uh, so it's a little bit difficult to hit this one. Obviously, if we weren't Penguin Mario, we would start sliding. The not something we wanna deal with. Just gotta be as careful as possible. Get up like this. And another thing is that this this world, this entirety of this world, always reminds me of Christmas time, because I, I got this game during Christmas. It was just a lot of fun playing through this world. It got me in the festive mood. Okay, got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. There we go. A little bit more. Nice. Okay, so we, we got all the, 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 the red coins there. Got another life. Almost at 80 lives already. So I recorded episode one and episode two at the same time. Oh, this is a tough one. Maybe we should focus on this first. I remember this. I need to. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Freeze you. Jump on top. Duck. Jump. Yeah, there we go. That's a tricky one, all right. I, obviously, it could be made easy if you have like a propeller cap or something, but I don't have that, so this is my next best bet. But yeah, I recorded the first and second episode at the same time, or like one after the other. So I didn't get to see your responses to the first episode as I recorded episode two. But now that I have seen the first episode go out, you guys have been having a really positive reception. I'm super excited to see that. A lot of you have been sharing your experiences with this game, which is awesome. I love it when I hear that kind of stuff. But there's level three one done. Really fun level, I like that one. Some tricky star coins, but overall, a good time. I don't think, yeah, there was no secret exits for that one. But now we can mosey on over to world three too. See what happens there. But yeah, I, I thought it was really cool to hear that you guys love this game so much, you have a lot of awesome memories. That's really cool to hear. Seems like a lot of people have more memories playing this game co-op than they do single player, which is funny, because I, I never really have had that too much. I, I've played the game co-op in the past. Oh gosh, we got the downgrade. Should have looked before I grabbed, because this just isn't as good as the penguin suit. Even though I don't think there's any ice on this level, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Usually the levels that have an abundant amount of ice will give you the penguin suit. Okay, I got that, pretty good. This level isn't too bad. Oh gosh, or maybe it is. Uh, okay, so we got another ice if I need it, because I might, because we got an ice bro. Come on, freeze ya! No wait, freeze you, don't freeze me! Hiya! Okay, we got ya. Uh, whoa, whoa, there's a little pit down there. I gotta be careful. Okay, this level can be tricky. Oh, we got a star power though. This could be good, depending on how many different things I can take out. Got a Goomba up that way. I can't really quite get him at the moment. Come on, got it, got it! Got it, nice, we got a couple one-ups out of that. Got a round of applause and everything. Boom, got it. Oh, Yoshi's in this level. I totally forgot. Weird level for Yoshi, to be honest. Let's flutter jump over this way. What is this one gonna be? Just some coins. Okay, look at all these different bullet bills just all over the place. I'm sure we could get another like one-up combo jump if we really tried, but I don't really need to do that at the moment. I'm just trying to be careful, not get taken out in any kind of silly way. I don't wanna lose my Yoshi in the pit below. Oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> that was a little scary. Gotta be honest, oh yeah, this, oh no, Yoshi! Oh darn it, we lost him. I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. I hope we don't need him for anything. Like, what about this? Oh, you know what? I remember this one, yep, not too bad. I really hope that we get another chance at Yoshi. That's like not the only Yoshi egg we can find. We'll have to wait and see. Oh gosh, not another, no, and he got me! I gotta wiggle the controller to get out of the ice. Wait right here, got it, got it. And all of these coins. Hey, I'm gonna run for this one, ready? Jump, spin. The spin really makes it work. Oh boy. I'm gonna stay up here because I am mini Mario right now. If I do die, I probably have to get a lot of it done again. Ah, oh, I didn't get the uh, one up. That's okay. Overall, still a pretty good run through the level. We got 82 lives now. I don't think we died at all, so we did pretty good. We just lost out on Yoshi. 
Okay, this is where we gotta be careful. There's a bunch of ice bros bumping around. If we run into them, we're still mini Mario. We could get taken out really easy. But there's Lemmy. Lemmy is the boss in this world. He's my favorite Koopaling, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a mushroom now, I think will be a good idea. Or maybe even a fire flower, just to go in there and deal with everything. Nice and quickly. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I think we will be able to handle this guy, but we always gotta be careful. It's gonna be all icy. Okay, so I'm probably gonna wait for you to jump down, if you're willing. Come on, buddy. Come on, jump down. Jump down. I think whenever they're standing on brick blocks, that means they can, yep, jump down from it. Oh, but you don't. Fine. You know what? I'll take you out the old-fashioned way. Keep moving, keep moving. Gotcha. Okay, not bad. Oh, that's gonna get him. Nice. So let's try to get up there just like that, and this, and gotcha. Okay, so there's a couple more mushrooms for us. I'm sure that'll be helpful. And we didn't have to worry about it too much. Like, everything went pretty well. And I believe there's a little one-up hut we can reach. Oh, we gotta do this level first. Okay, so we got level three, three. This one might be a bit difficult. It's just on a floating ice cube. So I can only imagine there's gonna be a lot more ice physics. Obviously, it might not be a very fun world if you're not a fan of ice physics. But I don't mind them too much, especially in Mario games. I feel like they handle them quite well. Hmm, okay, so we got a one-up for that. Nice. But I guess we're going underground? I don't know why some of these levels are just like totally out of my memory. I, I remember them once I get more into them. Like, I remember this for sure. All the falling icicles. If you see at the top, some of them are slightly different colors or a little bit brighter. And those are the ones that'll fall. So we gotta be careful about that. But we get a penguin suit. It'll make it so much more easier to have traction. Got it, okay. What is this? Nothing really. Oh no, oh man, I can't believe I got hit by that. That's sort of embarrassing. Let me get up here. And, oh, I got another one, nice! Good timing! Go ahead and grab you. So, yeah, the icicles and these jerks can ruin all of your fun. I guess you really can't go through this level too slowly, can you? <laughs> okay, there's nothing down there. I don't remember too much where the star coins are, so I'm trying to find them, wherever they may be. Okay, so we already have a checkpoint, but no star coins. Here's some big icicles, they're falling. They always wiggle before they fall, but sometimes it's not enough time. Okay, so we got another little buddy right here. I'm gonna grab that, dodge these guys as much as possible. Oh boy. I mean, I probably should, no! Come on, I didn't even see that until it was too late. You know what, let me pick up that Goomba. Let me pick up that Goomba, and I'm gonna throw him at ya. Ooh, that was good. That was actually really good. Okay, grab that. Is there any power-ups around here out of any of these blocks? No. Okay, maybe another one here. They give you a lot of power-ups in this game most of the time, until I say so. <laughs> and then they give you none. What is this gonna have? Just some coins, nothing crazy. The problem is that all the icicles will fall as well. I mean, I guess sort of, kind of. Not that big of a deal. I'll get some free coins out of it, oh boy. I don't really know if it's worth this much time to get free coins. They do eventually disappear, I suppose, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Okay, well, we got some extra stuff out of it one way or another. Oh gosh, I gotta dodge these icicles. I don't know if I did that the correct way. Is there anything over there then? Uh, oh, they sort of unfall. Yeah, I guess I didn't do that exactly the right way. Did a, no, wait, no, wait! Oh gosh, that was scary. I did a little bit of a speed running tactic and then I went really slow afterwards. So yeah, if I was, uh, oh boy, oh boy. If I was Penguin Mario right now, I could have gotten a one up out of it. Oh well, oh I did miss a star coin. Where did I miss that? Oh, I remember this level being tough with star coins because I remember this one right here is a bit of a stinker. Let's try it. No. Seriously? <laughs> I needed to do the opposite of that. I accidentally shook the controller too much or something. But if I picked up the barrel, I could have grabbed this. Now it might be possible. I think I've done it before, to do this and die. You can definitely go down there and wall jump up. I'm almost positive, it's just not easy. Well, I missed out on a star coin from the beginning, but I have this checkpoint now, which is gonna not allow me to get the other star coin before this. Where was it? Where did I miss that? I don't know. Oh, you know where it is? I remember where it is. Okay, so I actually replayed through the level. Well, no, I didn't really play through it. What I did is I went to an old level. I died in that level and came back, and that removes the checkpoint flag. So yeah, it was in that little spot under there. Silly of me to miss that, but now we'll go ahead and try to get the other star coin. Oh, we have a star power as well. That'll make getting through this a little bit easier at the least. So I need to find the other star coin again now, but that one wasn't too bad either. Maybe I might even be able to get to the ice bro 
before this runs out. That would be the perfect situation. I'll have to come back for the penguin. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do it in time. Never mind. Let me just go get my penguin. Which a penguin will slowly move to the right for whatever reason. It just sort of little waddles around, which I think is pretty cute. Okay. Ah, yeah, not happening this time, you jerk. Gotcha. Okay, so keep moving this way, just like that, just like this, and I'm just gonna try to make it through this level as quickly as possible without dying, please, without dying, because I haven't gotten the checkpoint yet, so if that happens, not gonna work out. See, this time I'm playing through this level much better, getting one-ups all over the place, they're clapping for me, I really appreciate it. Okay, so this is where things get a little tough. Uh, What I have to do is pick this up, run this way, and then just run as quickly as I can. As far as I remember, this is what you gotta do. Yep, 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 yep. Keep running. Oh, come on. Dude, you are the worst. Uh, and I'm supposed to throw it down there and I will get a star coin, but I guess I have to replay through the level again or risk dying to get it. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna be able to complete the level without having to get the other star coins again. So let me just end this level, go back over there. It's not a fun star coin. Like I said, this world has some tricky ones and that's one of them. Anyways, as you can see, we unlock a little bit more. We got a one-up hunt, but I'm not gonna worry about that for the moment. I'm gonna go back in. Okay, we did it, we did it. All we gotta do, there we go. That is such a tricky star coin. No matter which way you do it, it's not easy. Of course, if you're in multiplayer, it probably works just fine, because one person can just jump down there and get it. That's sort of the beauty of multiplayer in this game and sort of the curse of it. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't matter to me, because I got it one way or another. So there we go. So we might as well go go get a couple extra lives in this one-up hunt and see how things go. I mean, I'm really close to max lives already. We're only in world three. They give you a lot. This game is pretty easy in that way. Here's a chance to win some one-ups. Go through the door to play. I will. Mario was like so silly to everybody. Just run around a little penguin suit. It's so cute though, I love it. Okay, so same time as last, same thing as last time, just sort of like in a different order. I don't think I'm gonna do very good with this. I never am. Uh, oh, no, I missed. <laughs> that was awful, you didn't even get one. Jeez, way to rub it in. You didn't even get one. Wow, no courtesy. Anyways, before we move on to the tower, we have our very first ghost house in this game. I don't remember it being easy, and of course, just like with every ghost house, there will be a secret exit, and I think it'll lead to the cannon over there. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's hope we can figure everything out. I don't know these too well, but we got a star coin over there. Some of these I have like a little bit of memory with, some of it I don't, so I'm just gonna try to figure it all out. Be along with the ride. I'll move over to the fire flower. I have a feeling I'll need it. That's a fool's door. There's things floating at me, I don't like it. It's scary. Is there anything over here? Ooh, I'm guessing this is a fake door as well, yep. Okay, so let's go into the real door and see what's on the other side. A pole, okay. Can I climb the pole? I think so, but first let's get this way. I got more coins. I do remember there being a lot of little hidden walls like that, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for those as much as I can. Be careful of the booze, they're chasing me. Anything over here? Nope, nope, nope. Just gotta be very careful. Uh, maybe there was something this way? No. Nope. Because that one coin went right through. There is a coin, oh, there we go, star coin, nice. There's this coin's flying now. It's so spooky, oh gosh. You gotta press up to grab onto a pipe. If you don't do that, you don't grab onto it, which is a little scary at times. Oh boy, got it, and what about this way? Nothing. Okay, good to check though, we already got two star coins down. And what about all of this? It looks like over this way we got more coins and a brick. Get a couple of these if I can. Got it, okay. Nothing else that way. Oh, I remember this part. Okay, so yeah, I know exactly how to get the third star coin and the secret exit, but you have to get both on like the same go. So we might have to complete this level before we get everything else completed, you know? So that's not the biggest deal in the world. We'll make it work. But in the meantime, I just gotta shimmy on over this way. Plop on down on this platform. Oh gosh, no, I got hit. Oh no. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. And what about all of this? Oh yeah, here's a little secret, I think. Maybe this is just a normal exit. I think the other door was another fool's door. I mean, maybe the star coin is this way? I can't remember. I think it's not though. There's like, I remember those hidden walls on this little elevator of doom. And I don't like it one bit, so I'm just gonna try to run back and forth and try to check wherever I can. 
but I can't remember. And that's what the stinky part about it. I have a feeling it's gonna be on the right, especially with, oh, there we go, the star. Get rid of this big boot. There we go, maybe it's on the left though. I don't remember. Why can't I remember? Now's a good time to remember, Zebra. Okay, I'm sliding down. I'm not finding anything. So it had to be on the left side if there was a star coin there at all. Oh boy. Okay, well, we're just gonna get out of here. We got our exit, at least some kind of exit. Oh boy, can I make that jump? Wow, I didn't think I was gonna be able to make that, but I made it just fine. Okay, course clear. We gotta go back through, and at least I can try for the secret exit, and maybe I'll be able to find it there. If not, I'll have to go in another time. That's ghost houses for you. You have to try them like seven different times to get everything. But that's a normal exit right there, so we could move to the tower. We already could have moved to the tower. I do appreciate that. For people who don't like the ghost house levels, which I can't blame you, they can be tough. They can just sort of uh, skip it, which is just great. So I know that this one up here has a fire flower, and I can sort of not worry about the rest of this business, just keep moving forward, and then get to the spot where I know there's a secret exit. It's a bit of a tricky one to get to. You have to do, I think, like a bit of like a, I wanna call it a leap of faith, but like a fall of faith, or at least of somewhat accurate precision. I don't know. Get up here, jump, jump, jump. Keep jumping, Mario. Okay, got it. And this is where the secret exit comes into play, I think. Somewhere around here. Maybe in the next room? No, 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 it's, it's this. So I need to be careful, be very careful. Even though I think that it's like right here. Yeah, okay, oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, so I landed in the right spot. <laughs> the little hidden platform over here, and as you can see, there's yet another elevator of doom. Where will this one lead? Surely to our own doom, you'd imagine. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, how big is this mansion if you can have two separate elevators? I mean, I guess most buildings that have one elevator will likely have two, that way there's people going up and going down. But you know what? All these people are ghosts. So what's the matter? Oh geez. I gotta be careful, this is gonna start falling any moment. I don't trust it. Come on, come on, there has to be a star coin around here, right? No? Oh gosh. Oh, there it is, yes, we got it! I gotta get this, I gotta get this star power. Star power, right? Yes, star power, got it. Okay, hold on, no, wait, I wanna get more booze. Gosh darn it, come on, can I get a one up? I should be able to get a one up with all that, awesome, and then if I hit this, can we get, oh, this is a fire flower. I think if I hit it a moment sooner, I could have gotten another star. But I got the star coin, which is all I wanted. So I'm happy about that. Oh god, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, we did it. All three star coins, got the secret exit, everything's turning out really well. The ground here is really weird. To me, it looks more like a moon rock or something, more than it does like spooky haunted soil. Especially since it's like the same repeating texture every other tile, it's weird. Okay, so there's that done. Happy to say that the ghost house wasn't that big of an issue. And as you can see, it leads all the way up this little hill and towards the cannon. We're not gonna worry about the cannons right now, as always. Instead, we're gonna have some fun at the mushroom hunt and maybe be able to make all the matches correctly this time. That would be great. Let's find out. We're almost at 99 lives. Something special happens when you hit 99. I wanna, I wanna showcase that. Okay, power up panels. So we, uh, we know all about how to play. We just gotta hope we get lucky. That's a pretty good start. That's also a really good start. That is not a good start. Uh, that's okay. That's not okay, come on, come on. Penguin, nice. As long as we can get a couple extra penguin suit, that's always nice, because we don't even have any in our inventory right now. Oh, maybe I can get another one. Okay, there's a mini Mario. Oh, another one. Oh boy, if I get even one Bowser face out of these four, so I have a, no wait, there's five. Okay, there's a mini Mario. We have a 50-50 chance, ah, every time. I can't do it, I get so close, yet so far. Oh man. Okay, I did what I could. We got one more penguin suit out of it, that's pretty gosh darn awesome. And we also have a tower to take on, Lemmy Koopa. Give me your best shot, buddy, let's see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna be very useful to have a fire flower in this level, I remember these, these towers being quite difficult. Oh, this one might not be too bad with all the moving platforms and stuff. Do I want the ice flower if it gives it to me or the penguin suit? 
maybe? Because I know that there is, either the tower or the castle has like a lot of dry bones that are gonna be much easier to take out, of course, if we have the ice power up. But for now, we have other things to worry about. Okay, you know what, yeah, we'll just take it. Like all these moving platforms, which can actually make traversing this level both really fun and really tricky. As you can see, come on, jump, Mario. Jumping seems to get you some extra distance, and you might see over this way, if we make this jump just right, there's a little hangover part right here on the bottom, or just like, you know. But uh, we, we can land on that, because it's a hidden platform. What do you know? And here's our first star coin. Oh gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I got it. Okay, so we gotta be careful, because I think the little corners can squish you, which would not be good. So I wanna sort of like time this as well as I can. Go for it, go for it. Duck, yeah, we made it. Not, not a problem at all. I mean, I sure to I could have gone over, but at the same time, I don't think that would have been too good of an idea. Oh, the platform's not raising because I didn't step on it. That's funny. Let's let you pop back up, and I'm gonna attack you, and then throw you against the wall. So that's the best way to deal with dry bones, which is why you want the ice flower. So let's try not to lose it on these guys. These are such a weird Mario enemy. I think they were in. Oh, and Mario DS as well. Come on, come on. Well, that was sort of bad timing. Maybe I can get another ice flower out of this, probably. Oh yeah, I remember, that. this is the difficult part. Okay, this is not an easy one. So, so far, a lot of these levels have been quite tough. I feel like their star coins are more difficult, but the actual level itself isn't so bad. So yeah, we just have to worry about the star coins. I need to hold on to this POW block, I think. Maybe not, we'll have to wait and see. I know there's gonna be a situation where I think another POW block shows up, and we need to hold on to that one. Make sure we don't drop it. And usually you want to drop the POW blocks. Not soon, when things get a little bit more messy. Uh, hiya, got it. Okay, so that actually takes care of the other dry bones, which is nice. Let me keep doing that then. Uh, got it. Whoa, don't go under that question block. It'll take me out. So these guys, as you can see, also take out the dry bones. Oh boy, but we can get damage from them very easily, especially when there's four of them bouncing around, so we're gonna have to be very precise with our jumps. If I could, ow, oh, not do that, that'd be great. I need to get up here real quick, pick this up, and then try to dance around them as much as possible because they'll break all those blocks. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, now the pal block can go, I don't care. But as easy, you can see, oh, I could have gotten a one up too, couldn't I have, or something. Yeah, well, I have 96 lives, I'll be okay. Okay, we got some like spinning Tetris blocks. Hey, wait a minute. This is a letter Z. I like it. <laughs> Only half the time now. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This one's the letter S. Oh boy, no wait, no wait, 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 wait. Okay, be careful. I don't have any power-ups right now, so I do have to be very cautious how and how I continue. But I also need to get up this way, which to dry bones is not gonna make that easy. Come on, buddy, don't do that to me. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. With just mini Mario at the least, it's gonna be really tough. Come on, I don't wanna fall all the way down here, come on! That stinks, get back up there. Come on, Leonard Z, don't let me down now. We've been together for so long. There we go. Oh, where's that dry bones at? Okay, so he's sort of kind of in the same position. There we go, I got it. So I'm gonna wait for him to come over here. I'm gonna play this really safe. That could have been safer and where are the power-ups at? There's definitely gonna be a power-up over this way, right? I really need one. Power-up. Don't tell me this area doesn't have a power-up. There's gotta be a power-up. <gasps> there we go. Oh, I got so scared. It's just a mushroom, but it might be enough to save me. Because, I mean, maybe I could've taken on this boss with as many Mario, but I would rather not risk it. We got Lemmy. This isn't too bad of a boss fight. The 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 uh, castle version of this one's much more difficult, but he spawns little balls and he's, he's gonna slide around. The ice physics make it super tough, especially when I'm trying to dodge his little thing. As you can see, he doesn't spin around very much, so we might wanna take advantage of that. Because which way is he gonna go? He's gonna go this way now, and I think he's gonna pop out right away. Yep, okay, very good to know. Knowing when they pop out of their shells can be a huge advantage in these boss fights and it's always worth paying attention to. Okay, so there is a boss fight done. We could have maybe done that as many Mario, but I'm glad I didn't have to risk it. Okay, so another one done. And that means we're about halfway done with World 4. Got a lot more action left. So you can see we head into the mist. What's gonna be on the other side? Well, we're gonna find out. 
What's happening over this way? Oh yeah, one of the toads, right? Help me. I'll help you later. Okay, so, yep, we'll save. Progress saved, thank you. If we head up this way, what do we got going on? Uh, ooh, lots of odd stuff. So we have the castle, it looks so close, yet it's actually pretty far. We have to do three, four, and I think three, five? I think we have to do three, four, several different times. And you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment as we head on in. Okay, so this level's weird because you can see there's a lot of spots that have like these little dotted areas, and that's because they are not activated. If you ever played a game called Super Mario World, one of my favorite Mario platformers, probably my favorite Mario platformer, um, it is also in there, there are little switches you can hit, and you can unlock little dotted blocks. And you might have saw in the overworld, we had a number of, we had a switch, we had two switches. One of them was pressed and one of them was not pressed. Oh gosh, hey buddy. Oh, come on, you ruined all my fun. Probably could have done that a little bit better to be honest with you, but I'm blaming it on him. Okay, so we got our first star coin, which is nice, but obviously you can tell that there's a lot of blocks around here that would make the level easier if they were actually filled in. So the second go around on this level will be nice. And that's sort of the fun part of it. It's a fun little idea that they don't really pursue again. The idea of setting up these blocks so it's basically an entirely different level. So you might see that there, there is, we, we can go up, but we can also fit down here, which is perfect, because there's a star coin in there. Okay, we got a checkpoint. That's gonna be good. Go back into being big Mario. And these are dotted coins, not dotted blocks, so I can hit them and they'll turn back into coins, which is great and I can get this, which would be great right now because then I wouldn't have to worry about all these slip and slide and ice issues I have going on right now. And then down this way, as you can see, there's like a whole line of dotted blocks down there. That is how you get to the other exit. You see there's a pipe there we can't quite reach. What about that? Okay, we just got a mushroom. Not really what I wanted, but it's what I got. I remember this area being really tough because there's this jerk and, oh, come on, get out of here with that. Please and thank you. Okay, well that was awkward. We were able to make our way past it. And there's another one. Seriously, get out of here. Thank you. And now we got this ice blocking the way to the star coin. But we were able to get it. Okay, things are working out okay. And then we got this giant ice platform going on. If I drop this at the perfect time, I get some extra coins. Luckily there was no star coin up there and yeah. As you can see, this is actually the secret exit. It's sort of a weird situation where the secret exit is actually the normal exit because it's the only way you can actually get out of this level is by going this way. For right now, until we activate some other stuff. But uh, yeah, we have a little bit of free time. Let's go and do another mushroom hunt. We just did one, one level ago. <laughs> well, we get to do another one. Maybe I can get them all this time. I really hope that by the end of this playthrough, I can finally Get that done. I've never done it before, but I really, really want to complete power-up panels. Let's see. Okay, propeller cap, not bad. Ice shroom, no, ice flower. Two different things there, zebra. Okay, this is looking really good. Okay, we got an ice flower there. Fire flower. Wow, this is going really well. No, no, it's going really bad. No, it's going really, really bad. Uh, it can't be another one right here. No, it can be! Are you serious? Why? Ah, oh, that stinks. We were doing so well, too. Uh, it went so good to so bad. Three in a row. Or three, like, Bowser and Bowser Juniors in a row. Anyways, we're going into world three, five. I think this one is interesting because it's not too much of an ice level. It's more of a, uh, flying high in the mushrooms kind of level. We have these little propeller blocks that we get to use a little bit more this time because last time we had them. Uh, we had a propeller cap, but speaking of which, we should go and check what these things are. Oh, hey, look at that. Never mind then. I mean, it's always more reliable to have the propeller cap instead of the propeller block. Oh, we got some coins. Got them. I'm gonna go up here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, don't fall already. Don't fall already, be careful. So this is yet another level that we may have to replay. I can't exactly remember. I think so though. And it's much, much easier if you have the, qu the not the question block, but the, uh, the button pushed. I mean, this does make me in the mood to play Mario World or Super Mario World. I want to sometime this year for you guys, uh, but I have a special occasion I want to do it for, so I can't talk about it now. And I don't know if there's any of these pipes we can actually enter. I remember this level being tricky, and so far it has been proving me right. Maybe over this way, you see these little blocks. Maybe that's like a secret exit or something. Because you can't enter side pipes without there being ground next to it, unless it's like underwater or something. That's sort of like a tricky rule that Mario has. 
Okay, so we made it up here. Yeah, okay, see like this pipe right here. There's no way we can enter it because there's no ground next to it. So we only got one star coin, but that's not too big of a deal. I'm sure we can find more along the way. I can only hope. Or no, that's the end of the level, <laughs> okay. I totally forgot. Well, we got a one up, we're at 99 lives, awesome. So, the next time we're back to normal Mario, that should mean that we have a special little secret unlocked. It's it's not anything crazy, but if you've ever, if you've never played this game, it'll come to a treat, but we'll have to see when we're just back to normal Mario. It doesn't happen when you're propeller Mario. Okay, so as you can see, we press that button, and that activates some stuff. Every dotted block is turned into a red block on courses. Now you might be able to get to places you couldn't reach before. But this was like a nice little Super Mario World throwback, but at the same time, I feel like, they could have maybe explored it more. That's sort of the interesting thing about Super Mario World is it felt a lot more like an adventure game than these games do, because New Super Mario Bros. admittedly is very, very linear when it comes to that kind of stuff. Whoa, whoa, you moved way quicker than I thought you would. Um, but yeah, it is true that Mario World is very linear when it comes to a lot of that stuff. Oh, no, Mario World, or New Super Mario Bros. is. It's like, you can't go to level 3-4 unless you go to level 3-3, you know, for the most part. Sometimes we do have branching paths, but it's never, never anything too in-depth. In Super Mario World, you can 100% of the game and get every, you know, level and secret exit, or you could play, like, four different levels, get the cool, super hidden secret exits, and end up getting, like, the game completed in, like, 45 minutes. It's crazy. I love that game so much. It's a really good one. I'm really bad at it, though, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, so there was no secret over that way. I'm just sort of trying to check everything as much as I can. Gotta be careful. Get up this way. That's not anything good to know. It does make the level a little bit easier, but it is an auto-scrolling level, so I can't really go too far ahead of the block. But we can get up like that, and I can get up like this, and I can get up like this, and then we can go. <laughs> sort of shortcut it a little bit. And hopefully there are two more star coins to find in this one. That would make everything a little bit easier. Okay. Then we got another propeller block if we need it, even though I don't really need it, which is good. What is this stuff? We got another propeller cap if we need that. I'm gonna try to avoid it, just in case I do get hit, I have it. Okay, there's another star coin. Come on, come on, boom. Okay, that, thank goodness that's the second one. So I haven't missed the, the second one anywhere. So we're just looking for the third now. I think we're on a good track towards it. Okay. Uh, whoa. Be careful there, Koopa. Nice, I got all those pretty well. And I get another one up, which I don't need anymore because we're at max lives. Okay, can I propeller cap up this just right? I can't, okay, no! Come on! You might have saw for just a second that Mario did not have a cap on. And that's the secret to 99 lives and then I die and ruin it, come on. Oh gosh, I just finally get back here and I immediately get hit. Luckily, I got the star coin. Come on, these Koopas are at such an awful angle. This is a really tough level, I'm sure you've noticed. But yeah, that was sort of the whole secret, is that when you hit 99 lives, Mario just doesn't have his cap anymore. It's just sort of like a fun little thing, you know? You only would figure that out if you got 99 lives, so it's just like a cool little touch. And that is such a tough pipe to get to. Oh my gosh, is, is the awfulness over? Not quite yet, we gotta make this jump. And then gotta make this jump. I don't even care if I get the one up or not. I'll get it soon. I just want to survive this level because it has been very treacherous. Very, very treacherous. I'm glad we got through it. So now we gotta go through level four, or three, four again. But first off, we got ourselves a star hut for all of our troubles, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get that. And hopefully everything will turn out just fine. Okay, see so yeah, what's gonna go on in here. Here's a rare item, I'm sure it'll come in handy. I sure hope so, I'm out of here, goodbye. Sooner or later. Okay, so yeah, let's head back down this way and do World 3, 4. I might start with like a mushroom to help my, myself out a little bit, but this level shouldn't be too difficult to get through because we should be able to get Penguin Suit right away and then the level is just simply easier with all these blocks, as you can see. You don't have to worry as much about the obstacles because there's just more things you can land on in instead of it. So I can go like this. No, oh, okay, never mind, never mind, I I'm wrong. I'm very, very wrong. Just get up like that and be a little bit more careful now, Zebra. Oh, but you see, like, that's easier, obviously. It's awesome. I don't have to worry about any of the more riskier uh, star coins, because I've already gotten them. So we can just worry about getting out of this level, really. Okay, uh, be careful. Be careful. 
don't want to be risky just because it's easier. That, that That's a quick way to find a way to get taken out unnecessarily. Whoa! Okay, so I gotta get down here without being squished just like that. And then if I just go ahead and slide, sure, why not? There's not ice, so you don't want to slide very far, but we can go under like that, and we're good! That should be the secret exit down. So I can do this and chase after it. Okay, go under there. Oh gosh, didn't really work. Try that again. <laughs> that was weird. Go under like that. Good, good, good. Okay, so I could have done that better, but it's no big deal. As long as we're getting the exit, which we just did. Oh boy, yeah, look at that. That was a good jump right there. I like it. <laughs> getting the triple jump. You do definitely get a little bit of extra momentum when you do that, so that was pretty cool. It wasn't a very worthwhile one-up because I already had 99 lives, but it still made me feel awesome. Okay, so finally, we have the last level in World 3, unless I missed some secret exits, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I mean, I can go and check real quick, just to make extra sure, but I'm almost positive we've gotten everything. Because this level isn't too crazy with the secret exits, and I'm pretty sure there's a thing over there. I don't want to deal with the uh, ice bros if I don't have to. So yeah, I think we've gotten all the secret exits, and we can head back this way and complete this level for good. I mean, we had two secret exits technically here, so I think that's why they didn't have too many before, because I just didn't want it to be like, okay, you have five secret exits in this world. That'd be a little crazy. But okay, well, three castle, we're going in with a penguin suit and 99 lives. I don't think too many bad things can possibly happen then. It also means I don't have to worry so much about picking up coins and stuff. I might still do it, you know? Maybe we could get a ton of points, get a really high score. We're almost at two million points at 1.65 million, which is pretty good. But usually the coins, you know, illustrate which way you should be going. For now, let's just be careful about all these icicles and stuff. This can be quite the tough uh, castle level. Definitely one of the most difficult castles so far. You might notice that the, the moving blocks is also a return from Super Mario World, but beyond that, it's ice. So if we weren't on a penguin suit right now, we'd be slipping and sliding all over the place, which is why it's important to be careful. We have all, the, all these like Lemmy, or some of Lemmy's bouncing balls that he conjures up. He's a little bit of a magician, I like that. And there we go, there's our first dark one. That one's not too bad, but if you don't time things well with the balls, it could be bad. Can I get up there and get that? I think it, I think it's a one-up. I guess not. It doesn't matter too much. Let's dodge you. <laughs> that was a little weird. Okay, so there's like the first portion of the level done. This spot can be a little bit tough. We have these bob bombs that we can hit. I think this is the first time the bob bombs show up in uh, this game which is pretty cool. You might notice that some of the ice cubes have bob bombs in them, and if something explodes near them, they'll explode as well. So we gotta be careful about that. Uh, what? That didn't work. <laughs> okay, zebra's been proven wrong. I guess I gotta get closer. No, not that. Come on, that's silly. That's like genuinely very, very silly. Plop them down. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mario? You're such a dingus. Okay, you know what? How about we play it safe? Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so let's try this again. But try not to be a dingus about it this time. I don't know why that like I swear that the Bob Bomb range used to be, oh my gosh, larger. But I'm having a really hard time with it right now. Okay, you know what? Just leave you there and see what you end up doing. Will that be large enough? See that time I was, I swear the other time it was fine. But no. Okay, that's definitely gonna get it. So I can get rid of you maybe or not, whatever, whatever, just get the penguin suit, go this way. But what I was saying before, I wanted to do it not risky by going and getting this checkpoint. And then I, of course, end up messing it up. Okay, so we got a bit of a risk going on with this thing. He's gonna explode all these bob and there's gonna be like a huge chain, chain explosion, so we gotta be careful. I think it's gonna be smarter to stay in front, the front half of this, so that we can keep up with everything. But as you can see, it sort of goes in like a whole bunch of different directions. Also, I haven't really mentioned, uh, oh gosh, how bad I can be at this game. Be careful. Um, how these little platforms down below work. Uh, they will go away if you stand on them for too long, but a nice little trick is that if you constantly jump up and down, uh, it resets it every time. So you can stay safe that way. Okay, so I got that. Uh, I gotta be careful on where these are gonna end up falling. I think that's gonna be fine, right? Ooh, got it, okay. So I can get some of these if I wanted to, but I already have 99 lives, so it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Cause that's all it'll give me right now. I just gotta be careful we don't fall to our doom. And I think that's more of my concern at the moment. Got it, okay, so. Just gotta keep moving this way. 
And I think that if we stay up this way, we won't get a uh, star coin out of it, but we will get another potential one up, just like that. I don't know what's down there then. I think it's just a power up. As you can see, we already have all three star coins, so I don't care. I just want to survive and keep moving and all that awesome stuff, but I guess you can get a power up down there in those two pipes that were to the left of the door. Okay, so we have our third castle battle. Here's Lemmy. What are you gonna do, Kamek? Probably not something very nice. Oh boy. Uh, oh, it's gonna grow, isn't it? Oh wow, and we got little pits we got we can fall down. I think the balls can push you a little bit, so you gotta be careful of that. And I think he's gonna roll this way. Maybe, we gotta pay attention to it. Will he just pop out right away? He won't, so he's probably gonna pop out here. No, 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 he's gonna pop out that side. Come on, I'm trying to be ready for him, and I missed him. But I can get him again off the wall jump, nice. So he goes back and forth once. So he goes back, and then he goes over there, and then he's gonna come back this way. So if we are ready for this, oh, no, I was a little too early, but I got him. <laughs> I don't know how I got him there, but I certainly got him. Boom, give me that key. It's so weird, what are the keys supposed to do in this game? I guess they open the door to his right? Because besides that, the keys don't really have a use. I have to imagine it's that they open the door slightly to his right, because what else do they do? Sort of a weird detail. Anyways, there we go. Maybe it's because, I think it was the same thing in the new Super Mario Bros. for the DS, that one also had keys, right? That just sort of seemed like they didn't really do anything. <laughs> okay, well, there's that done. That means that Will 3 should be completed. We're gonna chase after that aircraft, the airship. And as you can see, you got all the star coins in World 3. Awesome stuff. So, that should mean that we're gonna tackle World 4 next episode. It is going to be a underwater level. Might not be all that fun to challenge, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's gonna be Wendy Koopa as well. We are moving on with the bright and sunny World 4. There's a big mean fish staring at me. We don't want to worry about him now, luckily, but we will eventually have to worry about them. So, actually he might be in this level, I can't remember. I really hope he isn't, because just like in New Super Mario Bros. DS, there are those really big evil mean fish. But hey, we got the penguin suit. So of course the penguin suit isn't just helpful in ice levels, he's also very helpful in these water levels for a good couple reasons. One thing, he can freeze these fish so that we can hop on top of them, and boom, get a star coin. And he also has a lot better swimming controls when he has the penguin suit. So as you can see, if I press A, he really does use those little penguin flippers to his, to his advantage. Oh gosh, let's go back and get the other one. While in this form, you sort of have to just let yourself lower under the water, but here you can actually just sort of point whatever direction you want to go. So there's a lot more control with it, which makes swimming a lot more easier, so I don't know how I messed up getting hit by the Goomba. Okay, let's get you out of here, thank you. Now I know there are these these uh, red coins. I'm honestly not too interested in them, and I don't usually ever get them very easily. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna keep moving. I don't think we've missed anything, so we can just keep going this way. This is a very tough level. I think that World 4 is another one of those ones that's pretty difficult. Once again, not as difficult as World 2, but it can be a good bit of a challenge. And we'll try to find the secret exit. Whoa, I forgot that's something you can do. You can just glide on the water. Okay, we got all these angry purple fish. They're like, oh, I want to beat you up for no reason. I'm just mean. And they also go through walls. Why? Because that's inconvenient, that's why. Okay, so come on, can we get a one up? Ah, uh, not quite, ah, uh, it's fine. I don't need it. I usually don't get a hundred, or not a hundred, but 99 lives in the game this early on. I usually get it eventually when I play through this game, but I feel like we've actually been doing quite a good job with uh, getting the lives. I know that when I first played through this game, because like I've said before, I've, I've played through this game on camera before. Can I not get up here? There we go. Uh, way back when, it was like 2011. I think the last time I played this game on camera, we did a full series on it. That was one of the first games I did like a full 100% video, video series on. That was pretty cool back then. But a lot of people accused me of like cheating to get the 99 lives, even though I got all of the lives in the series. I was like, oh, well, I know who didn't watch the whole thing. Oh, look at me. That's actually quite lucky. I lost my penguin suit and then I get another one, which is sort of good because I need him to get this star coin. Oh gosh, gotta be we gotta be quick about it though, because as you can see, he eventually breaks and that's not gonna be good for us because he falls all the way down to the bottom. That's sort of what we need for, oh gosh, oh gosh, this other guy. Oh, oh, that time he broke. Okay, poor thing. <laughs> sort of feel bad. 
Let's see if we can't get up here at all. I don't think there's anything over here. Maybe just like a one-up or something. I'll leave that power up there if I can save it for later. Yep, just a one-up. Don't quite need it, so if it falls, it falls. Not a big deal. But we're doing okay. Oh, it's coming back. It's like, wait for me. Oh, no! Okay, I'm so glad that I left this penguin suit. And we still, of course, don't have a cap right now because of the fact that, uh, we're 99 lives. As you can see, my ice balls don't even affect these big guys. I'm pretty sure there's another star coin around here, but I can't remember. I'm trying to look around for it. It isn't this way, it doesn't seem. <laughs> I gotta be a little bit more careful. Where is it? Maybe down this way, ooh. Quite possibly. Oh gosh, the current is so weird. It's so hard to keep up with. Is it down there? Oh, it's totally down there. I might get hit, but it might be worth it. Ah, if I was a little bit quicker. Oh, I see what we're supposed to. Okay, it makes sense. What we're supposed to do is freeze those other two urchins. They will roll downwards, and that way it'll block the current. That is so tricky. Okay, well, I get to try it again. Okay, now that I know what to do, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze that guy, and then move over this way, and freeze this guy, and I'm pretty sure this is the, the star coin. I'd be a little confused if it isn't. So yeah, I guess you only need to do that on one side. I would suggest the right side, that way the current on the pipe on the left isn't gonna push you into the big urchin, but now we can go into this yellow pipe. Cool. And I'm sure there's more than one. Oh, there's ha just has one-ups? Okay, well thank you for the one-ups, I suppose, but this isn't what I was looking for. I'm looking for the star coin. <laughs> That's just silly. I mean, I guess it's great if you need three extra lives. It's a little bit tricky to get down there, though, to be honest with you. Hmm, where else could it be? I mean, somewhere up here, maybe? Uh, I wanna try to avoid you for now, if you don't mind, Penguin. Hopefully you can stick around, though. You might just fall into the water. Oh boy, speaking of water, uh, we gotta be careful about all these monsters within it. Okay, oh, you know what? I remember this. This is where you get the star coin. You need to hop on top of these guys, yup, 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 and get that. It's tough to do without the ice because uh, the wind will blow you back over here. So unless you have something like Mini Mario, but it'll be very hard to get through that without getting hit. Um, or even like a propeller cap, that would probably work out decent enough. That's not what I meant to do, oh gosh. Okay, can I get him? And probably not. No, you know what, I'm not gonna try. We're just gonna finish the level. We don't need the one-ups. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so there is that done, awesome stuff. And that's the first level of World 4, so I guess you can get a good idea of how difficult things might end up being. Now, I'm probably going to avoid the 1-Up Mushroom Huts for now, because I have 99 lives, it would be a total waste to go for them. But you might see this big fish, because this is our first mini game, or not, our, I always say our first, it's the only mini game in World 4. Just like how it's the only mini game in every other world. <laughs> but yeah, this is World 4's mini game. And this one is not pleasant, because we got this big mean fish, but if you do it quick enough, you can tell it's not that bad. It's just a matter of timing your runs and your jumps and all that kind of stuff. And we got three mushrooms out of it, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Mario is like watching the toad hop up and down. Must give him a pain in the neck, I'd imagine. So which level's four to? This one, okay, cool. This one looks like it might be taking place more on ground with the area that's surrounding the little level. So that would be appreciated. Oh no, I know what level this is. We're gonna see our friend again. Uh, Mr. Swim fish, they, they all fish swim. That's not a really good description of them. I like how that even in the uh, fire Mario, and I think even the ice Mario version, as you can see, Mario uh, loses his cap once you hit 99 lives. I'm trying to be careful, because I have no idea where the star coins are. Okay, dodge that. And they just, they never stop. They never, ever stop. Uh, okay, be careful. So there's one thing I've been wanting to talk about in uh, this series at some point. And that's the fact that uh, in New Super Mario Bros. DS, oh gosh, it's hard to talk and focus on this at the same time, but in New Super Mario Bros. DS, of course, we had the introduction of some new power-ups, and same thing in this game. In the last game it was, um, I don't know, maybe Mini Mario was new in New Super Mario Bros. DS, but Giant Mario and Blue Shell Mario. But in this game we have Penguin Suit Mario, Propeller Cap, Ice Flower, all that kind of stuff. And those things are really cool additions. The only thing is that I think a lot of people really criticize the series for adding new, but not going back to old ones all the time. Because we have the Blue Shell Mario, I'm pretty sure that never shows up again in a Mario game. <laughs> uh, or at least not in the new Super Mario Bros. games, the Blue Shell Mario. Because I know eventually we get Hammer Bro Mario that I think is also in a Blue Shell in like Super Mario 3D Land, but that's sort of kind of different. Oh boy, oh boy, be careful, so many of them. 
So that's sort of something I want to ask you guys about. Do you think that this game should have had the new power-ups, the Penguin Suit and the Propeller Cap and everything else, but also should have had the old power-ups, the Blue Shell Mario, the Giant Mario, Giant Mario does make another return in another new Super Mario Bros. game. I won't spoil it for now, because if we eventually plan on playing that one. But, uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, I messed that up. That's fine. I thought that the giant fish was in this level. Guess I was wrong. I don't mind being wrong in this situation. I'm actually very happy I was wrong, because I don't like dealing with that guy at all. But, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Do you think there should have been a... What's it called? Do you think there should have been... Blue Shell and Giant Mario in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I think that would be a pretty interesting addition. I mean, there's also Yoshi, so maybe all that would be too crowded, and I think that's sort of the best counter argument. Anyways, I don't remember if there's a secret exit in this level, so I might go ahead and check real quick. Okay, I'm wrong. I think there's a secret exit in the tower of this level, so we'll have to keep in mind that. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, that is the case, so we'll have to look out for that when we play the tower. Thinking about it more and more, I exactly remember that situation. Oh, we got crabs, creepy crabs. Even though these guys aren't too creepy. They're sort of cute. I don't know why I find crabs in any kind of like crustaceous kind of creature so creepy sometimes. Like the urchins can be a little creepy. Especially since they just look at you, you know? They're just like, what are you gonna do, huh? Oh, <laughs> apparently nothing against you, big guy. All right, okay, be careful. They throw like little, I guess like balls of sand or something, and you can actually jump off of them if you want. Oh, I, I was holding a shell, didn't even realize. I do not know what we're doing, where we're going. We can press this and get a couple of coins. I guess, of course, if I'm Penguin Mario, I can do this, which is pretty cool. Awesome, there we go, we did it. Now, I do think we need Mini Mario at some point in this level. Gotta be careful, because these guys are being jerks. Okay, you know what? Yep, right there, we need Mini Mario. Do we get Mini Mario somewhere then? I don't know if that's actually anything special or not. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, let's hope I didn't regret picking this up. Luckily, the enemies that you take out don't respawn. Okay, body slam on him. Whoa, I missed. Okay, get rid of him quickly. The nice thing about Mini Mario is you do run on the water. So you wanna make sure that you just sort of run out at full speed. And here it is, the third star coin. That was pretty close to the second one. I mean, you have to use an interesting combination of powers in this in this level. Of course, we were just using the uh, tummy slide of uh, the Penguin Mario to get to this point. Now, I'd like to get all of these red coins for the specific reason that uh, then I might not have to worry about getting hit and having to do all of this again. There we go, that was awesome. Seriously? Are you kidding me? No, I don't need a one-up, I need a power-up. What is that about? Okay, I think we've gotten to the end. <laughs> I would love to have done this level in the first try, that would make me so happy. I think we did, as long as there's not, uh, nothing gonna get in my way. Okay. Oh boy, yeah, we made it! <laughs> I love how in mini Mario mode, Mario isn't even as big as the little ball on the top of the flag. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so there's that done, and we can move on over to the tower. Now, I have no use for Mini Mario in this tower level, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get myself a mushroom. That should be enough to keep me going. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Four tower. I remember this being a tough level with some tough things to deal with, so hopefully everything turns out okay, but I guess we'll find out together. Uh, oh my. So we got, oh yeah, I remember now. It's this whole conveyor belt situation. I wanna get over here before it blocks the path though so we can get an ice flower. I remember that, but we have these blocks that of course will squish us if they hit us, and there's conveyor belts moving them, and that's sort of the big risk with everything, so we gotta be super duper careful if we wanna make our way through everything. Well, oh yeah, and then we have like little situations like this where we gotta hop on top of it. So that's our first star coin right there. Not too bad of a one. The secret exit is where this level gets a bit difficult, and I think there's a really tricky uh, star coin somewhere in this level as well. Whoa, I'm going all over the place at the moment. But yeah, if you get squished by one of those blocks, it's an instant takedown, so there's no way you're gonna be able to get, you know, out of there unscathed. You have to do the whole, not the whole level over, but you know, if you don't hit a checkpoint, you do. Luckily, we just hit the checkpoint. Actually, I shouldn't have done that, should I have? I think I just missed a star coin down here. Okay, well, that's fine, because like I said, I gotta go through this level an additional time. Oh, I'm so silly. So very silly. I don't really need these red coins either, but you know what? I might as well get them, right? There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just missed a, a star coin there. We can check it out afterwards, like I said. 
As long as I can get to the end of the level, that's gonna be the most important thing. But if I can get anything else along the way so I don't have to worry about it the next time, that'd be great. But it shows you that I need to take some practice in not being as non-diligent as I currently am, however you would word that. Okay, got it. And I don't think there's anything up there. We just gotta be careful because as you can see, it'll sometimes drop blocks that are too big to let us pass. And we sort of have to wait around for a block that isn't as big enough. Okay, so this is where the tough part of this level is about to pop up, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. So there's multiple things going on here. And like I said, we first have to, oh gosh. Oh gosh, I don't like it. Oh gosh, I really don't like it. Okay, I made it, I made it, but we have to survive still. Okay, we did it. Now, doing something with that is also gonna get us the secret exit later on, but that's all we're gonna worry about for right now. <laughs> oh, I really don't like that. It's scary. So as you can see, I'm missing my second star coin. Luckily, I know exactly where it is. It's in that little pocket. And we got one to Koopa to take on. And will she do the little thing or is that only in the final battle? Yep, okay it is. I won't spoil it, we'll run into it. But for right now she just sort of hops around, she throws these little like circular things and they will bounce around too. A little bit of a pain in the butt to deal with. Okay, she's out of her shell. Oh gosh, oh, almost landed on it. I'm trying to take her out before she can throw out another one because that's sort of a thing she'll do is she'll try to throw out more than one of them. Okay, she really like, likes being on the right side. But yeah, she'll try to throw out another one so that there's like two or even three bouncing around. And you wanna make sure you hit her before she does that so that you don't have to deal with it. It makes the boss fight easier. Okay, well, she's out of here. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Cause we gotta go back into that level again. Luckily we don't have to fight her more than once because we won't be taking that exit, but you know the deal. Let's hop back into that level. <laughs> As you can see that unlocks level three, five? No, no, three, four, I think, maybe. <laughs> yeah, three, four. Okay, then let's go back into the castle, get that extra star coin, and get the secret exit. Okay, so this part's pretty simple. I just totally missed it. All we gotta do is go up here, and boom, got the star coin. So now, all we're worrying about is getting up this way, and getting to that one secret exit spot, and seeing how everything goes. So, pop down like that, go up like this, pop down like that, go, go, go. I'm gonna skip as much as I can, so that you know we're not dilly-dallying too much. But back where the third star coin was, was also where a secret exit is. And once again, if you pay attention to the pattern of the walls, you might actually be able to see it. So, that's what we'll be looking out for. Okay, get past this, and then I'm gonna wait for this one, because I don't want it to squish me, thank you. Oh, oh, got it. Uh, this this is a tough tower. A lot of the times, and it's a weird trend, but there are some tower levels in some worlds that are definitely more difficult than the actual actual castles in those worlds. I would say Last World, World 3, is one of those cases with the, uh, especially that star coin where we had to hold the pal block, and then in this one, the tower's really tough. Okay, so let's focus on this uh, secret exit. So I need to actually go before any of the blocks fall, jump up like that, and boom, go on in. And that is our secret exit, so very cool. We got a couple more conveyor belts, but you can see we're outside of the castle, which is, I don't know, a pretty cool visual if you ask me. Reminds me of the first secret exit we get in the tower level of New Super Mario Bros. DS, so pretty cool that we just found a way outside of it. And that should lead us to the cannon, so we're not gonna be worrying about that right now. Instead, we'll worry about world three, four. But yeah, there's one more cannon down. Okay, so world, I keep on calling it world three, four. We're in world four. I don't know why I get that mixed up. It just sort of feels like a World 3 to me. I think that in New Super Mario Bros. U, maybe? Maybe it was in this game as well. The ocean beach level, um, not in this game, but New Super Mario Bros. DS and New Super Mario Bros. U. It's, uh, I think it's World 3 that's the, the beach level. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up as well. I get tons of stuff mixed up, I'm silly. What do we get here? Ooh, Fire Flower will be so much more helpful for the most part. The Ice Flower can be helpful for like specific star coins, but beyond that, it's always, when it comes to surviving levels, especially a level with these little guys and them bloopers, oh, they're the worst. It's always easier to have a Fire Flower, be able to instantly eliminate your foes, just like that. Especially we got bloopers, which usually naturally try to swim towards you, and then we had the purple fish that also do that, and all the blooper babies, oh, they're so cute, but they, they drive me nuts because they're so hard to dodge. Oh, I'm conflicted. Is there a little invisible wall here? There's none. Gotta be careful, you never know when those are gonna show up. Get out of here. Okay, so I'm just gonna dodge the red coins. I don't wanna risk anything. Oh gosh, they hide behind the seaweed. Is that really necessary? I don't think so. So I'm trying to just sort of be ready for wherever they may show up and shoot some fireballs at them. 
Get those guys away from us. Okay, so we got ourselves our checkpoint flag, which is both good and bad because we still have yet to find a star coin, so I really hope I haven't missed one, but I don't see where I could have. I've been pretty diligent through this level. Oh gosh, got him. Okay, that was good, that was good. Can we go down this way? No. We can definitely go in that yellow pipe though, right? I have to imagine. Whoa. Hold on, be careful, be careful, be careful. Got it. And down we go. This better be a star coin, I'm gonna get really concerned. It's not a star coin. Okay, buddy, can we get you? Yeah, we can, just one hit takedown on these big dudes. That's a weird surprise to me. And we do get a star power, so we would've been able to get rid of him in another way as well. I could've picked up those one-ups, but I don't know. I'd rather just have the star power to help me survive with my fire flower as much as possible. Okay, hit the P switch, get a bunch of coins. It does turn stuff off, because I think it's trying to tell us to go up here. It is. Okay, so this is a star coin, but I don't think it's the star coin, like the first one. Okay, now we got penguin suit. Uh, this will be helpful for getting this, of course. Or not, no, 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 we gotta do this. Okay, I get it. And got it. Okay, that was weird. Usually don't have to go this far into a level to get star coins, but that's how it is. Okay, so what else do we have going on? Uh, I'm going way too fast, that's a problem. <laughs> come on, come on, ready? Get out of here, you jerk. How do we get down this way? You might be able to tell that there's, huh, I don't know. I don't trust this anymore. I really need a fire flower and I'm not getting one. Oh boy, oh, 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 star power, star power, I need that. I really, really need that. Can I get it without taking a hit? Of course not. Come on. No, my star power! That's so unfair! I want my fire flower back. Of course I needed the penguin suit for a stinking thing. Where, where, how can I get out of here? How can I get out of here? Come on, keep moving, keep moving. They're all chasing me, there's an army of them. Okay, is that the second one? That's the second one. Can this be a mushroom? Please, no, 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 oh no. The problem, now I know why they made it, so, oh gosh, uh, oh gosh. Now I know why they made it, so that, oh, here we go, here we go. There's a checkpoint before all the star coins, so that if you die, you gotta do this all again. <laughs> I'm out of here, I wanna leave. Oh my gosh, why would they do that? It's so mean. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, I don't care what kind of level or one-up we get, I just want to get out of this level with all the star coins. Jeez. Also, I love how he still does the hat taking off animation even though he has no hat. He's like, oh, it's just in my instincts from doing it all the time. Okay, so we have our first mushroom hunt of the level, unless I missed one earlier, but I don't think that's the case. So, we'll go ahead and do this one. I'm still on the constant journey to try to get this flipping mini game done because we have to flip all these panels. What is it called again? This is what I just called in my head, is the, the flipping minigame, you flip all the panels. Uh, Power-up panels. I don't know. Okay. Nope. Okay, we got the mini Mario. That's not a good start. We're one step away from losing again. There's a mini Mario. Oh, okay, that's a Bowser. That's a nice room. And ice, why do I always call them ice rooms? I don't know, and that's it. So we only got a mini Mario and a propeller cap. That stinks. Yeah, we were just way off. We should have went to the left. We went to the right. Oh well. Only so much you can do, right? So there's that done. Let's get up this way and do four ghost house. First off, let me go ahead and get a mushroom just in case I need, I have 13 of them. I don't think I need that many, so it's good to have a couple extra, but I don't need that many. So if I spend one now, not the end of the world. I'd rather spend a mushroom than spend a, a life, right? I wanna keep it at 99 as much as possible. Oh, I remember this one being tricky. So like every ghost health house, there will be a uh, secret exit somewhere around here. And I do remember sort of like lightly where it is, maybe? I can't remember if that's the secret exit or the star coin. Like, uh, I think it's in one of these panels. Like you stand on these and they sort of lower themselves or raise themselves. Just, okay, there we go, that's a star coin. I knew there was something there, just didn't remember what it was. Okay, well, good to keep in mind. Should probably check that out for some more of these, if they lower themselves, see what they lower into. This one, a whole bunch of nothing. These ghosts are pretty relentless so far. Maybe it's this one? I feel like one of these has a door behind it. If it does, yeah, this one. I think that's for a secret exit, so we will leave that be for now. And then up here, there isn't much, but if we hit this, unless there's something up this way, there's not. Oh, that was nothing, okay. I'm pretty sure there's a button somewhere. Uh, where could that be? Oh, right here. So what we gotta do is stand like this, and then jump. Oh, a little bit higher. Come on, 
Mario can jump high, but not that high. There we go, it makes a whole arrow. It makes it as obvious as possible. I can't go through that door. I know, I know. Oh gosh, there's little rat tunnels. When I was younger, I thought you could go in here with mini Mario, but I've tried it so many times and it never works. It would be pretty cool if there was like some kind of interesting little secret with like mini Mario there. Oh gosh, I thought that was gonna get me a power up and instead it got me less powerful. Whoa, whoa, I really started flying there. What's this way? Oh, star coin number two? Star coin number two. And then this is the proper door, maybe. Maybe the other door is a fool anyways. I don't know, whoa. I guess they both lead to the same spot. Okay, once again, I'm not really too worried about getting a one up here, I'm just trying to survive, so I think the third star coin is tied to the secret exit, at least I sure hope so, because if not, I don't know what we're gonna do. How we're gonna get it, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so there is that, we're gonna hop back in. Once again, maybe I'll get a mushroom. Actually, no, it's pretty close to the beginning, so we should be fine with the mushroom that we get, as long as we don't make any silly mistakes. Also, for some reason, there's two star huts here. I guess they really want you to have star power. Okay, so move this way, jump over you, and then hit this, we should get a mushroom. I just gotta be careful about this jerk. There we go. And all of these guys as well. So I remember being pretty far along. Was it this one? I'm pretty sure it was this one. It was a pretty tall one. If I just dance around, make sure you guys don't bother me, and then go on through. Okay, so what is this gonna be about? Uh, it's certainly somewhere. Nothing over this way. What are you doing? You are freaking out. Okay, we got another ice flower, not ice shroom. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that was stinky. Oh, there it is, there it is, there's the last star coin. So if we stand on this, it of course raises. Oh gosh, leave me alone. And we just have to stay here for long enough that we can hop on top of this platform and then get that star coin. And I'm pretty sure this door doesn't lead anywhere. This isn't the door we're trying to do. I think we're just trying to keep going this way. Uh, I gotta be careful. Come on. There are boos closing on, in on me. Ooh, okay, another one. They're such pains in the butt, aren't they? Boing. Whoa, okay, gotta be careful. Oh gosh, there's a big boo. Really big boo. Can I jump over his head? Yes, I can. Okay, which one of these doors is the correct one before this guy catches me? It's this one. Okay, so did we find the secret exit? I sure hope so. Yep, this is different. Okay, cool, we made it. But, uh, oh, it's you. You know what, I don't even need the one up, so I'm just getting out of here, see ya. You just poof, turn into a thousand points. Okay, well, there's that done. Which means that uh, we're done with this ghost mansion, which is great. That was our second one so far. Where does the secret exit lead, though? I guess just here? I guess if you wanted to skip this one level, it's sort of useful. I don't see why you'd wanna do that. I think it's more useful for the uh, extra star. But let's do level four or five, the last level before the castle. So I think we've found all the secret exits so far. I don't think we've missed anything uh, very noticeable. This world is a little short, comparatively. Oh gosh, that's a block that makes a Lakitu. He's sort of a nice Lakitu, because as you can see, he throws out coins instead of evil things. But we need our buddy Yoshi. You can't have a Lakitu to deal with without a Yoshi as well. It makes this part much easier. But it is a level where we can fly around, which makes things a little confusing and difficult sometimes, because I just have to find everything. It looks like the Lakitu actually lasts a tiny bit longer this time. Maybe not. I don't know. But for now, we're gonna go back up this way and get another lack of two, if I can, or one's just gonna show up. Perfect timing. Okay, I need to get to a spot where I can actually lick him up. Oh, got him, okay. So I need to not get hit. Come on, dude, get out of here. You're ruining our good time. Oh gosh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Where are you going, Yoshi? Come back, buddy, please. Please, we can talk about this. I'm so sorry. Where is he going? Okay, here he is. He eventually hit a pipe. This is a pretty fun level. It's just weird. Hard to figure out at times, too. Can I go down this pipe? I cannot. I'm gonna get you! Come on, dude! <laughs> Stop it with your last laugh with the with the spiny. Okay, so we got this. Oh, dude, move. And then there's something up this way. Okay, jump for it! Come on! Yeah, we got it! See, no jump is too great for Mario and Yoshi. Okay, there we go. And we got a fire flower out of it. Get rid of you without getting hurt, that'd be great, come on. He's such a jerk. Lakitu is one of my least favorite enemies to go against. And gotcha, wait, gotcha, cool. So I'm just gonna use these to get some free fruit, cause why not? And then we definitely wanna go get that checkpoint before things get nasty, because I already have two star coins. Don't know where the next ones are gonna start popping up. 
But what's the point of having a Lakitu show up and to also have a Lakitu block? There, were, there would have been a yellow Yoshi, which is pretty cool. Okay, gotta be careful. Oh. Oh boy. Also, I wanted to address one more thing. Some people have been asking me, hey, can you play as some of the other characters in this game? And unfortunately, I can't, because of the fact that in this game, you can only play as Mario if you're playing single player. If you're playing multiplayer with other people, which some people have requested, but I just don't really have anybody to play with. Regardless, I sort of enjoy playing these games single player. Can I please get Yoshi? Yoshi, get back here right now. You're making this difficult for the both of us, buddy. Come on, and I'm hitting the palm tree. Dude! Everybody's my enemy right now. Eat everything. Oh, come on. No. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was like the thing. That was just a story that never ended for a little bit. Jeez. Look at this star. What is going on with this level? It's ridiculous. Okay, got it. Got it. Oh, that was pretty good. Give me that fire flower. Move back this way. We're going to be a star powered Yoshi. Okay. Yoshi doesn't really get the star power. But that's fine because he won't get damaged at the least. So I don't know where the final star coin is, but it probably is gonna be nearby, I would hope. Okay, what is that, five? Nice, that gives me an ice flower. I don't know if I actually want it or not. Right now I'm just trying to worry about these pipes. Then if I don't find anything, I can go back with the Lakitu, see if I can't find something that way. Okay, because uh, I think right here's the end of the level, it is. So where is that final star coin? I gotta find it. Okay, Lakitu, you wanna go, buddy? Well, whoa, we got some major air there. I've never seen that happen before. Yoshi, come here. Got it. Oh my gosh. Come on, he moves at the perfect mo moment every single time. Got him. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere up in the air, but maybe not? Where could it possibly be? Star coin number three, aha, right there. Okay, so we figured it out. It's right there, so I just need to Hit this block, move this way, and of course, the second I hit that, another one shows up. It's bizarre. Luckily, it's the one <laughs> that's throwing coins that stayed around this time. Okay, so it's up this way. Go up like that, and wait, 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 wait. Why can't I get up it? Come on, no! No, it's that right there. Am I that much of a dingus? I might have to leave Yoshi. I don't think I can, okay, another one's coming in. Gotcha. <laughs> that was the exit pipe. So I could have hopped off a of Yoshi to get up there a little bit more easily, but I think we need Yoshi. No, we might, maybe not. I mean, we'll get a benefit for having Yoshi around because we have all these different power-ups from the fruit, or at least we can get a couple power-ups. Anyways, there it is, the final star coin in this level. That was a pain in the booty, but we made it work. So now we can actually just end this level and then move on to the castle. But yeah, there is a special reason why this world is a little shorter than normal. We'll worry about that later. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really play as Luigi or Toad as single player. I think there's a way you can do it with like cheat codes or action replay or whatever that thing is called, you know, like Game Genie. I'm old, so I remember as Game Genie, but I think it's different now. I think it's action replay. But uh, yeah, there's there's ways to do that. And maybe like at the end of the series, we could do like a little bonus episode where we check out some little things like that if I can figure it out. But I don't know, we'll have to see. So there we go, there is the castle. I might as well go and get these uh, star powers though, because if not, I'm gonna forget later. So we'll get a star power here and a star power on the other side, and we'll deal with the final castle world of four, and that'll be nice. And then we'll be technically halfway through the main game, because of course in this game there's eight normal worlds, and then there's a little extra too. I don't wanna spoil that too much. Okay, so let's move this way. And yeah, get this. But I, I think we've been keeping pretty good pace for it being one world an episode. I feel like it was taking me much longer in the previous game, New Smart Bros. DS, so I am enjoying myself a lot. I mean, like I said, I really, really like this game, so it was sort of a no-brainer that I would enjoy myself, but I am looking forward to playing the other new Super Mario Bros. games for sure. But let's move on to Four Castle. We gotta complete this one first, right? You guys have been giving me tons of requests. Not only do you want me to play this, you want me to play some of the old Kirby games and Donkey Kong game and Donkey Kong Country and some of the other Mario games, you know, 3D Land, 3D World, Mario Galaxy and stuff. And I want to check it all out for sure. But it just might take me some time because that's a lot of video games. Okay, so I want to be careful. Of course, we got like some Super Mario World style stuff going on here with all these Koopas climbing about trying to dodge them, because of course if we run into them, it'll hurt us. And we had that kind of stuff in Mario Bros. DS as well. Uh, the, all the climbing sections. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of this. I think there was a flipper panel over this way. We'll go ahead and take advantage of it. Hiya. Oh gosh, I almost got hit by the Koopa by doing that. And luckily for the most part, I don't have to 
climb too much on these things. I can just make the jumps pretty normally. That's sort of the really nice part about the uh, the float jump, or the little, you know, flip thing we can do like that. Whoa, okay, gotta be careful. So this is where there's these little, I don't even know what to call them, spikes, I guess, yeah. And they sort of charge at each other. Come on, that stinks. Tried so hard not to get hit there and I just run into that one. Jeez, I am just all over the place. Okay, so here's a little thing that's weird. They require you to be out in front. You can see there's a little like wall here because it wants you to be out in front. I guess it maybe messes with how the door works or something, which is a pretty interesting little touch. I was confused by that when I was younger. But now I just sort of get it. Okay, so but be careful about this because these ones move much more quickly. They do sort of give a little bit of a tell. They move slowly at first and then they speed up a little. I'm just trying to find some kind of power up. I should pick up this first because this will upgrade me to larger Mario. That's always something you want to do if you're going into a section where you think there might be a power up around and there's also the checkpoint flag. Pick up the checkpoint flag first because you will get upgraded to normal Mario instead of mini Mario and then worry about everything else. Okay, so I have this. If I remember correctly, I thought there was a place we could use this, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, there was just a bunch of coins over here. Let's go into this pipe. Let's see what's going on. Uh, just star coins, or not star coins. I always want to call them that. Red coins. I really don't need them, so I'm gonna leave them be, to be honest with you. Okay, let's get out of here. I think propeller cat might be quite useful in this level, because we can maybe skip a couple things I don't want to deal with. Uh, because there's nothing down there I want to see. I think we're good just going this way. Oh yeah, I remember this part. These fish are not fun to deal with. Because once they see you, they start charging you, and then they turn around like, did I hear something? They're like, oh, I heard something. Fresh food. It's creepy. Because they're ghost fish. Why are they so hungry? Why did they want to do, oh, there goes one propeller cap. And it's so hard to run from them, because we can't run. We gotta swim. There's a bunch of coins up here as well. Not a star coin though, so I don't care. Okay, so, what do we got going on over here? I'm pretty sure that we have yet to run, on, run into the third star coin. We haven't like missed it or anything. Oh gosh, I might have jumped almost a little too early there. You can hear it. Definitely having the sound on in this part of the game is pretty useful because you can actually hear it because it doesn't fully extend at first. It like extends a tiny bit, stops, and then extends all the way. So if you listen for that part, can actually probably dodge it pretty easily. So I need to like swim around in like a big circle to try to dodge some of these things, cause they, oh come on, I hit the block. It immediately goes for the spot that you you were when they found you. Okay, so <laughs> we gotta wait for that thing and then pop back up here and we should be good to face the boss. I'm sort of upset that we got hit. I mean, I'm sure that uh, one of those question blocks probably had another power up, but I just sort of wanted to get out of there. Okay, so let's deal with this as well as we can, because this is actually, in my opinion, one of the more difficult boss fights in the game. It can get really tricky, so, of course, Kamek is here to make it more difficult. And we can see there's some water in the background. What could that mean? I like seeing all the fish swim by in it. It's pretty cool. A nice little touch for this area. And we're gonna get some of the background into the foreground because it's gonna be an underwater boss fight, sort of, kind of. It's not fun to deal with. So at first, we are totally helpless against her because you can't hit targets underwater. Um, so we're gonna have to dodge everything as well as we possibly can and wait for the water to sort of raise a little bit and then we can hit her. But if we do it too soon, even if we touch the top of her head underwater, it still counts as getting hit. Oh gosh, I don't wanna get hurt there. I was so close to getting hit. Come on, boom, got you again. I'm trying to do this quickly enough because as you can see, the water's about to fall again. I think she's gonna pop out on the right side just like this. So if we can quickly just, okay, no wait. Yeah, we got her, oh boy. That is not fun to deal with sometimes. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we did it. That was the first time we had like a really big scare of getting taken out, losing a life. But we did it. <laughs> that was way too close a couple of times. But there we go, so we have defeated World 4. Right? I mean, it's the same thing as always. Mario sits here, looks at Bowser Jr., he laughs at you, and, uh, you, you missed your flight. <laughs> yeah. What did, what did you think if you're gonna hang around taunting Mario? It looks like it drove off without him. What, what's gonna happen now? Oh, oh, there he is. He's like, hey, wait. He's still waiting for Mario. 
Okay, so Mario's chasing him down. It looks like they ended up stopping for him. And that means we have our first airship level of the game. It is World 4 Airship. This is a nice little touch. We didn't have these in the DS version, but in this game we have airship levels, which are really cool. And sometimes they can be a bit tough. They're always a lot of fun. There aren't too many of them. As you can tell, we're in World 4 and this is our first one. But I love how I like seeing the background. You can see all the ocean and like the, the little islands and stuff, which is pretty cool. And you can see there's these little uh, robot things that were in. Oh gosh, I'm bad. I'm really bad. They were in uh, Bowser's castle in Super Mario World. I can't believe I got hit there. Let's just go ahead and give ourselves a mushroom. That might be a little bit better for us. There we go. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool touch. I feel like this is a fun uh, way they do airship levels is in this game. And it's not done, it keeps on giving. And you'll see what I mean soon enough. Those are some of the most fun levels in the game. For now, let's land on you for real this time. We can actually pick you up and throw you against maybe your friends or something. And that'll at least take care of one of them. They eventually do pop back up, but if we turn them into ice, we can get rid of them nice and easy. Sort of like dry bones in a way, but you can actually pick them up after you uh, take them down. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Those giant uh, fire. I don't know what else to call it. I mean, that's what it is. Okay, get up here. Be careful. I'm trying to dodge as much as I can. Uh, yeah, and we gotta dodge this. We gotta let, wait for it to sort of pivot to the right. Oh gosh, be careful, be careful. Come on. Whoop. And throw that that way. Okay. So, oh gosh, I didn't see that one there. Luckily, we got another one. So this is a bit of a tough one. I think we need to wait for it to go all the way like this. Please don't hit me, thank you. Yep, go down like that, and then booty slam this and just get a one up. Okay, don't really care about it. Even though I am at 98 lives, I don't wanna risk getting hit again. I would like to keep this ice flower because I'm pretty sure we need it for something. Oh, we get a checkpoint, that's good. All right, so this part's a little tricky, I think. Maybe, maybe not tricky, but we need to make sure we break all these boxes because I wanna make sure there's no star coins or something in them because I'm pretty sure there is a box somewhere that at least has powers, but I'm pretty sure one of them has a star coin. Maybe not in this airship level, but in another one. But I guess that sort of spoils the fact that there is more than one. But that's to be expected. I mean, what games do and don't have airship levels? I don't think Mario World had one, which is interesting because they ended up adding one for the Super Mario Maker. I'm pretty sure that there's not an airship level in Mario World at the least. I know there's definitely a ton of them in Mario 3. I'm not too familiar with Mario 3. I gotta play that one sometime. There's, there's star coin number two. This is where we're gonna be careful because when we land on this, we sort of slide through it. We gotta keep jumping so we don't fall right over, because they're sort of supposed to be like spinning, like screws, I guess, or not screws exactly, like bolts. Anyways, uh, gotta be careful. I don't know if any of these pipes we gotta go down. Actually, I do remember the final star coin. It's a bit of a tricky one, if it's how I think it's gonna work. Oh gosh, so we got hit, but we did have another ice flower over that way. We got a duck and cover, and then I'm gonna dodge that one, because, uh, throw it! There, okay, I thought I could duck under that. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta break that open, run this way. We got it. Okay, so there's that done. We got all three star coins, but now the problem is I don't have any power-ups. But maybe there'll be one laying around somewhere? I don't think so. It really doesn't look like it. Oh boy. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and face Bowser Jr., I suppose. And look at that, he has the classic clown car. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and pick that up, go this way, and then boom, slam on him. And that's what we gotta do. Hopefully this is a little bit easier than the final boss of Super Mario World, even though it is you know, a pretty similar homage. He's, he, fit, he spits fireballs at us, but at least it's not like a whole row of them. Okay, we just gotta hit him one more time. I think we can do that. Yeah, we did it before we can even do anything else. So there we go, that wasn't too bad. Okay, yeah, Mario, you're number one. And we got back up to 99 lives as well, so everything's working out. <laughs> look at him hang on the Kamek. He does not look very happy. He's like, why'd you do that? Oh, and, and <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> I forgot about that voice clip. Mario's just like, whoopsie. And down we go. Okay, well, looks like they kicked us out. Even if we were victorious, they got the better of us. And we got all the star coins in World 4, awesome. So, that means we can move on over to World 5 the dense jungle level with piranha plants and giant, lack not Lakitu's, uh, Wigglers, giant Wigglers, and uh, whatever your, your name is, I forget, it's, it's not Larry. I forget his name. 
We'll figure it out later. <laughs> we are moving on to world five, the dense jungle world, and we're gonna be taking on Iggy Koopa. I remembered his name before recordings, or between them, I guess. Last episode, I was like, what is his name? It's Iggy Koopa, that's what it is. But yeah, this is the jungle level. I actually really, really like the level design in this world. I know that there is a jungle world in New Super Mario Bros. DS. I thought that one was a little bit more difficult. This one's a lot of fun, though. There's a lot of cool different uh things you get to sort of do. I think that it really is that at this point they sort of go wild with all the mechanics just because, look at that little secret, I love that. Uh, just because at this point they understand that the player should have at least some skills, unlike me, <laughs> who gets hit by a Koopa. Oh my gosh. Well, we got a star power, so we should be able to get rid of all of these jerks pretty easy, and I'm gonna try to get a one-up or something cool out of it. That'd be nice. Uh, there we go, there we go. Come on, can we get another one? Now oh, that was pretty decent, I like it. Let me move back though, because I'm pretty sure I missed maybe a potential power-up out of these. It was nice to get that, that uh, star power. No, I would have preferred a fire flower or something. It would have gotten me through that just as easily. Maybe not as many one-ups, but hey, I don't need them. Come on, can I get this? Oh, that's another one-up. See, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think that some of the level design in this area is really, really fun. As you can see, there is another shell that we can go into. I don't know if it has another star coin or not, but we should try to find out. It does. So two star coins in giant shells. The idea is so cool, though. It's one of my favorite little things. There's like, there's a Koopa on a giant Koopa shell, which means that maybe this used to be the remnants of like, what is that island named in Mario 3? Isn't it like, like Little Big Island? I mean, that's in Mario 64 as well. Maybe it's the remnants of that. And you see that in Paper Mario Color Splash as well. Okay, we gotta be careful about this. I wonder if I butt slam it, can I get, uh, it destroyed that way? I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever tried. And now we're swinging on vines! I don't know why he spun jumped there, spin jumped. Spun jump doesn't really make too much sense, does it? Oh boy, get away from that. Oh, I remember this, this is really tough. We need to stand on this little propeller platform, but as you can tell, it's not so easy when you got these jerks making a whole problem, a whole mess out of it. So we just gotta be very careful, but we can at least get some red coins from it. Right, there we go. Okay, I got it, I got it. I sort of fell into the water, but I get a fire flower, which makes this so much easier, because now we can just get rid of them. Just like that, and just like that. And you might be able to see a little something up there. Is that our star coin? No, it's just coins. Quite a tough jump for it just being coins, but uh, whatever. I can't complain too much. What else are they gonna give me a one-up I don't need? I don't know. So where's the actual third star coin? We'll have to wait and see. Whoop. Oh, maybe in here? Yeah, another giant shell leading to a star coin, probably. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. We gotta go this way. So I'm gonna try to dodge these guys as well as I can. And there's sort of two ways you can do this. You can get up there and beat that guy up, or you can just, hi -ya, do that. I mean, I guess you still gotta get up there, but there's no piranha in your way anymore, which is pretty good. And then finally, we are at the exit, I think. We can go like that, go like this, and we're good. So unfortunately, there's a lot of piranhas in this world, but there's no PD piranha. And that's sort of another criticism this game gets, is it sort of starts the whole Koopaling trend again. Koopalings weren't in a Mario game for a while before this. I think before this they were in Mario World, and then they hadn't really shown up in a Mario game since. So it was really a novel idea that, oh look, the Koopalings are back but then they never go away in a weird way in all of the other New Super Mario Bros. games from here on out. We have Koopaling bosses instead of original bosses in New Super Mario Bros. DS, so it gets a little interesting how they change that up. I really think that they, at least for some of the later games like New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Mario Bros. 2, it would've been cool if they mixed it up a little bit and had both Koopalings and original bosses. I feel like that would be the most enjoyable possible thing they could've done. Just have a little bit best of both worlds, you know? Maybe one day they'll make a new Super Mario Bros. Switch and it'll be like the definitive one, but I don't think they're gonna do that. <laughs> I don't think many people would actually wanna see it either. I mean, I'm sure there will be people who would love to see a new Super Mario Bros. Switch game, but I think there would also be a lot of people who would rather they do something else. Anyways, there's that minigame done. I just sort of did it without even thinking much about it. And now we should have 5-3 somewhere. You might notice that there is a mushroom hut here, but I can't get to it because of the vines. And that's sort of a tricky thing about the overworld of this level, is that with each level you complete, the vines move in a different pattern. So it might block off certain levels at certain times. So you have to sort of watch what you're doing and try not to die too many times. Oh, I remember this level. We got all the wigglers, and if we land on them, they get furious. So we're gonna try not to do that too much, because I don't want to anger the poor guys. But we will be using them for some tricky jumps later on. This is a fun level, this is one of my favorites. We go and then jump for it! Okay, I didn't get hurt, perfect. Okay, I think this might be one of my favorite levels in the game. It's so tough at times, but it's really cool. 
And it's just like little level design stuff like this is what really makes this, ah, gosh, I didn't see you coming. Um, it really makes this game shine, I feel like, above the quadrilogy, is that how it's called? Uh, of the new Super Mario Bros. games? I guess it can be a septilogy? No, that's not the, the name for five. I don't know. Um, because if you include new Super Luigi U, which people have been asking if I'll play that one, and I guess I will. I've never played it before, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, now the third star coin's gonna be around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think I actually need to wait for a Wiggler to be going, yep, the opposite direction, and he has to bring me to the left. So let's try to do that, and then one more bounce off of you, perfect, good job, Wiggler. And if we go this way, I don't know if this will be the star coin or just a little secret. Huh, uh, an oddly empty room. I mean, I got a one-up for it, sure, why not, but not what I was expecting. I like how these blocks sort of can mess you up as well, if you're not careful. <laughs> They'll just like, you're trying to jump away from the bats and you hit the invisible block. Weird. So let's try going up the right, the, the way to the right, not the right way, as in like the correct way. Not what I mean. Oh, uh, ow, I didn't know they could hit you like that. Okay, oh, they took care of the bat too, so I guess it works both ways. Okay, so what is up this one then? This surely has to be something. Hopefully a star coin. I've taken a bit of a beating now, so I'm getting a little bit nervous. Hoping I can hold on tight, because this is the third star coin. If we can get just to the end of the level now, we should be fine. We've already hit the checkpoint, though, which wasn't too far back, so if, if bad things happen, maybe we'll be able to handle everything. Bounce off of you. Gotta be careful, because this purple goop, you can't forget, is a one-hit takedown. Oh, gosh, especially with... I don't really... I'm not the biggest fan of the Wigglers that sort of falling out of nowhere at times. Some of these Wigglers are really short compared to the other ones, but they're all gigantic. Very large. I mean, we had giant wigglers in the uh, DS game as well, which was pretty cool. Okay, and we should just be able to bounce off of you and boom, we got it. Okay, awesome stuff, very fun level. Pretty short one too. I mean, I feel like a lot of the levels in this world specifically are pretty short in general, pretty brief. And I feel like that sometimes is a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. Okay, so how are the vines gonna move? Uh, I didn't want them to move that way. Okay, well maybe we can go ahead and do the mushroom hunt, and if we hop out of that, maybe the vines will move again, because we want to go to five three now before, of course, we move on to five tower, but I might not be able to do that, so we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so let's see what we end up getting in here. We got the power up panels. Of course, as always. Okay, that's a Bowser Jr. That's an awful start. Come on, got it. Okay, penguin suit, ice flower, penguin, or not, propeller suit, oh gosh, Bowser. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, gotta be super careful. I mean, I say careful, but it's really just a guessing game. I think it's down here. And then this one. Can we do it? No, we can't. I mean, I got like, like two or three power-ups there, not bad. Could have been better, could have been worse. Yeah, we got three. Three pretty good power-ups as well. So I'll gladly take that and that does not move the vine. So my idea of how I'm gonna get over to 5-3 is that I'm gonna go back to this level and I'm going to die, and hopefully if I do that enough, it'll eventually move the vine so that I can move into 5-3. So I will be right back. Yeah, I mean, I guess, never mind. It's pretty quick to die in this level, so we'll see if that changes it. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, it did, nice. Okay, so we can go down this way and go to 5-3. Now this is an interesting level. Cool concept, but overall I feel like it's also a pretty difficult one to work with, so hopefully everything turns out okay. We got these guys moving about, and of course they are returning from Mario DS. I don't think they've ever been in a Mario game before that. So they're definitely like a new Super Mario Bros. specific enemy. Gotta be careful, land on top of their heads. If we hit them from the bottom, they don't immediately get taken out, and that's what we gotta be careful of. And we got our first pipe. I did see a star coin over that way though, so this is just a power up, and it's a propeller suit. Actually, that'll be really helpful, because typically, I think we're supposed to hop off of this dude. Does he actually move? He does, boing. And then we're just supposed to hit it like that and hope that we have a safe landing. But I don't have to hope, I can guarantee. Now we gotta be careful of these logs, because as you can see, if you stand on them for too long, you start rolling down the side, and that's a little scary. Okay, what do we got in this? Nothing much. So if I can avoid some obstacles, I'm going to do so very gladly. Oh, what is this gonna be? Oh, one up, okay, you gotta be careful. He swings around his very large leg. Now what is all of this stuff? Probably some power-ups I don't wanna get. 
Okay, so I sort of kind of remember this. What they expect you to do is use that pipe, it launches you up, and then you can hit him, but if you time it wrong, you'll get hit. But I just use a propeller cap to do a bit of a shortcut. I think it's much easier this way. And look at this, they give you another propeller cap. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for. Is there any star coins around here? No? Okay, so that wasn't worth our while. Glad I skipped out on it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Are you gonna be moving? Oh, you are. No, my propeller cap, oh, you jerk. Luckily, we don't have to worry about him too much at all. All we have to do is do this, and then, hiya. Oh, no! I had no clue that actually happens. Okay, you're going down, buddy, for sure, first off. We still need a Koopa shell, then. Where am I gonna get that? I don't know if he respawns or anything. You, I don't like that. Get out of here. Yeah, what if I go far enough away? Will he come back? Oh boy, don't fall, don't fall. He doesn't. So I'm gonna have to just find another Koopa. Where can I find another Koopa? First off, can I get a mushroom from this? No. This one? No. Oh, this is not being nice. This is being very not nice. I can't get that Koopa, because he'll fall into the pit. Wait, no, Koopas, get over here. Don't you dare, oh, you silly. Come on, that was so ridiculous. Why is it so hard to find another Koopa? Okay, so I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy first, but honestly, he's a total jerk. I don't understand what's with that one. It's at such a rough spot for like no reason. Okay, I gotta be careful. There we go, get that out of here. Don't wanna deal with that. So let's hope I don't die from something else along the way, because that would be really, really stinky right now. Okay, so, oh, I gotta be worried about this, because he's gonna, is he gonna move over? Oh, 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 okay. Can he move over now? You can. So I have to make a path for him. What a jerk. Oh my gosh, this is such a tough level. Oh, gotcha, get out of here. Okay, so you're gonna move over that way, and I'm gonna land on you now, because I just don't wanna deal with you later. And this is the final star coin! Okay, we did it! I just need to get a power up, please. Please, a power up, get away from me. You move really quickly, it makes me uncomfortable. Are you gonna move this way? You're not. He's like, his his mouth, he's like, I don't know, he's trying to talk to me. He's like, hey, I, I don't wanna do this, but I'm, I'm really excited right now. <laughs> This, and that was a sequel to my favorite movie. <laughs> I don't know what movie it would be. What kind of, like, what kind of movie would he like? I don't know. Maybe he likes really exciting crime thrillers. I don't watch movies like that, so I can't think of an example. Anyways, I'm going on a really big tangent. Let us go ahead and take on this tower. So it's been a lot of work getting here. So hopefully this tower isn't too difficult, but I'm gonna guess that it is. Cause like I've said before, the tower is gonna be more difficult than the castles half the time. So let's see if this one's gonna be any better or worse. Only one way to find out, and that's to hop on in. I don't remember this one out of memory without hopping into it. And I see like the first little bit of it. Oh, okay, yeah, I do remember. I remember this, like the, the, they have these shifting walls that we'll have to be careful about. And sometimes they do reveal star coins on the other side, so that'll also be something we wanna look out for. Ice flower will be useful. Oh gosh, oh gosh, don't fall too far. But you really gotta sort of time everything well to make sure you get the most out of all your jumps. Gotcha, I think there's a like a one-up somewhere around here maybe. No, sort of remember that, but I guess not at this spot. But if it seems like there's like, you know, a jump you can't quite make, there's probably a good reason for that. There we go, there's star coin number one. So you definitely wanna sort of make sure that the, the wall goes back and forth on each little area. Trying to make sure you get the most out of each possibility. I don't think there's a star coin that way then. I sure hope not, cause now it's too late. We're about to find out. Uh, We're good, we're good. There's no star coin up there. And we gotta use this spring to get up here. I don't trust it, but it's what we gotta do. Oh, there's a, there's a one up there, which I actually can use because it took me a while to get that star coin in the previous level. It took me a couple tries. Just totally baloney. Okay, I'm gonna get these red coins and get our lives back, right? Oh, come on, get out of here. This world is so difficult. They really start ramping up the difficulty from here on out. Come on, come on, be careful. Oh, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, that way, okay. Wait over here, just be careful for just another moment. Okay, we did it, we did it, yeah, we got the second one. So, we have another star, or er, not star coin, another, uh, Springboard. That was a little scary, gotta be honest. So I guess I'm going in this way for now. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. 
And nothing this way, right? Okay, oh, I see, we gotta go this way. Just follow this, and if you don't have at least normal Mario here, as you can see, you won't be able to get this. That's a bit of a problem. But with all of that done, we should just be able to wait here. And we got it, cool. Okay, so we made it. We're just gonna make our way back this way. I think there is a hidden power up around here somewhere, just right there. Will be a little bit more useful than the uh, Ice Mario, so we might as well take it. Almost every boss door, which of course is the door that leads to the boss, will have some kind of power up next to it hidden somewhere in this game. Okay, so we got Iggy Koopa, this guy's weird and crazy. Okay, trying to be careful, got him. It is interesting that in this game, it's not as viable to throw fireballs all the time. You sort of notice that a lot in the DS version is that there were a lot of bosses you could simply just take out by throwing a million fireballs at them really quickly. But here that just doesn't work as well. I think they take more fireball hits to take out. So it's actually a little bit more practical to land on them, which is I think the way they want you to do it anyways. But there you go, Iggy's taken down. This first iteration of him really isn't too difficult. The moving platforms can be a little bit difficult to work with, but overall it's fine. So Iggy's down, I mean he's back up, and then he's he's down again and he jumps, okay. He, he's a weird dude. Okay, so he's gonna hop all the way over to the castle and it sort of gives us a good idea of everything we're about to run into, a lot more of these piranha things, a ghost mansion. It's gonna be a good time, isn't it? Okay, so, oh, this level. So you know how I was saying this level down in the bottom left, that this one's weird? I was actually thinking, Okay, yeah, the one that the toad just popped up into. That one's weird. I was actually thinking about this level. I totally forgot I'd even said it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the level I'm talking about that has a weird concept to it. I like it, but it's also just tricky. So we'll try to keep that in mind and do what we can. So you can see there's a bunch of Goombas running around. We don't have to worry about any of that. We're just gonna keep moving. But this is where things get weird. As you can see, we have this platform and it has a whole bunch of zeros on it. Why could that be? It's because if you see the scoop up, boop, one, there's one enemy on the raft. And the thing is, is if too many enemies start falling on the raft, it'll stop and you can't continue through the level. So you have to be very careful as all these enemies start falling onto your raft, because if it goes bad, then things aren't gonna be very good. But there are some times where it's sort of beneficial that it does stop, oh gosh, um, so that we can stop for a second and pick up star coins or power-ups or whatever, but it's hard to really work with that when you have a number of enemies falling from the sky at you. I'm just trying not to get hit here for just a second so that I can get a fire flower. Come on, get rid of all these dudes as much as we possibly can. Apparently there's still more than five on them. I can't see. <laughs> Come on. Oh, or is it the coins? It is, so the coins even count. I forgot about that. That's actually a big risk. Using the fire uh, ball, yeah, the fireball will not be good at all because it'll make coins pop up. Okay, but here's nice flower. That'll make things a little bit easier. We have these tiny Goombas which make their appearance right here and they will try to like get on top of you. So, whoa, that was great. That was really cool. Like a ton of one-ups out of that. Okay, run over this way. And if I remember correctly, we need to hold on to this. So let's try not to throw it until we need to. But uh, we also need to get rid of these little guys as much as possible. The thing is that they will actually climb on top of you and do damage to you, so you have to shake the controller to shake them off. And it's not easy. Okay, so yeah, I think it's over this way that we gotta bring this pal block. So let's just keep moving. We got more piranha plants falling from the sky. They're even worse than some of the other stuff. Ah! Oh! Oh, okay, that worked. I got so scared, I was like, oh gosh, we're gonna have to do the whole level again, aren't we? Luckily, not quite yet. It's interesting that Mario doesn't count as one of the units, but I guess that makes sense. Maybe it'd be a little too difficult. Okay, throw this over there. We do need to use one of these uh, falling bob bombs, I think, to survive and get, okay. Uh, okay, so I can't freeze these guys. They just instantly unfreeze themselves. Just get out of here. Come on, come on, get, no, no, no. Get this, and then we gotta be careful. Um, but I need this one, actually. Okay, uh, this is not working. Um, okay, now it is. Uh, what I need to do is I need to throw this like that, and then, oh, that was bad, that was bad. No, 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 I'm not gonna be able to do it. Oh, come on! I did that backwards. I keep on thinking we had to throw it under there. That's not the case, we just had to hop up and throw it on the top. Oh, that was just me being silly. And of course we didn't run into a single checkpoint. So that means I gotta do it all over again. Okay, so for whatever reason, the big product plants didn't even land on it this time. I don't know if I got rid of them with a pow block or something, but there we go. All we had to do is that. I was overcomplicating it, but there we go. Pretty easy when you actually do it correctly. <laughs> you just have to have a bob bomb ready, which, you know, they give you a good couple of them, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And that should have this level done. I just gotta make this jump correctly if you wanna get this flagpole, which I sort of do 
want to get it if I can. You know what? Actually, no, I'm doing that wrong. I remember now with the hop off of you and then jump back this way and then build up speed. Yep, it's a, it's a little bit of a weird one, but I'll take it. Okay, so there's that level done. A tough one for sure, but there's plenty more tough levels to be had in World 5, so we can't let it lower our morale anymore. Okay, so there's a one-up hut I can't quite reach either, but once again, I don't really need them. I'm more focused on is the Ghost Mansion, I think is our next best bet at continuing, yep. Okay, so Ghost Mansion, we, we practically have these once per world, even though luckily I don't think next world we have one, we get a little break from them, but I might be wrong. So we'll find out, but uh, this one's a tough one, so it makes up for it. There is gonna be a secret exit that's quite a bit difficult to find, in my opinion, if I remember correctly. Uh, but as you can see, there's like a door in like every little hallway. It's practically an actual maze. Some of these are a little bit like, sort of kind of a maze. This one's like a literal maze. And the rooms are dark, and they're scary, and I don't like it. I'm, I am gonna upgrade to a fire flower. What we really need is this block right here, is gonna light up some stuff for us. Okay, I'm gonna throw that that way. Can I go into this one? I cannot. Can I go into here? No. I feel like there is a little pocket of something. Yep, just like that. That's gonna be star coin numero uno. And what do we got here? That's another fool's door. So this must be the real one, right? Yep, okay, we found that. So. This will lead us, I think it's back to the beginning. Which is sort of what we want right now, because we're starting to, trying to look for all the star coins, so we already found that one up there, but if we go down this way, we have ourselves another door. And we're just gonna try to go from door to door, not a, not trying to sell anything, but uh, more to, I mean, I guess we are trying to get money by doing it. They're star coins, after all. <laughs> I don't know, is Mario just a door to door salesman in this level? Oh, look at that, I was holding the fire flower, that was pretty cool. I don't know if there's any kind of star coin in, oh, here it is, here it is. So we didn't even have to go into the water, that's great. Okay, I'll take it, <laughs> that was pretty easy. So there's that one done, star coin two out of three. I know where I'm going for this part of the least, so I don't need the light block. So this is where, hmm, I'm a little unsure. No, that's a fake door. This is not a fake door though. Let's check this one out. I am starting to remember where the uh, secret exit is, but we're gonna worry about that afterwards when we're done the main part of the level. So even if we miss out on a star coin, we, it might be in there. Can't quite remember. Oh, okay, here's the third star coin. Pretty easy, actually. If you know where to go, this one isn't too treacherous. Also, we have this like rotating circle of boos that are all making silly faces. I like that one with the tongue sticking out like blah, 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 blah. He, I think these guys are also in Super Mario World. They might be in some other Mario games as well. Can't remember to be honest, but there I go. So we made our way through everything. We're back at the beginning again, but now we can just sort of storm through, I think to the very last door and try to find our way out that way. And that'll be the, no, oh gosh, normal way through it. Hopefully. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna skip all of this. Is this the last door? I mean, I suppose so, it looks like it. Uh, This is looking interesting. I feel like we've been here before though. No, we have not. Okay, so this is a little bit scary because there's like shifting blocks everywhere. And we can't break any of them. So we just gotta be careful and try to make our way through as much as possible. Leave me alone, you ghosts. Leave me alone. Okay, so I can go like this. I can get up there. Is that really what I want to do though? I suppose so. Hard to tell when there's ghosts in the way and it's too dark to see anything else. So I bet you we could get like a one up here. Yep, I don't care though. <laughs> So this should be the exit of the level normally. We made our way through that one pretty quickly. Oh, I like it. And we could end up, you know, bouncing on that, getting up and getting a one up. But I'd rather just safely get out of there. I like being able to get the 99 lives and all that kind of stuff very early on. That way we can sort of not have to worry about it as much later in the game, like right now. It's a little bit easier to deal with. So there's that done, but as I said before, we'll be heading back into that level so that we can get the secret exit that quite obviously leads to the cannon over there. Okay, but that actually leads us all the way to the boss in one way or another. The only problem is that there's so many vines in the way at the moment, it's near impossible to get there that way. So we'll have to try again in a moment, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get World 5 Ghost House again. And the secret exit for this one, once you know it, is pretty simple. I do remember for the most part, I think we gotta go this way, and then, not down there, but down here, 
down this way, and you might notice there's a little panel. Ooh, and uh, another door. So, awesome stuff. Let's see where this leads. Pretty sure just wherever we needed to go for the secret exit. Oh yeah, I remember this, this is tricky. Because it gets scary, because you won't be able to see what you're standing on if the time runs out. I don't think the platform itself disappears, but I think it does go invisible, which is just scary, you know? Okay, let's try that again. I'll be gone, ghost, leave me alone. You also can't really tell where they're going in the first place, you know? That's not good either. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so as you can see, you can still sort of kind of see them, but you're also going into like a mystery zone. Okay, so this should be the door, and will this just lead to the exit? It will, okay, so there we have it, the normal exit and the secret exit for this ghost house. Okay, we just gotta make this jump. Oh boy. Okay, we made it. We actually got a bunch of points there too for destroying all those ghosts. Door's clear. Okay, so that should lead to the uh, cannon, like uh, which, like I've been saying, we won't worry about now, we'll worry about later. And that should yeah, just make a little path like that. How nice, nice little brick road. And it looks like there's no vines in our way, so we can head up like this and do World 5-5, the last level before the castle. I think we have found all the normal exits and stuff, so we can just worry about this. Oh gosh, this level's tough. I remember it, this is a tough one. We got these guys, and they make a little noise when you stand on top of them. If you do a spin jump when you're just normally standing by just you know like spinning your uh, Wiimote, uh, it will clear out a lot of the clouds around you a bit easier. Of course, what you'll really be looking for is a propeller cap, which I was hoping was gonna be in that question block. Instead, we got meted, we got met by an ice flower. But as you can see, we do get a, pro a propeller block. So that'll be helpful. It really does a good job of blowing away all of the wind, which will be helpful. Now, I think that if we land on these guys a lot, they eventually start spitting out power-ups and stuff. I can't remember exactly. But they do something like that. But of course, the propeller cap can be hard to work with when there are or there's bullet bros or bullet bills, not bullet bros. Uh, also flying around. So there's a lot of obstacles in this level. It is not an easy one. And we gotta be careful. Okay, got it. Okay, I'm just gonna stand right here and get the checkpoint. Why not? What else do we got going on? I know there's a yeah, there's a secret right here, but we gotta be careful. Because I think there's also like a glitch that can happen where if you pick, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I think I needed that. I really hope not. But I think that there is a glitch where if you pick up the power block in the right way, you might actually end up falling right through the platform into your doom. And that always scares me, so you gotta be careful about that kind of stuff. Luckily, as long as we have this propeller cap or propeller block, we, oh, here we go. Here's the real deal. Got it. That should help us a ton when it comes to getting whatever star coin we need. I just hope we haven't missed it. I don't think we have, but we may have. You never know. Okay, whoa, 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 no, no! <laughs> We're just slowly propelling to our doom. Ah, oh, that stinks. Luckily, we did just get the checkpoint, so it's not the biggest deal in the world as long as we can just get another mushroom. I could even get another propeller cap, but that's not exactly necessary. Okay, let's go back into it and see what else we can do. World 5-5, five, five. this thing is just treacherous. It really, really is. So I know what I gotta do now. I mean, I can get some extra coins to get my life back if I wanted to, just by picking this up and then going up here, please. Oh, it's scary. Look, I'm afraid I'm gonna activate the glitch again. <laughs> Cause I've, I've, I've had it happen to me before. And it always stinks. You're just losing your life for no reason. This game has a number of peculiar glitches. There's like another glitch where you can like spawn in a ton of coins if you have like a Koopa land in the correct way. It only happens, I think, in the World 4 castle though. The one that we were in last episode, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and boink, bounce off of you. So I know for a fact there is a star coin over there. Then I can land on this dude without being too reckless about it. Land on this platform, because that's just a little bit safer. And this is where I gotta be careful, because there might be, ooh, a pal block. I think I need this pal block for something. Maybe it's just that. Oh no, don't tell me there's a star coin over there. Oh no, I did I just miss out on, yes, I did. I did, there was a star coin right there. You know what then? It might be quicker for me to die and try it again, because now I remember, and I feel like the biggest dingus ever. Okay, so you're the one that had the pal block. I messed up big time, and ended up losing 
the the propeller cap, or I, I guess I really never even got it. So you can see there's two arrows pointing down, and that's for a gosh darn good reason. We gotta throw it like right now, and then get the star coin. Luckily, I didn't like perfectly fall in between them. That would have been awful as well. But there we go. We got all three star coins, and we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Come on, Mario, go! <laughs> oh my gosh. So, there's that done. I mean, we got everything else, so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. I don't know why. There's like a pit of doom down this way. I mean, I guess there's something. What is this? Oh, a propeller cap. Okay, don't fall to our doom at the ending of the level. I guess just in case you wanted another easy way to get the one up here, we're back to 99 lives now, which is great. Okay, so there's all the normal levels done in World 5, as much as I understand, I'm pretty sure. Um, looks like it. Except for like a star hut over there, but honestly, I think we can leave the star hut, or maybe I can get it, but in exchange, let's use a star, and I'll show a cool little thing if we do this. You can see that if we have a star power, we can actually go through this stuff, run into this dude, boom, he gets knocked out. Isn't that cool? But if we're gonna do that, then I should probably just go ahead and get rid of you as well, that way maybe you guys won't respawn, I can only hope, right? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this lasts, I don't know, I think technically forever until you enter a level. Uh, I don't know if it'll count for a star hunt, probably. Okay, so we get a star in return for our star. Isn't that a fine trade? Now I can only hope that more don't show up. Yeah, okay, we actually still have star power. Look at that, I never knew that. Very, very cool. So we're gonna head back down this way and uh, move into the World 5 castle and see if Iggy's ready for a fight. A fight with star power, Mario. I mean, this doesn't last like the entire level or anything. It just lasts for, you know, as long as the star power normally lasts. But hey, that's pretty helpful especially with all these fireballs bouncing around. This could be a bit of a tough level, so I don't mind having this, so we'll use it to our best ability. I mean, as you can see, it doesn't last forever. It really, really doesn't. So this is an interesting level because there's all these spinning uh, fences that we're supposed to grab onto. I definitely want to get that propeller cap. It'll be helpful. But you don't exactly have to use them all the time. As you can see here, you really don't need to use them. We gotta be careful. And, then, and this is another castle level that has just random fireballs out of nowhere flying at you. But they are, they're always color coordinated to the Koopalings. This one's green, so maybe he is shooting them from somewhere we just can't see. Okay, this can be a bit of a tough star coin because it's just a matter of timing. With the propeller cap, it should be a bit easier because I can just go ahead and do this, grab it, and then I just gotta wait for these things, move under them, yep, 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 and we got it. Good stuff. So. What else do we got going on? I see, ooh, something up this way. Just some coins, nothing crazy. Dodge that, please, thank you. I'm only looking for one more star coin, but it can be absolutely anywhere. And that's the scary part. Not over this way, not over there. I think there's also some secrets you can find just with the propeller cap around here, but I can't exactly remember. I know it was like that in the first world's castle. I showed that off. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I don't like that one, but so you gotta be careful about how you go about that, or that giant wall, practically, will knock you out and into the lava. So we haven't even got the checkpoint until right now. That's actually pretty good. Now if we do end up landing in the lava and losing a life, we don't quite have to, oh, here we go. Worry about getting the first two star coins. And the third one's easy enough, right? I think I'm gonna keep with the propeller cap for a good reason, if I can keep it. It is very useful for this boss fight. And actually, this is one of the most interesting coupling boss fights in the game. I was trying to avoid that uh, lava thing. So this is where we can, of course, use these little spring blocks, which I honestly don't show up too much in this game, these little green spring blocks. They, of course, are sort of replacing the music notes for whatever reason. I mean, I guess the music note box never really made too much sense, did they? Anyways, you can hear, for whatever reason, the sounds of a forest, almost as if, Ooh, we have some visitors along with Iggy and Kamek. We have a chain chomp. Look at this guy. And of course you can see in the background there's like leaves growing down the wall. That's why it sort of sounds like a forest, but it's a giant chain chomp tied to him. And it works a little bit differently as a boss fight too. It's pretty cool. You can see he's like, why did you hurt my friend? And he turns around. So we want to use these little donut blocks to sort of turn ourselves around. And then I'm gonna try to hit him again. But you gotta be careful, because the more you hit him, oh gosh, oh gosh, the angrier you, come on, hit him, got him. The angrier you make the chain chomp, and the faster he'll try to get at you. Oh boy, oh gosh, come on, come on. Hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Boom, no, what? I landed on his head there, that was weird. But we got him, it just took a couple of extra hits. But we took him out. <laughs> All right, so there is that done. We got rid of Iggy Koopa and his Ching and Chomp friend. 
That was probably the closest we get to any kind of like cool special boss fight that doesn't have to do with Bowser, Bowser Jr., or the Koopalings. So yeah, pretty cool. And here's our friend again, Bowser Jr. You're gonna miss out on the uh, airship this time? I guess not. Not gonna, you, you, you learn from your lesson. You're not gonna make the same mistake twice. Well, at least not twice in a row. Okay. So that is World 5 fully completed, as far as I understand, unless I miss something super obvious that'll embarrass me. Uh, no, we got it, you got all the star coins in World 5. Awesome stuff, which means we are moving on to World 6, and it is gonna be the treacherous mountains of doom, in my opinion. This is a really tough world, and as you can see, it is sported by Morton Koopa, big and strong, like the mountains surrounding him. And yeah, we'll save. We are moving on to World 6, as you can see. I'm gonna make sure we get a mushroom as we head into here, because anything could happen, and I'd rather it not turn out too badly. It is a pretty tough world, so we're gonna have to be ready as possible. So, heading into 6 one let's just be prepared for the worst. I think that I could definitely end up dying a lot in this world, but hey, look! It's sort of Spike, but he's different. He's blue, and he spits out more like they're just rocks instead of there being like spike balls. I don't really understand why they're different, but we can hop on top, on top of that Koopa and get up there and beat him up, I just don't want to. I have Ice Mario right now, so I, I mean, I would have to freeze them and then land on them. That would be a very extensive process, and I just don't wanna bother with it. We're also sort of like shimmying on the side of the, the, the wall here, we gotta be careful. I suggest when you can, you hide on, you, you hang on by Mario's like hands instead of his feet, because you do move a little quicker that way, but of course it's probably a bit more dangerous for him. Okay, be careful, got it. Okay, now he won't be able to get over here at the least. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. There's bull bills everywhere in this level. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, but you know what? It could be a pretty fun level. I just gotta make sure I get all the star coins. So far I've gotten none of them. But there's a one right up here. So maybe I can, yep, just get rid of him just like that. And then, got it? Oh geez, I still can't reach up there though. Weird, what do I gotta do? I mean, I got, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I guess I gotta get up like that, but also have another bullet bill with me? Jeez, that's a tough jump. I mean, I guess I was sort of kind of expected to jump with him. And the other thing is that these bullet bills don't shoot unless you are in the same screen space as them. So I need to use this one to get up, and then I need to maybe use that one. There we go, okay, we finally got it. That was really tricky. <laughs> Okay, get up like this, or not. Okay, I thought he could jump upwards when he was on these. I guess not. Okay, be very careful. It looks like we have to hold on by our hands to get through this part, or at least Mario does. Okay, there we go, there we go. I like how you can see all the fossils in the ground uh, behind us, I guess, you know, on the wall. That's pretty cool, nice little touch. So now we're just waiting for you. Uh, okay, awesome. Oh gosh, go down, Mario, go down. Mario, go down! Come on, buddy, what's your problem? <laughs> that was just silly. Okay, luckily we already got another one. Oh, just gotta get it without getting hit. Oh yeah, and there's definitely a star coin of some sort over this way. Can I get up like this? Can I get up like that? No, boy, I can, I know I can. Oh geez. Oh, I messed it up. I know I can get up that way, though. I don't think that's the way you're supposed to, but if I could, it'd make this a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, I need to hop off of you to get it to work. Come on, come on, pop out. I wanna try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and do it the normal way. Okay, oh, come on. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> that is definitely not how you're supposed to do it, but hey, if it works, it works, right? Uh, I really just hope that there's actually a star coin up here. Maybe there's not. Okay, so for this, I guess you're supposed to pick these up and throw them. Pick it up and throw it, pick it up. Throw it? No, I threw it the wrong way. Oh well, not a big deal. So I, I wasted all that time for nothing. There was no secret exit or anything. I mean, there might be a secret exit actually. No, 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 it was just right here. Not even a star coin, secret exit, nothing. I might wanna go back though, just in case. I, yep, I missed one. That's just tricky. You find this place that looks like a secret and nope, what it actually does is make you skip the secret. That's so uncool. Anyways, we'll get all these star coins, not star coins, I always call the red coins star coins. I don't know why. And got it. Okay, we got another ice flower out of it, which is pretty good. Now I do remember this area being a bit treacherous. So we'll have to be careful. Wait for this bullet bill to pass. Look both ways before you climb up the rock face, Mario. There might be a bullet bill. Okay, there we go. Well, if I can get Star Mario. Oh, okay, I got another Ice Mario. So things are a little crazy here, as you can see. I think I gotta do that. 
let me go ahead and get rid of these guys. It will you save me a headache, right? I do see the other star coin on the top right. Something like that. Do I need to use these bullet pills or something? I guess so, yeah, I was supposed to bring one of those with me. Oh, that's so tough. But now without these uh, spikes being in the way, it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to be quick about it. It can't be any of these ones that are down here. They have to be one of the ones that are higher up, which is just a little bit difficult. Let's hope I don't need more than one. And he should just stay in my screen space. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as I can beat him out. Come on, boing. And then I need to wait for him to show up. This has to be it. I mean, whoa, how do you, wait, what? No, there has to be a different way to do that. Why don't I remember this one at all? That doesn't make any sense. What? Do I need a propeller cap from a different level? Because that would also be totally bogus. Okay, Mario, come on. Come on, ready? Jump, 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 jump. Okay, that's how you do it. That is not easy. <laughs> that's a ridiculous star coin. But hey, I guess we're getting farther and farther in the game. Sort of makes more sense, you know, here in World 6 than it would be earlier in the game. Okay, so there's the first level done giving us, I guess, some kind of impression on how difficult this world will be. So it looks like that unlocks two more levels. Assumedly 6-2 and 6-3, is it 6-2? Yes it is, let's go into this one. I think this is an underground cave type level, so we'll find out together. Uh, yeah, it really looks like it. Okay, that's fine. Anything up this way? Can't get like an easy star coin like that, right? Doesn't seem like it. So some of you were actually letting me know a cool hint with Yoshi, if that, if that I throw a fireball, I can apparently pick it up with Yoshi and catch it and like use it as like a fireball that he can spit out. I've never tried that before. Maybe I'll try that if we run into a Yoshi level. I'm pretty sure we will in today's video. Oh boy. There we go. This level's a little tough, I remember. I think that if we wait somewhere, maybe around here for long enough, maybe a star coin just shows up. I'll pick up all these coins and we'll sort of find out what comes of it. I think that's it, so maybe not this one. Okay, well here's a star coin right there, so I was probably wrong. Uh, can you get over here, Mr. Spiny Shell? Come on, there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, it moves slower on its way to the right, because it's going against the, the flow of everything. Oh, I thought you were gonna be able to pick it up for me. Oh well. Luckily you can butt slam like turtle shells and stuff, and spiny shells, and they'll sort of just get destroyed. And we already got a checkpoint. That's both good and bad, because I have a feeling there's a lot more of this level left. Okay. So we're gonna be careful here. Okay, that's not being careful. Oh, come on, that was silly. I hit the ceiling. Okay, I sneaked out of it. And I see this guy. If I just jump over him, he should make a one-up right here. Yep, not a problem. And I got you. You're gonna hit those Goombas, so they're not, they're not in my way. Okay, so here's this. Do I... What do I gotta do about that? Um, oh, using the bats, huh? I have to imagine. Maybe this one? Okay, they're starting to fly up, but they're flying way too far up. Oh, not this guy, not this guy. Ready, set, jump, and got it. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do, I hope. It's what we did. <laughs> okay, oh, you know what? Maybe this is where I can find the star coin. I feel like it's somewhere nearby, from what I remember. I think in one of these, like it'll just end up showing up. Maybe I'm wrong though? We're gonna find out. Ah, uh, there's still some coins. Which means this thing hasn't made like a full rotation. So maybe at the end of it there's just some kind of pipe. You know, we had that in the very first level of the game. I can only hope, because if not I'm totally clueless on what we're doing next. I mean, we could just keep going to the right. I'm sure we'll eventually find something. It just keeps giving me coins. It doesn't ever end? I mean, it's a really big circle. Oh, oh, okay, I was right, I was right. Look at that. Okay, so let's slam on down that way. So it must start rotating with it being on the very far end. Okay, this might be a little bit scary. All these spinies are gonna start falling. Oh boy, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, we can get some extra coins if we wanted to, but I don't really need them, so I'm heading out of here. And we are gonna finish this level because we got all three star coins. And we can get all these red coins just for fun, maybe. Oh gosh, okay, be careful. Maybe I can get a power-up out of this, yep. Oh gosh, <laughs> silly me. There we go. Okay, so, gotta be careful of these guys. We got some of these, these guys are new, 
so far for this game, I mean like they've showed up in other games, I think in Mario 3, but they haven't showed up in this game yet and they're these like big hammer bros and if we throw this at you, it should get rid of you. But basically if they butt slam, it will sort of stun you just sort of like Roy Koopa did in World 2. So you'll wanna make sure you're not on the ground when they're butt slamming. Okay, we got a little spiny shell. Uh, there we go, now we don't have to deal with them. Hiya. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. There is another level completed in World 6. That one wasn't too bad. Now that I remember like where some of the uh, star coins were, I was able to make that one work a little bit easier. But overall, it can be quite difficult. So I think the other level is World 6-3. So we'll go ahead and deal with the other one first. But yeah, that's gonna be a Yoshi level. You can tell because there's a little bush with fruit that Yoshi normally eats next to the level for 6-5. This one does not. I forget what this one is. Oh, I think I remember this one. At least I remember it being a pain in the butt. <laughs> if I'm remembering it correctly. Yeah, it's one of these, okay. We haven't seen this too much in this game, but we have seen levels like this where it's the underground sewer kind of thing in the DS version, and that was always really cool. So I'm excited to explore this one here in this game. We only saw one or two sewer levels in that one, and I guess this is like our only sewer type level in this game. You know what, I will definitely grab the fire flower if I can, because it will much easily take care of these guys. I think these big prana plants take like three hits. Let's see, one, two, three. Yep, looking like it. Then I can use your little plant pot to get up like that. Let's try to dodge these guys. I don't know what their names are. I think there might be a secret exit to this level, but maybe not, uh, hard to say. Okay, actually, no, we gotta go under like that. Okay, I got it. That shouldn't be too bad. As soon as this guy shows up, all we gotta do is get rid of him. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. No, come on, come on, that was silly. Hiya. No, I can't get him. Gotta wait for him to lower himself all the way again. But once we get rid of him, we don't even need the water to get up there, we'll be fine. Got it, okay. So bring me back up, and we got star coin number two. I don't think there's anything else around here. Really doesn't look like it. I mean, I can maybe get up like this, but it's not some kind of like teleport or anything. Okay, so let's slide, Wee! I don't see too much going on, except for these guys who are gonna fall. I don't like that. Okay, you know what? It might just be smarter to run. It actually looks like it's a better idea. Oh gosh, you know what, turn around, turn around. <laughs> give me that, give me that back. Hey, stop it! Don't you take me out, that'd be rude. Are they coming, they're, yeah, they're, they're coming back. Jeez, I don't like it. There's a couple mean piranha plants here, but we should be able to deal with each one, I hope. Uh, Yeah, there definitely is something going on around here. I don't know if it's a secret exit or if it's just a star coin, but if I, oh boy, fall back down. If I get back up like this, this one teleports me? Yeah, okay. And, oh, there's a star coin over there. Okay, I think I see. It gives me another fire flower in case I need it. Can't go down that one. But what I think happens is that, yeah, this, oh, they came back, come on. The one that's being blocked by this prana plant is the one we need. Come on, get him one more time, get him one more time, get him one more time, there we go, we got him. I got his little friend down here, apparently, cool. So I'm not gonna bother getting you if I'm gonna have to get you again, so I'm just gonna get up like this or fail. So this one should bring us to the star coin, which will be awesome. So getting on up, get up like that, and we're good, we got all three star coins. So far, World 6 has been going pretty well. We haven't gotten stuck on anything. We haven't lost any of the, we haven't missed out on any of the star coins. I don't think we've, oh gosh, missed out on any secret excerpts or nothing. Can these guys hit me or what? I guess not him, he's just in this weird position. So now I'm just trying to find out, oh no, you got me, oh that stinks. Okay, what is this then? Oh, another fire flower, awesome. So I wanna try to take these guys out as much as possible, but it might not be a good idea at the moment. Okay, so I need to swim over this way. Come on, go, 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 go! Oh, don't stop! Okay, luckily I just barely made it, but as long as I can get into that little corridor, I guess, uh, I'm able to wall jump up it. But there you go, we got that level done without too much of a problem. Mario time. Okay, cool. So there's a uh, 6-3 done, so we can move on to, or no, was that? Yeah, that was 6-3, right? Yeah, so 6-4 is the Yoshi level. I think I called that 6-5 before. Okay, and I think there is a secret exit there, or maybe it just leads right to that one thing. I'm trying to find out though, is there a secret exit to some of these levels? I'm pretty sure there's not. 
Six, six, four might have one, but we'll find out together. So this is the Yoshi level. Let's see if we can't do that little trick you guys have been ta talking about. I might not be able to. I'm not gonna try too hard. But, oh, this is a tough level too. Oh, we get propeller cap? Oh, I gotta take it. If it's giving it to me, now that I remember this level, I'm gonna have to take it. If I run into Fire Mario again, maybe I could try it, but yeah, thanks for sharing some cool tips you guys have had for the game. Oh, gosh. Already? Already I've lost it? Monty Moles are not fun to deal with. They're a pain in the butt in Mario World and in Mario Kart and in any other game they show up in. They really are a pain in the butt in Mario Kart in uh, the Moo Moo track. They're not fun to deal with. Oh, we got our first star coin up here. Let me just go ahead and quickly grab that and get rid of this Koopa. And get up this way. So we got our first star coin. I, I just know that there's at least one star coin that's really tricky around here. Okay, ooh, what is this? I don't know, but I'm gonna try to get it. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I hope I'm not missing anything by trying to get all these coins. Oh, look at that, cool. I don't think I missed anything. Get another one up there. Uh, I guess Yoshi just has it in his mouth right now. I mean, I don't exactly need it, so he can keep it there if he wants, but yeah, I don't think I missed anything down here. There's just a whole bunch of moles. Oh gosh, gotta be careful, because I don't want them to deal <laughs> deal with my Yoshi, and then we won't have him anymore, and that'd be awful. Oh gosh, oh geez, don't mess up those jumps. So these guys mess with the platforms all by themselves. <laughs> It is metal with everything. Oh yeah, down there. Okay, so this might be a bit tough. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Yoshi. Oh, we could have maybe almost made it too. Ah, oh, I feel bad. But luckily we had the propeller cap. I might have just been able to hop off of Yoshi. I guess there's the power block, but what's the point of the power block if I couldn't get up there without a Yoshi or a propeller Mario? I would have just been able to get the star coin normally. I guess just for some extra coins in general. Okay, can I get my Yoshi back? No, I got another propeller cap. Oh man, I'm so mean. Okay, got it, got it, we're doing okay. Grab some of that, good, good, good. Okay, whoop, oh boy, we got it. Eight star coins, oh my gosh, eight red coins. It's not star coins, there's nothing star-like about it. Yeah, we get yellow Yoshi. I don't know how many different colors of Yoshi there are in this game, I'd have to imagine a good amount, right? Okay, so I need to make this like that, and then try to flutter jump up there. No, 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 I'm not losing Yoshi again. We're gonna do what we need to do. There we go, and then flutter jump up like this. I'm so sorry, Yoshi. I gotta check if there's a star card. I feel so bad, but I swear they make it so you can't, you can't get up there without ditching Yoshi. That is so awful. Oh well, we did what we could. Okay, so. They expect you to have Yoshi, but as long as I have the propeller cap, I mean, it really is weird that like, propeller cap and Yoshi are in the same game, so really, if you have either or, it works just fine. Oh well, you know, if it works, it works. So did we need a secret exit there, or did we just unlock this mushroom hut? Yeah, I guess we just unlock it. Okay. So if we keep going up, though, we should make our way over to World Six Tower, where we got Martin Koopa for the first time. This guy is tough. I don't. I think he's one of the more difficult Koopa Links. Not as tough as Wendy. I think Wendy is still the most difficult Koopa Link. But uh, the tower here isn't easy. I mean, I think maybe getting mixed up. World Seven Tower is treacherous. One of the most difficult levels in the game. We'll worry about that when we get to it. What is this gonna be? It's gonna be an ice flower. I'm almost tempted to keep what I have with the propeller suit. I feel like this might be easier, especially if I run into a predicament with this gigantic uh, spike thing. I mean, that's sort of a thing. I don't know what it is, but they sort of get obsessed with this whole idea with this gigantic spike pillar thingamajig. Okay, oh boy. See, if I do things too soon, I still might be, oh no! Oh wow, I did what I could. I couldn't get over the darn power up. Getting rid of you at the least will be nice. Okay, so now the problem is we have to deal with these platforms that are moving around. And that's not gonna be easy. But it sh should still be just in the center. Yep, okay, I'm not gonna get hit by it by being over here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, that stinks. Don't fall. Mario, come on, no! Get back over here at the least. Get up, get up, get up. Oh gosh, yeah, you can't do that. That is such a weird timing. Come on, get back on these platforms. Just, just like this, just like that, just like that. And then I gotta go quick. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. I just gotta wait here. Ooh, that was close. Okay, you get out of here. And then, got it. And then I need to 
bounce up like this and just hide in the corner. Oh, I'm so scared. So scared. <laughs> okay. We're fine. We're fine. Boing up like this. Haven't found any star coins yet. Okay, here's the first one, hopefully. Maybe I should have grabbed that and then the checkpoint, because now I'll have to do it again. Oh well. If I die. No, we missed one! No, I'm going back down. I'm going in. I'm going in. Where is this missing star coin? I'm not proceeding without finding it. That's the whole point, is to get all the star coins. Where could it be? Where did I miss it? I mean, maybe, I don't know. Oh gosh, keep moving, keep moving. Maybe it was just somewhere really, oh, right there? Right there, okay, I found it, don't worry. Whoa, yeah, I got it, okay. Yeah, you thought you could hide from me, Mr. Starcoin, not this time. You really gotta pay attention, they get really sneaky with those little patterns in the wall. Okay, got it. I mean, we gotta get up like this. But also, make it quick. Make it quick. Oh, come on! Oh, no, I made it! And then I messed it up! Oh, oh you stink. Okay, get up like that, and we're good. We're just gonna wait here for right now. Just like last time, just a little less powered up. But we're almost at the top, and then we don't have to worry about it as much, I don't think. Okay, and I got it. So I can get up this way, can try to avoid this dry bones. Get a power up for it, pretty cool, pretty cool. So I don't know what these two pillars are supposed to serve as a purpose. I guess it's just like an area if you really need to crush something that was really hard to crush, you can do it here. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so this is where the propeller cap would have been really useful because the only way you can make your way up is by shooting yourself out of these cannons, but you have to time it well enough so you don't get hit by the pillar. So that can be a bit tough. You probably want to do it as it's retracting. And then just about now, by the time we're ready to shoot, it should be good, but you're also timing it with these little platforms that are retracting in and out as well. So it's just like, oh, it's a mess. Oh, what? Oh, what? Come on. No, 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 no. Hold on tight, Mario, you can do it. Oh boy, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why is this level so difficult? And definitely the star coin is gonna be up here. Oh, come on. Why? Come on, that is so tricky. I gotta wait right here and then I'm gonna slide all the way down there to get that power up. It better be a power up, I wouldn't be upset if it's not. Okay, got it. Got it, give me that mushroom, nice. Okay, so no matter what, we'll be able to face Morton with more than one hit, or, or actually just one hit, but before we get hit again and taken out, but you know what I mean, right, right? Oh boy, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what is gonna go on in here? Uh, we got Morton, we got lava, so we're gonna make sure we don't land in the lava, and I can see those little pillars up there. Boing, bounce off of you. Oh, I see. So, he bounces around, but, whoa, 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 didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to do that. Get on him, there we go. So he moves around way too quick to do that, to stand on that platform. Okay, so he's up, oh, oh, ah, got him. Jeez, that was ridiculous. Holy cow, dude. For somebody really big, you move really quick. That is a really crazy boss, but we did it. At least for now, we gotta deal with them in the castle as well, but we'll get there, we'll get there. For now, as you can see, we have a host of levels to deal with still. Some of these are really difficult. You can also see a little uh, shortcut pipe, which I think is for the secret exit for the level we'll be doing next. But for now, there is that done. So we can move over to the mushroom hunt. I'm certainly gonna get that opportunity because if I could use an extra, a couple extra powers right now, I will. And there's a toad that needs our help. Not gonna worry about that. I will save. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. And we're gonna do this mushroom hunt. Okay, so can we get all of them? Most likely not, but I'll try. Feeling lucky, step right through the door to win some items. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. Power up panels. Yep, yep, yep. What do we got? Immediate Bowser. What the heck? That's not cool. We got a propeller cap. Mini Mario. I'm just gonna do it in like a random sporadic order and see like how well things go. Maybe that'll work. That's a fire flower. Got another fire flower. I'm gonna leave that one in the corner. Leaving it where it is. Oh boy, we got Bowser Jr. We got a fire flower. We got another fire flower. I'm gonna do this one in the bottom right. Ah, come on, so close. No, the ones I skipped out, most of them were fine. Ah, okay. That stinks. 
Okay, so let's get up this way. We got level 6-5. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a mushroom. This one does have a secret exit for sure, because it has that little shortcut pipe that brings us to the castle. So yeah, let's go ahead and deal with that. And then the level after this has a secret exit. That's, I remember being quite tough, but in the meantime, we got this fish friend. This is actually his first appearance, except for the mini game, in a level since Mario DS, so this one's not fun to deal with. He's just swimming around and he always comes back. No matter how many times you take him out, he's always ready to go again. And I think, oh yeah, you know what? I remember this. One of these big old question blocks. Oh gosh, I went right under him there. Uh, I don't like it. No, come on. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, one of these big question blocks is probably where our secret exit resides. Um, as far as I remember. Can I get you? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Get out of here. That's a one-up. I don't care about the one-up much. So I'll have to remember that when looking for the secret exit. Okay, we did that pretty well. Whoa, ho, ho, that was a little too close for comfort. I don't like it. Okay, there's another firefly. I'm gonna return to that one if I need it. What I might do though, nothing up there, okay. Get these Koopas out of here maybe? I don't know when this fish is gonna show back up. I'm trying to be ready for him, but he's pretty ruthless. He always does show back up. I mean, I know there are sometimes sections where he might disappear for a little bit and come back. Oh, yeah, here he is. Okay, here's a good, no, no, no. I would wanted, I wanted to not, that not to happen. I wanted him not to hold on to it. Are you serious? Okay, we're going back to get the other fire flower. Come on, Mario, you're being silly. Ooh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, you don't, you see, you can't be over here for some weird reason. Oh, come on, that's silly. We're getting rid of these Koopas, first and foremost. I mean, I guess they respawn if you go too far, sometimes. Usually they don't when it's convenient for them in a weird way. I know that we had that issue in like World 5, where like one of them disappeared and wanna come back. It was pain in the butt. Okay, so if I remember this correctly, we'll use this propeller suit. I think over around here is where our secret exit is, so I'm gonna be careful for now. Oh boy. Oh, come on. That was an awkward jump and you know it. No, 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 I need to get that. And then I need to, hiya. No, 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 come on. What's with your sporadic movement, dude? You're a jerk. Uh, I don't like this guy. I don't want to be lunch. What is your problem? Get out of here. No, 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 no. Jeez, how do you ruin things so quickly for me? Usually I don't have this hard of a time with them, but I definitely am right now. Land on that guy? No, I wanted to land on him. Okay. Oh boy, whoa, that actually took him out? I guess he could throw that thing at him, cool. Well, we did that. Uh, and then I'm going to hit this. I'm pretty sure we got the exit of the level right here, but I'm pretty sure you can find the star coin during the secret exit part of it. So yeah, I don't think we're out of luck with that. Come on, can I get this or not? Ooh, no. You know what, fine, I didn't want the one up anyways. I don't wanna spend a whole extra couple seconds just trying to hop on top of that wiggly little block. I mean, it's not very little, it's a very large block, but you know what I mean, okay? Okay, so we're gonna hop back into that level and get the secret exit. Shouldn't it be too bad, I hope? I mean, as soon as I try to get out of this level, they just reel me back in. So, let's just try to survive. But the level after this isn't any less treacherous. It's one of the most treacherous in the game, in my opinion. It can be a tough one. Okay, so let's get this fire flower and try to deal with this guy as much as possible. Come on, get out of here, see ya dude. Got a little bit of your own treatment there. Get past that, there we go. You can sort of go through this level pretty quickly at times and that's a lot of fun when there isn't a giant fish trying to eat you. But when he does, it's not fun anymore. Okay, and now I'm down here, which is not what I wanted. But he can't be over here, so you know what? It's a fair trade. Okay, get up like that, good, good, good. So we're pretty familiar with this level at this point. I just gotta not get hit by this jerk. Come on, stop doing that, Mario. Oh, come on, I was so close to getting him there. How did that not get him? That one I just don't believe. Okay, so he went right over me. So yeah, this is where I need to do stuff. So definitely get rid of him, and I'm pretty sure there is, oh, okay, so I guess it's not the big question block, but something right next to it, it's this stuff. So I need you guys to raise me quickly, quickly before he shows back up. Oh gosh, there he is, oh boy, go, go. Okay, so this should be the secret exit, and if I do remember this correctly, you have to be careful, because if you do fall here, you go back to the normal part of the level, which is not what we want for the secret exit. Um, we wanna be able to make it. 
to the end or something? I can't remember. Okay, so there is, I see the star coin way up there. All I gotta do is jump for it, got it. Okay, so this is where we gotta be careful. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm getting that mixed up with, but I swear there was an area like that. Maybe it was that, that was in the last game. I can't remember. We got the secret exit, we got the third star coin, everything's perfect. I like it. So uh, yeah, that unlocks the pipe that brings us straight to the castle. If we wanted to do that, I'm tempted, but no, I won't. <laughs> we could use it to skip one of the mini games. That's always useful. But there's only one level left to go before the castle. It's just a tough one. And it's this one right here. This is level 6-6. Six, six. Let's hope we can actually do good with it. Because I have no idea. And we're going down. This one is weird because it, it's, it's interesting because it does utilize the Wii's motion controls in an interesting way. You have to move it. And as you can see, that like moves this. Ah, oh, I'm not very good at it though. I'm also, you know, trying to sit in a position where I can actually play and point at the camera. So moving the Wiimote around isn't always so helpful. So honestly, I usually just ignore it. You can actually go ahead of the boat a lot of the times. I'm gonna just put that fire flower on there. That's perfect. I do think I need, yeah, this for something. I mean, I don't really need it. We probably could have just made that jump just fine. But yeah, there are a lot of situations where you can just, oh gosh, straight up skip the boat, which is nice and useful, in my opinion. I just don't remember where everything is, but if I do miss anything, there is a secret exit in this level. So I'm gonna be trying to focus on that as well. Okay, uh, oh, the, the water's raising. For better or for worse, I suppose. Okay, we got a star power. Oh, the star power is perfect, because this clears up everything. Now, I don't know if there's any of these pipes we can actually go up. I mean, sometimes you can have that. So you gotta be careful. So the boat goes down there. I'm gonna go up this way though. Ah, oh, and we're out of light again. I wish I could get another star power. That was perfect. That made everything easier. I'm just trying to find out. So yeah, I can't get up here. This is where we need the boat, I suppose. Maybe. Uh, gotta be careful of those fish. I see the yellow eyes of the bats. Okay, I got them. Oh, I didn't get that one. That's okay. Here comes the boat. <laughs> I just, I don't like it. It's a tough level. It used to creep me out when I was younger. I was like, oh, it's so dark, I can't see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this spring like down that way. Propeller caps probably help you out a ton in this level. Okay, get him, get him. Nice, so we got a ice flower. I think, oh, here we go, here we go. Ready? So yeah, if you didn't have the springboard, the bats sort of kind of work. The bats sort of charge at you depending on what position in the air you are when they see you. So you, you just, they would just pop up a little lower. Okay, so there is a little piece, which right here, can I hit that without hitting this? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, got him. And that's also making it so I can get up here maybe? Uh, not quite. <laughs> I tried, but it didn't work. Oh, propeller cap, I want that. Got it, okay, so don't know why the little uh, ice flower here is moving. Sort of weird. Can you guys not bother me? Oh, you bothered me. Come on, at least let me keep this. And I guess I will go ahead and grab this. Okay, this is where the star coin is, somewhere around here. Yep, 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 got it. Pick this up, go over. I might wanna take the opportunity to get a secret exit now if I can. Uh, can I throw that, oh, that'll get rid of the, the hammer bro or the fire bro? No, it won't. I think that there's a, uh, I swear there's a secret exit around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Honestly, I think we're gonna take the secret exit first. If it's here, it's easy to get, I might as well go for it, right? Make our lives a little easier. Okay, let's go this way. Go, 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 go. Uh, dodge all of, Ah, oh, I was hoping that this would hurt you. Just me carrying it, you know, I'm just carrying this big object. But no, doesn't only really do that. Okay, we just gotta run quickly. But not too quickly, apparently, or we'll just run right into him. This is where star power would be useful. And we got it. Okay, so, um, what's gonna go on with this? It looks like we got a switch, we can hit it, and it gives me a little platform, which is just enough to get the one up. Okay, so that is the secret exit to World 6-6. It just leads to a cannon, but a cannon nonetheless, right? So th I think that's the last cannon in the game that we have to worry about. There might be one in World 7, but I'm doubting it. But that's just nice to get out of the way, so we'll go back in the level, and then I can just sort of chill out on the boat for the most part. I mean, I can sort of swim ahead for a lot of it, so I might try to do that as well. So back into the level I go. 
Okay, so we're just about where we were before. As you can see, we're still riding the boat. Here comes the fire bro, who I'm just sort of gonna try to dodge his shots, and I'm not doing a very good job, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna wait right here. We should be good, because I think he's the only one. The problem is that he will probably start turning around. Oh, no, 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 there's another one. Of course, there's there's another one, for, for whatever reason. Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, that, maybe. Uh, leave me alone. Oh, you're a stinker. I don't like this one, Ben. <laughs> Come on, be careful. Be careful, because he throws them in such a variety of ways, it's just hard to dodge and they move way gosh darn too quickly. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Just wait over here for now until the fireballs stop. I think they've stopped. I can get back on. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so. Just stay right here. I think we're about to hit the normal exit. I think we got it. Okay, so we got out of that. That awful situation. I don't even care if we get a one-up or not. I just want to leave, so let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so, level 6-6 six, six done, which means that we just have to worry about the castle. Really not that much of a stretch between the tower and the castle in this world, but it takes a while if, you know, if it's your first time going through, these levels are really, really challenging. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a mushroom, because we got a couple things we gotta deal with here, and I could just take the pipe right up there, but I, I wanna take the normal way just to show it. But as you can see, we got the mushroom, and we can just, Run up this little spiral. It's a pretty cool looking little mountain. But there are these bull bills being shot out, and they're actually part of the mini game, which we'll get those, I guess, whenever we run into them. But after, or before that, let's go ahead and get this star. Because why not? All right, so there's the star. We could, you know, like I said, apply that and skip this bull bill. But I want to show it. It's a different mini game. This one I think you can get a couple one-ups out of, just like a couple of the other ones, if you know how to play it well enough. Because there are balloons everywhere, but there's also bullet bills and a platform. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I can't believe I got hit by that. Got it. Okay, you know what? All these bullet bills are going down. <laughs> Not quite. But as you see there, when I hit the final balloon, it gets rid of all the bull bills on screen, which all tally up, so if you did get a lot of them, you will start getting one-ups too, so there's actually a lot of ways you can earn up some free lives there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another mushroom so that we can be nice and ready for the final castle of World 6. Hopefully everything turns out okay. I can only hope. This, I believe, is a pretty tough castle. Yeah, this one's tough, all right. Okay, so we'll deal with it however we can. There is lava everywhere, which is not good because lava will get rid of us in one hit. Dodge that, good, good. And there's all these little lava balls hopping out of the lava. Getting rid of them is nice because they do sort of count as an enemy, right? Like when you get rid of dry bones, if you wait here, dry bones won't come back. The same thing about these little lava things. It's pretty nice. Okay, there's another one. I might leave that here just in case I need to come back for it because the chances are pretty high. If I wait up like this, I should be able to, yep, yep, yep. Get you, pick you up, and look at that. Easy star coin. <laughs> Pretty cool. And I think this is a one up. You bet. Okay, whoa, be careful. Don't land in that lava. Like I said, that's game over. Not, well, not game over, but we're, we will get taken out, and that won't be good. Okay, just wait up here. Come on, come on. And then, got it. Okay, so we're doing all right. Just gotta keep moving. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yeah. Go back down there, go into the lava. They should eventually plop off into the lava, almost like that guy just did. They're just not fun to work with, and the moment they touch the lava, they just instantly poof into dust, which shows you how tough lava is in the Mario world. Okay, so we got the fireball guy. I should be able to just dodge him. Another power up, oh gosh. So if I get hit, I can go back for that, but it's gonna be a bit risky to do that. But there's these little things, of course, and they lower more spike balls because who doesn't want more of these things rolling around? Okay, uh, got it, got it. I got all these question blocks. I'm sure one of them is a power up, it is. Good. I'd take it if I needed it, but I don't need it at the moment. I wanna keep it that way. Okay, oh my gosh, it's so stressful. Oh gosh, we got big dry bones. Uh, not much I could do about those except for hope that I can use them to get this star coin, unless they just walk right off the edge. Okay, can we get it? Okay, we can get it all by ourselves, never mind that. And then I think that if you hit this, yeah, you can get a power up. Maybe a fire flower will be more helpful than an ice flower. Maybe this could be a boss we can take out with a fire flower. I don't try it too often because it's usually not any easier, but maybe this time it would be. 
Okay, so let's try this out. Hopefully everything will be okay. But we just dealt with Morton not so long ago and he was really tough. Okay, so what are you gonna do? They have pillars on the ground, just like Larry's boss fight, and there they were just raising up and down, which wasn't too bad, but here, they raise up and down all right, but it's pretty bad. As you can see, he slams them and then just sort of go through. Honestly, it's sort of kind of like Eggman. If you've ever played uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, I think Eggman does a very similar thing on the final boss of that game. Okay, get rid of him. But honestly, I feel like it's easier than the Fortress version. Um, or the tower version, whatever it is. Because like, there's no lava, there's no pillars up above, which honestly is a lot le a lot harder to like manage. A little bit more multitasking here, as soon as you get him hit, he can't really do anything because you're able to instantly hit him again once he pops out of the shell. So honestly, it's easier to manipulate and overall an easier battle. Pretty cool. So there we go, there's world six completed. Now let's go see uh, Bowser Jr. again. How many times is this gonna happen, dude? You're pretty predictable at this point. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> you made the same mistake twice, buddy? Come on. Yeah, deja vu. So Mario's gonna chase after him as well. So it looks like we're moving off into the clouds. That's a little crazy. <laughs> Get back here. And we're just chasing him into an airship level. This is, I think, a pretty fun one. I can't remember exactly. But we're gonna go in and find out. <laughs> Progress saved, all right. So airship battles on the clouds. Very crazy, I like it a lot. And ooh, these are always fun. I just really like airship levels, especially in this game. They're just pretty cool. A nice addition between this one and New Super Mario Bros. DS. I feel like that was sort of just something they did, is just add a lot of additions that are like, hey, you remember this from the one Mario game? Yeah, let's do it again, but sort of revise it a little. Oh gosh, we got these Monty moles. I forget what these ones are called, but they're even worse than the moles that we saw earlier in today's episode. Because these ones throw stuff at you that are pretty small when it comes to the amount of screen size they take up. Oh, come on. I mean, I guess they're like sort of the size of like a Goomba or something, the gears. But sometimes they sort of come out from the right side of the screen without really knowing where they're from until you see this little dude. And then you just go, goodbye. <laughs> You're out of here. Go back from once you came. Under your little, uh, I guess sewer grate? I don't know what you're supposed to be under. Okay. Well, I guess the idea is that they're sort of supposed to be like under the uh, hatch working on the ship, but then they see Mario come on by and they're like, let me just throw my only tool I have. I guess it's not his only tool. He has like 10 of them. He's throwing them all at me. <laughs> He's supposed to be using those to get to work. Okay, so there's a pipe here and I'm pretty sure this is a star coin, so we're gonna get to it. I just wanted to break all this stuff too. Okay, let's go for it. Because as you can notice, unlike the uh, previous airship level, this one's an auto-scroller, which can make things a little bit difficult. And even same thing for this. So, you don't have much control about what's going on. And that can, you know, really inflate the level's difficulty. Because I'm just sort of having to survive on this little spinning circle for as long as possible. And we got it, so let's get out of here. <laughs> so that's the second star coin already, pretty good progress. And we got ourselves a Bowser flag. Gotta be careful. Oh, now you're throwing gears this way, huh? Trying to mix things up on me. All right, we got a couple of red coins, not star coins, to pick up. That's five. Where are the other two? Six. Oh gosh, ah, oh, that was not gonna happen. I should have waited for more screen space, but uh, I was silly. Okay, so, oh yeah, definitely get rid of, or not. Come on, come on, got it. And I'm gonna toss you off. I sort of feel bad doing that, but you were sort of gonna destroy me. Let's get down here. Oh gosh, I got hit. Thought I was gonna be able to survive that, I don't know why. Sometimes these do hold power up, so it's it's worth booty slamming them. If I can, without getting hit by a darn wrench. Come on. Any of these have anything? I mean, they have coins, but that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, just wait here and hope that the wrench doesn't hit me. Okay, I should be able to go around it now. And this should be, yep, a, a mushroom. Good, good, good. Just try to be careful. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. See you, dude, I'm so sorry. It had to be this way. Oh, don't you dare, thank you. Okay, so it looks like we made it. We got all three star coins already. What are you doing here? Get away. Oh, and there's a one-up. I don't really need a one-up, I need a power-up, but I'll take what I can get, I guess. Okay, so we're running the Bowser Jr. again. Oh, do we get our own? 
I think we get our own. Okay, Mario, hop on in. Oh, buddy. I guess we can actually do this battle without it, but yeah, we get to ride our own clown car. Never thought I'd see the day when Mario's in his own clown car. But as you can see, it's a little bit of like a bumper car battle. We have to shake the Wiimotes that we run right into them. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, got it. Okay, so try to get him a little bit, but so far I've been doing pretty well against him. I think I only need to hit him one more time. His broken clown car is even more, a little more busted. I like how ours has a little Mario symbol on it. There we go, we got him. <laughs> hey, can I keep this thing and make the game a whole lot easier? I guess not. It'd be cool if I could. I know this thing makes a return in uh, Super Mario Maker. You can ride around with it there. Oh, wow. Well. There's that done. <laughs> okay, well, there's uh, another Bowser Jr. battle completed. Unfortunately, we could not take over the airship and save Peach early. That'd be really cool if there was like a way you could do that, like some kind of cool secret. All right, you got all the star coins in World 6, so that means that we properly did everything there without too much of an issue. There were a couple times we died or had a hard time getting a secret exit, but now we are going to the top of the clouds because we're at World 7, where we have Ludwig Koopa. This guy's a total pain in the butt. Total pain in the butt. This whole world is crazy difficult. Like, I feel like it might be the most difficult world in the game. We are tackling World 7, the world on top of the clouds. And hopefully everything turns out pretty well. I think this is, in my opinion, maybe the most difficult world in the game. It can be a treacherous one for sure. I use that word a lot in the series, treacherous. It, I mean, it's not a lie, it really is. Okay, well, we'll do what we can. Some of the star coins are tough, but it's more just the levels themselves can be really, really difficult just to get through, especially World 7 Tower is probably one of my least favorite levels. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. But uh, we'll do what we can, and we'll try to get through. There's a lot of, like, you know, falling toward doom that could possibly happen, a lot of crazy jumps we can make, so we'll have to be careful, especially with piranha plants all over the place. Oh boy. I mean, is it the most difficult world or the second most difficult world? It's hard to say. I mean, it really, I guess, depends on the specific levels you're having problems with, because there are some levels that I would say are in other worlds that are just way more difficult at times. Like, this, this level's not too bad. But there are levels that are really bad. Not bad in the way that they're badly made, but that they're just really, really tough. Oh, we got a first star coin, there we go. We got lots of spinning blocks all over the place. I don't like it. Is that pipe gonna come back? It is. I need to check these to make sure, but I'm guessing one of them brings me to where I wanna be. Actually, I feel like this one red pipe that I skipped out on. Maybe that's something? Let me just make extra sure. Go like that, and then, oh gosh, that's such a weird one. I don't think so, since it's such at such an awful angle. But let me try one more time. Ready, set, jump. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, I tried it just in case and we're fine. But I know there is a pipe somewhere I can, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> somewhere I can go down that I'm pretty sure leads to a star coin of some sort. Okay, we got even smaller and more quickly moving platforms. I don't know why I'm risking everything by jumping for coins when I don't even need the lives, but is this even a star coin? I think it is. Okay, ooh, propeller cap will be very helpful in this level. I think like here's the exit, but then he can just get that. It's much easier with the propeller cap than if you were small Mario there, for sure. But hey, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, this platform is not moving the way I thought it was. I, was gonna, I thought it was gonna spin the other direction. And then we're just looking for one more star coin. I don't know where that'll be. I'm a little worried it might be cloaked by all the clouds on the bottom of the screen, so I'm trying to be careful about that. But as long as I am careful and slow. Oh, here we go, here we go. That was actually really easy. I was expecting something more difficult. And there we go, we got it done. So that is World 7 1, mostly done. We just gotta get to the flag. I don't know why I was, you know, putting so much effort into that. I could have taken the easier way and just used a propeller cap. But hey, I did what I could. Okay, so yeah, that sort of gives you a little taste about what World 7 is like in this game. I mean, it was the same thing in New Super Mario Bros. DS. We had a. I think it was a uh, cloud world in World 7 there. That's usually pretty common. The world before the final lava world is usually a cloud in the skies kind of world in all of the new Super Mario Bros. games as much as I remember. So that that's just sort of a common theme. Usually most of the world pacings are the same, roughly. You know, the first world is always the green and sunny. The second world is always the desert. And then usually that's where it starts splitting up. I think that sometimes in 
uh, New Super Mario Bros. It, it'll be the like the Jungle World after that. Some of them it'll be the Winter World. Some of them it will be, oh gosh, we lost already. <laughs> we didn't get a single one. And it's gonna tell us that. Uh, but sometimes it'll also be the uh, jungle type, I think. Well, usually it's, it's bounced between the beach and the jungle, like I think, and the snow one. Like I think, I'm trying to think about it. New Super Mario Bros. DS, I think the, definitely the beach was before the, the snow one. And I forgot how it is in New Super, Mar Super Mario Bros. 2 and New Super Mario Bros. U, but I guess we'll find that stuff out together. Anyways, um, as you can see there, I just sort of ignore him. <laughs> a enemy makes his appearance in this game for the first time, I think. I don't think he showed up yet. It is the Chain Chomp. Okay, well, he has shown up. He was in the boss fight with Iggy in World 5. But bef before that, though, or beyond that, it really wasn't too much. Okay, oh boy. Oh boy, let's be careful. I don't know where the star coins are for this one, but that's where the propeller cap can be really useful. We could just sort of jump around and do as we please, trying to get everywhere. I know these chain shops can definitely be a big pain in the butt, because they're on this little pole, and just like in like Mario 64, you can go ahead and hit their pole, and as you can see here, you sort of have to do that. And for doing that, you will, uh... Oh boy, I really hope you go the correct direction. You can break these bricks. Okay, go ahead and do your chain chomp thing, and then I'm gonna butt slam. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. No, he's gonna go the wrong way. Come on. Ah, oh, that stinks. I'm pretty sure that means I just have to replay the level, which is super duper a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna skip that checkpoint. Maybe I can just make way through the level and try to find the other star coins in the meantime. I'm pretty sure he won't respawn, but maybe, oh, you know what? You know what, buddy? I'm gonna go back and check to see if that one chain chomp is back. And if not, then I'm just gonna go and retry the whole thing. But what a stinky star coin. Yeah, he's not back. No, okay, you know what? Maybe the checkpoint will help. Actually, in hindsight, it might really help. So let me just <laughs> get that, move slightly to the left, and just try that again. Ah, oh, I don't like that one at all. There we go. Okay, so I've already done that once before successfully, but then I died immediately. So this time I went in with the mushroom. That seems to be helping at least a little bit. I can get past all of these jerks. Leave me alone. What is this? It's not a power up, so I don't care. Keep moving, keep moving. I don't really need to care about most of these guys. All I'm trying to do is get around here, make sure we clear out all the, the mist. Try to find, whoa, gosh, we went up that water bubble faster than I thought we would. Oh yeah, there is a pipe down here. Okay, what is this gonna be? Maybe I should've checked for the mushroom. Cause now if I die, that's the tricky part. If I die now, I am not gonna have that star coin off to re-get it. Ooh, there's something there. For no real reason, but I'll take it. Got that star coin, that's star coin number two. And there's probably a power up over that way. I sure hope so. I am so scared right now. Oh boy, I don't like it. Come on, there has to be something more than that. And it's a one-up. I mean, I'll take it, I'm not 99 lives anymore, but I'd much rather have a, a power-up. That'd be useful. Where are we now? Are we farther or more back? Yeah, we're more back. It sent us back before this whole bullet bill section, which is where I got hit in the first place. Or maybe this is a different one. Hard to tell. Wait a minute! Wait a gosh darn second! I missed a star coin again! Oh wow, let me just get to the end of this level. This level's not that great when it comes to surviving easily. So let's just get out of here, go back in. I don't think there's a secret exit, but there could be. Uh, mm, I don't think so. So let's just go back in, but I will have to uh, get a mushroom first probably, and then we can go in. Hopefully I can find it without a problem now. So this is where the uh, second star coin was. And then, yeah, it's just right here. That's sort of silly. Like, come on, you can, it just, ah, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll get what we can. I guess I should have just turned around. It's my own fault. But I thought that we were starting from somewhere we had already been. And then by the time I got there, it was like a little too late. Because the end of the level is just right here. But there we go. There's a third star coin. Pretty easy to get. Not really that big of a deal. Okay, course clear. So now we can move on to what, 7-3? We already did 7-1 pretty easily. That was an easy level. I liked it. <laughs> now we can move on to one of the mushroom levels, which these things are never all that easy, I don't think. I mean, usually there's just a bunch of moving mushrooms which can make it hard to keep up, and yep, that's exactly what's going on. Can I get rid of these guys? Yes, with a fireball. I don't know if I've ever tried that in hindsight, but I might need a propeller cap, so if this gives me one, it might be easier to take this. 
But good to know that fireballs can get rid of those little dudes. Now, I don't know what else we're gonna find around here. Probably wanna be quite diligent. I know that when we found a mushroom level in World 1, way back in World 1, we had a pretty difficult star coin that was super easy to miss. So, trying to be aware of that kind of stuff. They already give you another power up just in case you need it. Luckily, I don't, but that thing's gonna fly away before I have anything I can say about it. Actually, I need it, come back now! Come on, it flew away! Oh, that's so unfair. <laughs> Ah, uh, I should have taken some time. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot of these little guys. It can be a total pain in the butt. You gotta be careful. You gotta be very careful, because they'll just sort of hop on the path that you are on, which isn't very nice. Okay, be careful. Jump over these three. We got some more coming in from the left, but I think I'm just gonna do this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We got another propeller cap. I'll gladly grab it. These guys do little tricks in the air. It's pretty cool. Be careful. Take our time. Okay, I'm just gonna go past all of that. Why even bother? Okay, this is where things get really messy. I think we're just gonna do this. It's like a roll, whoa! Oh, hey, look at this! Is this a secret exit or like a star coin or something? Look at that, and that was totally by accident. I'm gonna assume that I'm supposed to, <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to hit the P-switch to get all these coins turned into uh, platforms, but I'd rather just flutter jump up there. Okay, well, lucky or not, we got it done. We got more of this to deal with though. These kind of remind me of some Super Mario World levels. There were some Super Mario World levels where they were like on a little platform like this and there were the little, I guess like chainsaw looking things that would uh, go onto the little railing and it was always scary and that's scary as well. These guys are hum huge mungus. Humongous, not huge mungus. Can I get rid of them though? You bet I can. Get out of here. Okay, sometimes I sort of prefer this. Okay, so I don't really know what the point is of keeping on that if I don't have to leave me alone. I mean, I guess I could get, yeah, probably a good exit with the flagpole, but I couldn't care less about that at the moment. We're just gonna head out with this, and we should be good. Okay, we broke three million points, by the way, and we're steadily heading towards four million. I don't know if anybody cares about points in a game like this, but for whatever reason, I do. I mean, I'm not trying to get like the highest score possible. But anyways, I've been complaining about it. Let's see if it's as awful as I say it is. It's time for World 7 Tower. I don't know, but, oh, you know what? Now that I remember, no, 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 okay. I was gonna say, I think there was a secret exit on the last world. No, or not last world, but last level. It's this one, I remember. So we have this platform that goes up only when we're standing on it. Besides that, it retracts or sort of just goes to the bottom of the screen. Beyond that, it only moves when we, uh, like to the left and right. It only moves when we move the Wiimote. So it is quite difficult to work with, if you ask me. Uh, it gets really scary. It's not easy whatsoever. And it gets worse. I'll just say that much for now, it gets way worse. And I have to pay a lot of attention because I know there are some easy to miss star coins in this area. I mean, in the entire level, really. Because they're just bull bills having a good time no matter where you go. Let me move that so that fire flower can survive. Now, I don't think I want these red coins all that much. Whatever was in that, that brick block. Okay, oh boy. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get a one up. I'm trying to be cool. Okay, it didn't work, it didn't work. Almost did, though. Would have been super proud of myself. Anyways, it's obviously trying to have us follow the coins, but I think it'd just be easier to go my own path here. And there are bullet bills, or not bullet, bullet bills, but bonsai bills. Another enemy that I think made its debut in Super Mario World. Okay, let's do that, oh boy, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> and this is the problem with this level, I'm all the way back down here. We are doing pretty good too. Can I freeze these guys? I think I can, but they'll like sort of unfreeze themselves. I might slow them down ever so slightly. Uh, oh gosh, it didn't really slow them down at all. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. They're just, they're everywhere, and they're very large, and it's scary. Okay. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Here's our star coin. And then moving this thing around a lot will sometimes make Mario do the little spin jump. Okay, problems. Go up, go up. So this is where I think we could find a secret exit, but we're not gonna worry about it for right now. We're just gonna head. No, 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 I'm wrong about that. I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And now I'm falling to my doom. Uh, help, somebody help. No, not back down here again. This is a nightmare. Get back down here, platform. Okay, ready, here it is. Right now. No, I was trying to give myself an advantage, not a disadvantage. Ah, uh, this is why this level stinks. I don't like it. 
Okay, we're back up here. But I gotta go up to the left, because I'm trying to remember. I think that if we go up to the left, there's a secret way we can get a star coin out of it. And then there's like another secret exit somewhere else. I can't entirely remember, but I think that's the case. So I'm gonna try for that. Okay, wait for it. Got it, okay. Luckily, it's not too bad to find, you know, a place to jump on these guys. They have like a pretty big landing area, I guess you could say. Come on, come on, ready, jump, spin, got it. So I'm pretty sure it's up this way, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. That I need to go up like this. Maybe I am misremembering, okay. I swear that's something we had to do though. What is it then? See, there's a, st what? Did I do that wrong? I feel like, you know what, it's gonna be such a pain in the butt to replay this level. I might go ahead and take myself out now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Where is this then? Oh, okay, so that's what I was supposed to do. Now I get it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should've just experimented a little bit more. Well, there it is, so I got that. That's co star coin number two, but I know that there's another star coin that's probably just as difficult. I just gotta remember it. I know that there's something we need to do with these bullet, not bullet bombs, <laughs> they're bob bombs um, where we have to hold on to them for long enough that they end up, oh gosh, why? Get out of here. That they end up breaking something. I, I can't exactly remember, but we'll do what we can with it and see what ends up happening. For now, I don't think I need them. I can just sort of try to avoid them. I'm pretty sure that somewhere around here is where we find the secret exit. It's just sort of like a little corner that's just so easy to miss. So, oh gosh, why, why? Come on, get that out of here. There we go. <laughs> it just won't stop. Jeez. Okay, keep jumping. Okay, so there it is. I actually could have just used Ice Mario with that, I think, then. But since that's a little too late, I'll just do what I can with what I have, which apparently isn't very good. Come on, come on, give me that one. Got it, and toss it, and perfect. Okay, so, I need that to do its thing. I need to roll. Excuse me? Excuse me? How did that not break it? Come on, toss! No, that one's definitely not gonna make it. Oh, that's so silly, I don't like it. <laughs> Come on. Try that again. Okay, I needed to go farther down. Which right now, it's just, it's not doing a very good job. I wasn't supposed to be doing. Okay, so, I'm gonna let this thing shoot out its cannon. No, 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 come on, this is such an unpleasant level, I wasn't wrong. Even though I think I just found out where the, the secret exit is, it's uh, right here. I didn't want to do it just yet, but it looks like I no longer have a choice. Okay. <laughs> well, I might as well just cash in the two star coins I have and unlock a secret exit. Cool. I mean, I, I just wanted to confirm my suspicions. I didn't want to get it now, but if I can just get it, that's awesome. I mean, I think we can use this to almost, if not entirely, skip all the way to the castle. Maybe there's a level up there, I'm not sure. But I, if I remember this correctly, it makes a little vine just like that. Oh no, there is a level up here, what do you know? Cool, forgot about that one. Okay, so with that being said, we gotta hop back into that level. I'm not looking forward to it because I gotta do all everything again. Oh, it stinks. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see if I can't do this. Uh, I need to get one of you. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That was neither, that was literally neither. Okay, so you know what? This might end up hurt, no, oh, you know what? I probably should have just taken the hit. If I, especially since I have a nice flower waiting for me, I might just do that, just take the hit. That way we can get what we need to get and it's not gonna be a worry anymore. That'd be great. So, you know what, I'm going for it. Just put it right here. I'm so sorry, Mario. But it worked, it definitely worked. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. Now we're Ice Mario. I cannot worry about anything else. I just gotta go up here and we get a fire flower. Honestly, that might be a better option. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, awesome, awesome stuff. So we did it, we made it. <laughs> All of the star coins. Now I just gotta not die in the boss battle and everything will be perfect. This boss is a little tough, not as tough as the castle version, I don't think. So we'll just do what we can in the meantime. But he has a little Yoshi flutter jump. It ain't that weird. And he also has like his little uh, magical attack that follows you around. The problem is that's gonna start doubling up, as you can see, but if it hits the floor, not as bad of a deal. But if we hit him before he can throw it, just like any other of the Koopaling bosses, it definitely helps. Too bad I'm bad at the game, so now 
Okay, um, no, don't do it again, you silly. Come on. So let's see how much he spins. It looks like, ow. Okay, there he is, there he is. Oh, oh, okay, that was weird. I had a little bit of an invincibility from getting hit. I am so glad we didn't die because I would've had to get that third star coin again. Oh, okay. So there's that done. I do not like that level. Are the levels that are worse? I guess so, it depends. We'll find out by the you know the game's end. But for now, it wasn't fun. So should we do the level up there or the level down here? I think we should go and do the level up there just for fun. Uh, so yeah, this is the level we earned from doing a secret exit. So let me first just get a mushroom and we're gonna go and check it out. All the way up here we have level seven, six. Actually, maybe we shouldn't because then we'll be doing things. I don't know. Is this seven, five? No, seven, three. So yeah, we should hold on to that one for now. And we should go do the ghost house where there should be a secret exit, not a cannon secret exit. No, like no cannon is gonna be led to it because there isn't a cannon in this world. One of the few worlds, of course, that doesn't have a cannon. For good reason. <laughs> I mean, it's, you only have to do one more world until you, oh gosh, that was weird. Uh, okay, you know what, you just punch through those. We got these punchy guys, they were in the previous, okay, why did you stop running at the perfect time? That was silly. But uh, they were in the previous game, they're back here and they're just as much pain to the butt now as they were then. I'm gonna get rid of one of them if I can. Can we go through this door? We cannot. Oh boy, leave me alone. You know what, that's probably a power up I want. Uh, so you know what, get out of here. There we go, that's pretty good. Slide down like this if I can, because I'm already getting hit a lot, and that wasn't a power up. But I've been getting a hit a, a ton in this world. So I can try to, oh, you know what? I remember this, there is a star coin here, I think. We need you to do that, and then you're gonna turn around on me, start punching this way, so you go, oh, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. And then he punches through, and that there's something on the other side, what could it be? Uh. Oh gosh, can you get out of here? I don't like how like it throws you to the side when you try to jump on them, and there's a door. Oh, is this to the secret exit? It probably is. Do a little too late, right? Okay. I don't like finding them out of order, but you know, if that's what happens, that's what happens. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I could definitely be wrong. I'm wrong all the time about a lot of stuff. Come on, can we get up like that? We got ourselves a mushroom. Ooh, ooh, we got something here. Oh, they're vines. Okay, so let me make sure I activate these, and then what's down this way? A whole bunch of nothing. Okay, I don't remember this at all, to be honest with you, not one bit. Okay, so that makes a platform, and then there's another platform. Okay, uh, should I try to be getting this? Oh, maybe I should? It seems to have activated something this way. Is that our secret exit? I suppose so, or is this just a bunch of coins? This is just a bunch of coins, okay. Well, I'm out of here. This has to be the secret exit then. I just took the silly way. Uh, or not. No, it's a secret exit, okay. I am so confused. So very confused. But hey, at least we got something done. And I don't have to worry about that first star coin anymore, even though it was a really, really easy one. So there is that done. That is going to lead all the way around. Quite the little wraparound. I mean, honestly, does it just lead to this level? No, okay, it leads to that level. I was gonna say, then I, I don't know if I'd care too much about it. Cause then we could just skip all this like mini game nonsense. But I do wanna showcase them all, so I, I plan on doing it anyways. Let's go through again and see how things go. So we know where the secret exit is and how to get everything there. I just hope that there isn't a star coin there cause that means we'll have to complete the level two more times. It doesn't look like it, but I'm wrong all the time. This could be another one of those situations. Okay, be careful. Jump like that, good, good, good. Be careful, be careful. Oh boy, oh, come on. Get out of here with that. Jeez. It doesn't look like there's too much more in this area. I didn't really see anything that they could really bust through. Oh boy, not another elevator of doom. We got a fire flower, that's pretty good. Okay, oh boy, I'm scared. We just gotta follow the coins, right? Follow the coins, okay. Okay, there's a coin falling with me too. <laughs> For whatever reason. Okay, to the left, to the right. Okay, we made it. So what is with this? We got a bunch, oh, I know what it is. There's a bunch of booze heading down here now. Ain't that great. And one of these doors is gonna hold the exit. I think it's probably whatever one we do last. It doesn't actually matter. Okay, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. You stay there, sir. You stay there so I can go through this door. Get the heck out of here. What is going on? Where are the star coins at? Is there one behind you, big dude? 
There is. Okay. Got it. And that was actually the second one. What a surprise. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and there is still a third star coin missing. Are you serious? Where is it? We got the crows though. The crows make a t return from New Super Mario Bros. Uh, DS. They're not very prevalent in this game, but they're here. Okay, you know what? I don't want the, the one up if it's gonna mean getting hit by you. So I gotta find myself another star coin. Okay, so it hit me like a ton of bricks when I was thinking about it. It's this door to the secret exit. I didn't think twice about it. <sighs> it's here. I feel so silly. So I'm guessing, yeah, I have to hit this. It'll give me a platform. I can get the star coin. I can leave before everything attacks. They're haunting the whole place. What do you know? It's a ghost mansion. Okay, so let us get the heck out of here again through the st secret exit. But hey, at least this time we have all of the star coins. Very, very good. And I can move on to some other levels, which will be great. Now we get to check out the, uh, what's it called? We get to check out, I forget what it's called. The mini game, the, the one with this lack to here, which is not easy to deal with. But hopefully with our extra red coin, things will work out a little bit easier. Can only hope, right? Okay, this guy, he looks larger than normal. He might be. Now, if I don't get hit, everything should turn, are, are you kidding me? Hold on, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but there we go, get rid of this guy. And I'm just gonna leisurely <laughs> take advantage of all this. Awesome, there we go. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Usually I have a hard time with that one. Not this time. Okay, so there is that done, which means we can keep moving forward with uh, this star hut, get a free star power out of it. That way, if there's any other, other kind of mini game we run into later, we don't have to deal with it, which will be nice. Uh, here's a rare item. I'm sure it'll be great, thank you. So there we go, there's a star. It really isn't that rare. It'd be cool if there were other more rare items you could get. But no, it's always a star. Okay, so World 7-4, then we'll have World 7-5, and then we'll go all the way up to the secret exit part, which is a pretty cool little thing I do want to showcase at some point, but for right now, if we hit this, as you can see, it activates a weird motion control thing for these platforms. They really experiment a lot in this world, and some of it I appreciate, some of it I don't, like World 4 Tower I don't appreciate. This level's pretty fun. But depending on how you move the Wiimote is gonna determine uh, which way those platforms move. But it's not like in the World 4 Tower where you have to sort of balance it and move back and forth constantly. It's more of like an on and off switch. Like, okay, boom, you're on the left. Boom, you're on the right. Can you get out of here, dude? I'm just trying to check if there's anything besides a piranha plant in that pipe. Okay, so now we don't have too much protection against these bullet bills, but I'll do what I can. Okay, gotta be careful. This is not a fun level. I mean, it is, but at the same time it isn't. Ah, I'm, I'm undecided. Get rid of this guy. There we go. Because there can be something inside a pipe that has a piranha plant. Just because there's a piranha plant in it doesn't mean that it's blocked off. Okay, that worked out surprisingly well. Okay, here it is. But we got a bonsai bill in the way. Okay, well, got him. Okay, and then what pipe do I go down? I guess the only non-moving one? That makes sense. Oh, this is so uh, nerve-wracking. Oh yeah, this is where things get really tough. Let me go this way, get the checkpoint. Just in case, I have a feeling things could go pretty badly. It looks like I want to go like this, move over this way, and what do I get? I get a one-up. So if I do this, it'll move right over to me. Isn't that cool? I like that. The problem is that if you move around too much when you're using all the motion controls, things can get quite risky. Okay, so let's move this over this way. See, like I said, it's more of, oh my gosh, I think it almost knocked me out. <laughs> like being too tall for a roller coaster. Very dangerous. Okay, so let's go back this way. I don't think any of these pipes I can do anything with, but I might as well try. Okay, yeah. And here's a star coin. So this one I actually need to take the middle one, and then I need to jump, which I just do not trust. But you gotta trust it. If we move these to the left, they line up pretty well. We can land on the last one, move to the right, and we got it. So you can tell that there's some fun little ideas with this one. Unlike the other one that's like, okay, let's just throw a bunch of bullet bills at him. Oh, can we get, oh, you bet we can get a one up. You bet we can get a one up. Ugh, there it is, nice. Almost didn't work, but it, but it worked at the end. Oh, here we go. Oh, is this a launching one? Whee, oh gosh, Uh, I don't like this. I don't trust it. Okay, got it, got it. That's pretty good. What about this pipe? I don't know where this last star coin is, so I'm really trying to look for it, because I really don't want to have to replay all of this. 
Get rid of this guy. Oh, and he took care of his friend too. Excellent. Maybe it's up there? If I could, boing. Uh, that, maybe I did that wrong? I right, to double check. No, not looking like it. Okay, better safe than sorry. Oh gosh, oh gosh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't like it. Leave me alone. Oh boy, oh, got rid of both of them. Oh gosh, I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh geez. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I don't know where in the world, I don't know why I have to check every single pipe, but I know I have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of bull bills in this world. I'm sure you've noticed. Ooh, what is, oh, look at, now I messed it up. Okay, we got another one, don't worry. Um, It's just litter between a bunch of other ones. Okay, I did it, but not, not the way I wanted to. Okay, oh, I remember this. I remember the, at the, just the worst time about what this is like. There we go, we did it. And I can just maybe get something cool there. Oh boy, don't mess it up. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, get out of here, Mario, you gotta run. If you get taken out, I swear, I'll be so upset. Okay, whatever, don't care. Sort of messed up the jump. The least of my worries, the absolute least. I got the world done, or the level done, which means I'm one step closer to getting the world done. That's got a lot more action to go. Okay, so that is 7-4 completed. What I like about some of the levels in New Super Mario Bros. Wii is that they are tough, but they are quite brief, at least in most of them. So it does make it a little bit more enjoyable to get through. I think it was like that in DS, but some of them were a little bit either too short or too long. Oh, we got all these little mini Goombas again. Ain't that weird. And the mushroom. Probably should have gotten a mushroom before I went into here. And we got all other new enemies, these little cloud guys, which they don't like blow you away or anything, but they will put mist over things where you probably wanna check out. So just make sure if they are putting mist over something, it's probably something worth, you know, just double checking if you haven't. It makes it harder to see where you're going, but it, he eventually stops. It really is like a weird enemy because it's not as dangerous as you might think. And there goes a fire flower. I have this, so I think this is much better, especially when dealing with these guys. Cause look at all this wind, I, or all this like mist I can blow away with this more than I can anything else. We can get a bunch of free coins if I wanted to. I don't remember this part of the level for some reason. This part's unfamiliar to me. Uh, We'll go ahead and do this, see what ends up happening. Probably not much. Yep, okay. Just gotta be careful. He's trying to hide all of the other enemies, but I'm doing a pretty good, no, oh, no. Never mind. I did an awful job. Awful, awful job. Can one of these be a power up? Okay, it's a fire flower or something. Okay, uh, oh, you know what? I need a Koopa shell, don't I? I sure hope so. Either that or a P-switch. Here we go, okay. I was gonna say, because it looked sort of like a platform, and they all, I was right, it was a platform. Okay, I'm dodging a lot of stuff here. Okay, well, that, that actually worked out pretty well. What is up here? It keeps on like pointing what looks like arrows up this way. There has to be something. Ooh, a one up. I guess that's something. All right. Not really what I was expecting. I don't think there's like any kind of secret up there. Get all these little, oh, I see this. Ooh, there it is, star coin number three. Okay, not bad. Oh gosh, leave me alone, Goomba. Whoa, okay, hold on, we can do that a little bit better. And boing, ah, good enough. We got some points out of it. <laughs> Okay, that was actually a nice and easy level. Let's have more of those, please and thank you. So that was 7-5, which means we can go all the way back and do 7-6 on the secret exit little path. That'll be fun. But that opens up our direct path to World 7 Castle. Now the thing is, is that there's more than one way to get into the castle because of this secret exit. We'll explain it a little bit more when we get into it, but for now, let's just worry about 7-6 where I don't remember a thing about this level really. Until I get into it, maybe it's, oh, you know what? Is it one of the uh, flying sections? Yeah. Oh, this won't be easy. Oh, I remember this one specifically. Oh, this one's really tough. We gotta stay on these guys. The little ones will go up, but the big ones will go down. And you can already imagine how that can get pretty difficult pretty quickly. I think a propeller cap can make this level significantly easier, so it's worth keeping in mind. Oh, Yoshi! I forgot Yoshi was in this level, though. That might make things either easier or more difficult. I really don't know at the moment. The only problem is that we can't really flutter jump and blow away the smoke as easily, but hopefully the smoke will just sort of be in some obvious spots. So what do I gotta do with these guys? I mean, I guess, I, yeah, I gotta get up here. Oh, and if we keep landing on them, that's another thing. You might hear that every time we land on one of these little guys or the big guys, the tone, like there's a little ding that plays, and the ding will get a little higher in its pitch every time, and if we keep doing that, 
it'll get higher and higher until it eventually gives you a one-up and then it starts over again. Which I think is a pretty nice little idea at the least. Okay. There's another one. <laughs> I don't quite need it at the moment. I need to survive. That's what I need. Now I'm just trying to find out where is the next, where's the next one? Oh, it's up there. Oh, it's up there. I see it, I see it. So if I go like this, might be a little bit early, but I got it. Okay, so so far so good with this level. What does this have? A one up, don't really need it. But you can get, if you're good enough, you can get a ton of extra lives in this level, which is really nice. Okay, so we got a big dude. I'm gonna try to, you know, stay afloat on. If we jump, of course, that makes him sort of stay in place, at least a little bit easier. Oh boy. But yeah, if you're good enough at platforming, you know, you stand to gain a good chunk of one-ups. Oh gosh, oh gosh, wow, that was really lucky. I just barely got on top of that guy, because I'm pretty sure if you hit these guys from the side, they normally hurt you. I was about to ditch Yoshi there. I mean, I didn't want to, but I don't even think there's a checkpoint in this level. It's awful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Got it, okay, so we need you to get back up. Wait, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I'm so sorry, Yoshi, we were so close to the end together, but what more could I have done? What the heck was with that? <laughs> I guess we're supposed to use the farthest right big guy. Did I just hear a fire, bro? I might have. Yeah, there's like, is there a secret exit here? I think there's like a little bonus exit you can get, maybe if you do have Yoshi or something. Yeah, that's sort of <laughs> not something I'm all that interested in, even though maybe if I were to one, Two, no, no, let's do that from farther away. Hold on, I just wanna test this out now. One, two, three, no, come on, Mario, just do a triple jump, what was that? One, two, three. Ah, oh, you can't quite, but very close, you can almost get up there. All right, well, doesn't matter too much, we survived, and that's what I was really worried about. So awesome, awesome stuff, which means we've gotten every normal level done. This opens a path not only to the Star Hut, but to an interesting way into the castle, as you'll be able to see. <laughs> More than one way, actually, and that matters for a good reason. We're gonna be taking the normal entrance first, but then maybe we'll showcase that extra entrance as well. For now, we can go ahead and get an extra star power, just in case we feel we need it. Actually can be useful in this castle if you use that special entrance. You might actually be able to uh, do something with it. I don't know if you can bring Star Mario into a boss battle. I don't think it would last long enough for you to actually get there. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and go through World 7 Castle. This is another one that's not easy, but if we work hard enough, we should be able to do it, and that'll be great. Okay, so, it has this recurring theme that I was not ready for of these giant spike pillars, and they're all over the place, except this time the level's not as, oh gosh, vertical as they normally are. It's a lot more just horizontal from left to right, but you know, they're still in abundance, Oh, we gotta get up here, don't we? Might be easier if we bounce off of this guy and you can tell things are just moving up and down. I gotta say, the look of this level's really cool. I like all the metallic stuff going on around everything. But, it's also really difficult, especially these ones. Like, those guys move real quick. There's like a specific rhythm you really gotta capture. And I'm going back. There we go. Oh, be careful. <laughs> be real careful. Oh, and we got this jerk. I don't like him. He's actually usually in a tough spot, and I can't pick up the ice block, I don't think. He's just too big. So freezing him, yeah, will definitely be helpful. And I believe there's another star coin somewhere around here, if I remember correctly. So let's let this retract all the way. We gotta be careful. I know there's not one here, but there's one over there, and it's scary. I don't like it. Be careful. And then I wanna be careful about how I do this because I wanna hop down like this, and then right there. That's what I'm looking for. I knew there was something, and we found it. Okay, this whole level, this whole area, this whole little screen. Oh, oh, come on, that's so unfair. I should've waited. Ah. Uh, okay, so I know wherever that question block is, that's a safe spot. And I know there's a star coin around here. Whoa, whoa, careful now. Okay, so there's nothing over this way. Okay, here's the star coin. Go ahead and grab that and we are good. Let's get out of this place. Jeez, insanity. And there's still more action happening, as you can see. There's these little, oh, that's so tough to time when you're on moving platforms. It's not cool. It's gonna smash, then go, go, got it. Okay, these, what? There's one here? Ah, oh, come on, it got me. And I think there's something up this way. There it is, the third and final star coin. So if we could just get through everything, we'll be fine. Okay, I need to duck and cover right here at the sign. 
Some of this I do remember, some of it not so much. Oh no! Duck and cover, duck and cover. Oh boy, I don't like it. Okay. Oh boy, and we're not done. I remember this guy responsible for many death for me. There we go, oh, many of problematic situations. He just, he's there right at the end and you think you got through everything and then boom, nope, one more giant hammer bro dude. I don't know what they're called, maybe sledge bros, sledgehammers? Probably. Anyways, we have to deal with one of my least favorite boss fights in the game as just base Mario. And you'll see why in a moment because Kamek makes this so much more difficult than it has to be. Oh my gosh, it's scary, I don't like it, but uh. Well, it's happening. We got elevators, so he's gonna use his happy little Yoshi jump and he's gonna start shooting stuff at us like that. And I'm already small Mario. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make this work as well as I can. Luckily, if we we always wanna try to stay, I think, on the highest one. And what he's gonna do, or maybe the lowest one. Ah, uh, that was probably a mistake. Okay, no you don't. Got it, keep moving. There we go. So he does a little flutter jump to try to trick you out on which one he's gonna land on. It's sort of like, uh. Oh boy, got him! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did that so easily. Like Roy Koopa, who would sort of like, oh, I'm gonna land here, no, I'm gonna land here. And then it's just, oh, it's so difficult because there's so many places you can fall. You could actually win this boss battle and then fall off. So it's just like, uh, we did it though. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ludwig Koopa is out of here. Don't have to deal with him right now. Okay, run Mario, run. And we got you again, huh? What more are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna miss your flight? No, you're not. Okay, no airship level for this world. See ya. I guess see you in the next world, world eight. We should be able to save you there, I hope. Okay, so that I think is world seven fully completed. It was a pain in the booty in many different aspects, but I'm not done. I wanted to showcase one more thing with it, so we'll get back to it in just a moment. But for right now, you get all the star coins in world seven, and that is awesome. So as you can see. We are in world eight. It is very hot, full of lava, and oh, instead of a coupling, we have to take on Kamek himself, the guy who's been really making everything an issue anyways, and we will save. So let's go ahead and move back to world seven. So as you can see here, this is the uh, level select screen. I haven't showcased this just yet. Um, and if we move back to world seven, I love these. They're like little dioramas of each world. I wish every Mario game had this little world select. It just looks so cool. Reminds me of a Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which is coming out later this year. I'm gonna be playing that on the Switch. Anyways, off topic, we are gonna move all the way over this way and you can see that there was a little staircase you can unlock. So if you are having a really hard time with this castle, you can unlock this secret entrance, the only secret specifically entrance in the game. Um, it gives you a coin and a coin, and that's it, I suppose. Maybe it should give you a power up as well. Maybe there's one hidden around there. But then boom, you land right here in front of the, the sledge bro where he'll beat you up and you won't be able to fight the boss. I'm not gonna do everything from here on out, but if you wanted to and you had a hard time with this level, that's an easy way to get into there a bit better. We are moving on with world eight, the final world before we can hopefully save the princess. Let's first off go ahead and get Mario back up to normal form so we can head to eight one. I really like world eight in this game. I feel like it's one of the most solid forms of the final battle world in a side scrolling Mario game. It has a lot of fun concepts and you see one of them right here. Of course, we are familiar with the uh, rocks falling from the sky, but as you can see on the left, there's a black mist that is sort of heading towards us and I don't know if it's a one hit KO, I don't know how that guy hit me, that was a little weird. But uh, it, it, it'll hurt you if it catches up. So you do sort of have some kind of sense of urgency that isn't like an auto scroller, which I think is a much better way of doing it for the most part. And I wish they honestly kept that around a little bit more often. But uh, yeah, this should be a tough world in one way or another, but I'm hoping it won't be too bad. I really do enjoy a lot of the levels in this world, so I think that overall we'll have a good time. I do think it's a lot less of a pain. Oh my gosh, why why, why was I not sliding? I don't know. Lots of weird bits of damage being taken so far, but I feel like World 8 in New Super Mario Bros. DS can be a bit of a pain with how difficult it can be, but I feel like this one's a lot more enjoyable, a lot more handleable in a really fine way. I'm looking for another power up here if I can get it because if I'm taking damage, I wanna make sure that we survive with what we got for as long as possible. The mist is catching up. I don't like it anymore. It's a cool idea, but it's also scary. Okay, so we got that. We're still looking for two more star coins. Where, where, they, where may they be? Uh, I'm thinking probably here. Yep, right there. No, my star coin! Ah, 
Dang it, I did that all kinds of badly. I forgot about that one. That one is a bit tricky. Let's go ahead and get another mushroom again. This is where we're gonna be using the most of our power up, so might as well, right? I mean, of course, there are still opportunities after this to use power-ups. This won't be our last episode of the series. I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about, but for those of you who don't, stay tuned. Uh, we'll find out by the end of today's episode. Okay. Okay, so there's our fire flower. Honestly, I think I'd prefer an ice flower. Might be a bit more helpful. Let's just get up there and get that. It's hard to do that when the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? It's fall or lowering the platform under you. There we go, we got that before you guys can break the blocks and I land into that. Okay, this is a problem. Just wait here for a second. <laughs> I think the final, uh, oh boy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Remember, if I hit the lava, no matter how powered up I am, it's a one hit takedown. So I'm trying to be a little bit more diligent than that. Okay, see, I don't know, okay, this is the way I need to go. So that other pipe, I think, was just a normal exit. Looks like the the uh, meteors are trying to get to this dark coin before I do, but I'm not letting that happen. Let's get a couple of extra coins. Couple of extra coins for no reason. I already had 99 lives. Thought I had 98, but I guess I got them back. Okay, so yeah, that just ends up ending at the same spot, and boom, we get ourselves to the top of that flagpole. A pretty good impression of World 8, some fun ideas in there. It's really urgent, which is something you sort of get very commonly with the World 8 levels, is it's all very urgent. You really gotta get through it quickly if you wanna survive. And I feel like they did pretty good of a job to show that. But now, we have ourselves World 8 2. Three more star coins to get. Hopefully everything turns out well. There's actually, I think, a secret exit on this level, so I'll have to check out for that, or look out for it. And, uh, sort of see what else we run into. I'm not really sure. Okay, dodge the rocks, get under like that. Gotta be careful. Okay, there's no power-ups in any of those. I think I remember that, oh, you know what? I do remember this level. I like this one a lot, it's really fun. There's all these spinning wheels, and that's sort of where a lot of the uh, challenges come in from, which is pretty cool. Because we sort of had, you know, levels designed this way at the very beginning of the game, because there was a lot of little spinning wheels in World 1. But yeah, it can get pretty tricky. So we'll have to pay attention to what everything is doing, every, where everything is moving. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, I got them, <laughs> I got all four of them. Well, I guess four, including the two big Goombas, that's six in total, quite a lot of stuff. Okay, getting up here, and we got our first star coin. This one's really easy, which is nice. Is there anything down here? No, that's where rocks come in. And we get ourselves a checkpoint, good stuff. And I know that this is where the secrets get a little crazy with this level. There are a couple of like hidden passageways and such, I believe. Okay. Got it, and got it. Okay, so we can land on a bunch of Goombas here, maybe. That'd be cool. Oh, I couldn't quite get a one-up out of it, though. No, dang it, I can't believe I got hit there. What about, oh, oh geez, I do remember this. I think this is where we can find, well, first off, a power-up, but then also, I don't know if it's a secret exit. Oh, that was silly. Or if it's just a star coin, but little hidden areas like that is just something that ends up becoming really common in this level. Oh, I am playing really bad so far today, though. I apologize. Maybe one of these will give me an extra. It won't. So I think I gotta move this way. Okay, so I think that's where the secret exit is. We'll have to check, you know, when we come back. But for now, we got star coin number three. So I was correct. Uh-oh. Okay, that thing doesn't fit this way. Thank goodness. I thought I was gonna be squished. So there's all three star coins. We gotta go through again, though, to get that final secret exit. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Got it. Got it. Oh boy. Okay, whatever. Once again, I still have all of my lives, so I don't really mind too much. Missing out on the flagpole. But yeah, I feel I feel like this might actually be a quicker episode than normal. Most of these episodes have been like 50 minutes an hour trying to get through the entire world. Not only does this world not have many levels, but the levels themselves really aren't that bad. Okay, so let's go ahead, get another mushroom. I've been eating a lot of these recently, sort of starting to concern me, and go back into World 82, where we can find ourselves a secret exit. Okay, so we're back over this way. Shouldn't be too bad just to get under here, just like that, and go on in the pipe. So this should be our secret exit, and that'll be great. We just gotta be careful, because there's a lot of stuff going on. I think there's gonna be some Goombas that make their way through this little wheel section, I can't remember, but if I could freeze them, that's probably gonna be my best bet. Right now, oh, coins, actually. Ooh, look at all that, that's pretty cool, but I can't get so distracted. I'm fine with what I got. I just need to get to the end without dying. 
Because then I'll actually need them. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Let me just pick you up if I can, or not. Because that would help me out a lot. <laughs> there we go. See, that's what I was looking for before. Because that's just funny. Okay, got it. Up here, go down here, get up the pipe, and we are heading towards a secret exit. Right? I think so. Okay, so we got another one of these though. This one's a little bit more treacherous. If you mess it up, you can actually just fall right into the lava, which would be totally stinky. So I'm glad that we don't have to deal with that. And there's a secret exit. It leads to a very cool level that I'm excited to check out when we have the time to, but for right now, I don't think it's 8-3, so we're not gonna worry about it. But it definitely just goes right under everything, so if you are going for a speed run, it can be a pretty nice thing to go through. And as you can see, I guess we're going right to it. That's 8-7. So there are a good chunk of World 8 levels, but honestly, I just don't think they're that bad. Anyways, World 8-3, let's see how bad this one is because I just said that. Maybe good, maybe bad, I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember this one. The, uh, there is a pretty similar level, I think, in New Super Mario Bros. DS with all the lava waves, but maybe I'm wrong? Can't quite remember. Well, we got these moving platforms, they sort of jingle around, and they also lower when we stand on them, so we gotta be careful. We gotta do that to get the star coin. Nice. I mean, I'm sure if we could find a Koopa around somewhere, that might also help, like this dude. Could have made a difference. But if I don't have to worry about that, I definitely won't. There's Koopas everywhere, though. All over the place. You think they'd be a little bit more worried for their own health, but not at the moment. Oh, I almost hit that lava. Even this lava is still a one hit takedown. There's no give with that. So you gotta be quick about getting through all of this. And I think, yep, there's a star coin this way. We'll sort of follow the waves for that instead of going against it. It's a little bit safer, I think. Easier to time. Is there anything down that way? No. I was maybe thinking there could be like an invisible wall. Not looking like it, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Whoa, 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 be careful. And I'm sure this is a power-up of some sort, but I don't know if I wanna risk it. We're just gonna keep moving. I'm just trying to, oh, this guy. Look for that last star coin, it's probably down under this. With all the coins it's given me, it definitely is. Where is it, where's that star coin at? Where is that star coin, or maybe it's not. Okay, that's a surprise. A very dangerous surprise, okay. What, or like one of these vines. Oh, propeller cap, that'd be useful. Thank you. Now if we get into too much of a situation, we should be able to propel out of there. Okay, don't you shoot a fireball at me. Yeah, it hits against the wall, how do you like that? Hiya! Nice. Okay, so there is all of that done. We just gotta be careful because we can still fall in the lava at any point, but I've made it. Yes, we have. Okay, see, that level wasn't bad. And there were some tricky spots to it, but overall we, we survived just fine. And I guess yeah, the idea is that I'm not supposed to have a propeller cap, but I did. I didn't even know that propeller cap was hidden there. It's a nice little touch. So there's another one done. And that means we can keep moving. Yeah. Looks like we're moving over to the tower where we have Kamek to deal with. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, oh, I forgot about these. This actually became a major surprise. I honestly was not expecting to run into that. But as you can see, we have a lot, about a, little, a lot of little fireballs that we just sort of have to run by. Okay, that was awfully timed by me. I don't know what's wrong with me, but we got them, all eight of them, and we get a happy toad for it, which is great because we've been using a whole bunch of mushrooms, getting a couple extra of these really doesn't hurt. And we can move on over to the tower, like I said. And we're gonna fight Kamek. We've defeated every single Koopaling and so the only thing left is to get rid of Kamek. Because there's only seven Koopalings, I guess, yeah. Okay, so this level's a little treacherous already. I'm gonna be very careful. Oh gosh, I don't remember too much about this castle uh, tower thing, you know. Okay, well there's one. Actually, I do remember it being quite tough. <laughs> that I do remember. It was a bit of a challenge. With all these spinning fire bars. Oh no, not what I wanted. Okay, really not what I wanted. Oh, really, really not what I wanted. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, get back up like this. Now it's not as risky, because I just go up this way to get to the next area. That's probably a power up, I have to imagine. Yep, got it. Oh, you know what? I'm almost positive there's a little secret right here. Yep, I was positive. <laughs> I was almost positive, I should've just been full on positive. It's just a power up though. Oh well, and I got the the least useful one. I mean, I guess the least useful one would be the, uh, the one up because I already have 99 lives. 
Okay, so we have that coming out there, the platform. This is such a weird little area to make a jump. Oh gosh, especially when I missed the jump. Now it's just weird and embarrassing. So I got it. oh, that is so weird. I guess I should have came in from the left. I would probably would have made it easier. But going in from the right just makes it really confusing. But I don't think I could have gone back down. I might have been able to. I don't know. Okay, so we gotta be careful about where we stand. Nothing up there, so we're just going up the normal way. Yeah, okay, I think there's gonna be a lot of moving blocks that could end up squishing us if we're not quick enough and careful enough with where we jump, so we gotta be careful about that. Okay, good job, Mario. We've made our way this far. Hmm. So yeah, go under, oh boy, oh boy, oh gosh. That really messed me up. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, that sort of worked. Oh, that was weird. Uh, okay, whoa, be careful. These blocks will squish us if we're in the wrong spot, so I just need to pay attention. I mean, I could follow the coins. The coins are usually the safe spot. Oh boy, oh, that was close. And then I'm gonna run to the left, just like this. Very, very good. Oh, you know what? This is something for sure. Right here. Okay, so what is this gonna be? Just another power-up area? It's definitely not gonna be the star coin. The star coin's right there. I was wrong. Both star coins are relatively close to each other. This is a power-up, it's a power-up. So I'm waiting for that platform to get back to me. Got it, keep moving. Wow, we got out of there unscathed. Very good. Glad we did that. And then if I could grab, there you go. That just like that, grab the checkpoint. Then now if we die, we don't have to worry about re-getting the star coins. That's a dream come true because I'm gonna get beat up a lot. Uh, I don't know if there's any power-ups around here now from the consequence of me rushing too much. Oh boy, ooh, nice jump though. What is this? Not a power-up, maybe this way. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for whatever this block is to extend. If it will, here it goes. And we got it, Fire Flower. So, let us face Kamek. He's been the one who's been causing a real issue. He makes the boss fight so much more difficult, so we're able to go right to the source and take him down. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, well, what is he gonna do? Is he just gonna disappear all of these blocks? Maybe it's just a trap and he'll just make us fall to our doom. You'd think, that'd be a very sensical thing to do. Kamek seems pretty sensical. So yeah, he sort of spawns stuff in, he turns every block into something, and you gotta be very careful about that. And then he just sort of teleports around, and then when he starts spinning up his wand, that means he's gonna you know, actually throw something, and he'll actually stay around for more than a second. So that's what you wanna pay attention to, is when he starts doing that, and then boom, hit him. Your big goal is to hit him before he throws out a magical attack, because he will turn these blocks into enemies or something random, and that can be a problem. But as you can see, we did it! That was actually really, really easy. Easier than Kamek is in like Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> okay, so there is that done, which means you're gonna fly away all the way to the airship. So I guess we got one last airship to deal with in this world, or in this game maybe. And now we have world, I think this is 8-4? 8-4, 8-5, 8-6, and then 8-7, and then the airships. That's what we got going on. And then there's a toad right there. Okay, well, I'm not worrying about it. I'm worrying about this next level coming up, which may be one of the more difficult levels in this world. It is underwater, which never makes it fun. It really, really isn't. It's an underwater level. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to this. You know what, you can just stay there. I don't think there's any star coins on this descent. I really hope not, because that's sort of baloney if there is. There's not, very good. So we gotta go down like this. And see what we can figure out. Oh, I remember this being a big pain in my butt too. Actually, getting rid of these guys might not be too helpful. I can't really hit them because they give me light, but they can certainly hit me. Our best bet is to go up here and just tear these guys up. And for doing that, we get our first star coin as well, so it's worth our while. And I also get this if I wanna keep it. I mean, there's more of them, as you can see. So for right now, we're just gonna stay up here because I don't remember where most of the star coins are, but as long as I can eliminate my enemies, things will go a lot better. There we go, excellent. So I don't think there's any other star coins in this first screen. Sorry, I was totally forgetting what I was trying to say. Okay, so let's just move back this way. Oh, and you're back already? 
I mean, now I don't need you guys. I can just throw out these fireballs. I can see pretty easily myself. Well, there's that part done. We actually made that quite easy. Usually that's very difficult. What about these guys? Can we get rid of them? We can, I actually didn't know that. Well, that's both good and bad, because once again, these guys do give us light. They give us clarity on what's going on. But sometimes, we can do that our gosh darn selves. So, oh, I remember this being awful as well. So, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys, because honestly, they could be in our way this time. Do that, hit these, get rid of the bloopers as much as we can. Get away from me, you fiends! You fiends! Be gone! <laughs> Jeez, I can't get them, because I can't see them. You can't hit what you can't see. Can I get this? Can I get this before I get hit? It's, oh, star power, how convenient. <laughs> Slightly after I already got what I needed. Okay, there we go, there's another star power. I'll take it, I'll take it. Come on, keep moving. Yeah, lots of one-ups that we don't actually need. But uh, once again, I'll take them. Okay, so this should be something. It's a one-up. Okay, get you. Actually, the star power would've been really helpful for this next part, if I remember correctly, because this part is not easy. Oh boy. Do we got a fire flower, fire flower? Yes, fire flower. Okay, this might actually be doable if I can actually get to the fire flower. Oh my. Come on, come on, yes, got it. Move back this way, get you, turn back around, get you, just like that, and just like this. And then that, no, I got hit. Oh, Cause there's all these like pipes that blow you around in a way, and it's just, it's a mess, but we got it. Now I just gotta get out of here. Okay, just like this, just like this. Oh boy. So we made it, first try and everything. But it was a mess. I think there's something around here? No? Okay, whatever. That should get it? Ah, uh, not quite. If maybe we did a triple jump, that probably would have turned out a little better. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care. Cause that's another level just we got done without too many issues and that's really, really good. So eight, five. I don't think this one's as bad. If I remember this one correctly, this is the one where we go straight up. I'm pretty sure we're about to find out. No, oh, it's this one. This one's actually pretty tough then. Can I get over that? I can, because it has this platform. But that was just me being bad. It has this platform that moves back and forth. Let me go ahead and get a mushroom then. And then there's all these bob bombs falling. It gets real messy real quick. So I can imagine this being an issue for a little while. Great, great. This might be the first level we get like properly stuck on. I mean, that wasn't the first time we've died, right? I don't think so. Can you get away from my fire flower, sir? Thank you. Into the lava you go. I don't need a, a bob bomb just yet. Okay, get rid of him. Ooh, okay, that sort of works. I just sort of have to wait around. I mean, I gotta get back on that platform if I <laughs> wanna survive this. I don't know what happens if it ends up going off screen. I don't know if it can possibly. I think it just starts getting pushed by the screen. So for right now, my best bet is just to avoid as many of these guys from above as possible, because if they aren't on my platform, they're not really a worry to me. Uh, well, speaking of which, get, ow, you stinker. You made me bounce into the other dude. I don't like that. Go ahead and get some of this. Will this give me anything cool? No, just coins. So I just gotta be careful, and got it. Excellent, so there's our checkpoint. We were at least able to make our way up to this point without too much of an issue. And what do we got now, another platform? I guess so. Okay, so I just gotta jump over this at the right time. Uh, keep moving, Mario, you can do it, buddy. I know it's probably very hot. Especially in like full on overalls. I gotta throw this down there. Luckily anything you throw, if you if it hits a star coin, you get it. That's always nice. So there's star coin number two. Be careful. Now if I remember, star coin number three is in a tough spot. If I remember very correctly, I think we actually need a propeller cap to get it. So if the game doesn't give us one, it might be like in a rough spot. So I definitely wanna check around. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. Get rid of these guys. Hiya, no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta get rid of a good couple, but they just keep coming. Jeez, they don't stop. Maybe that one will have a propeller cap. Uh, oh boy. Don't know why I did it that way. Okay, that's another fire flower if I needed it. Okay, I need it, I need it, I need it. Okay, no, no! I got mixed up there. 
That stinks, we were so close to getting it. So I guess that wasn't the star coin I was remembering. I'm glad, because that's much easier. Okay, so I'm trying to get up here before these guys mess with me just like that. Okay, problems, problems. C catch me, thank you. Okay, uh, got it. Get rid of you, okay, any way I can. Oh my gosh, so I got rid of you, but you also took me out. That is so stinky. Come on, I don't like it, I don't like it. There's only a couple more left though, if we could just survive them. 99 seconds remaining, I don't really have, oh, whoa, what was that about? I don't know, just something exploded. I have no clue. How can I run out of time in the situation where it's auto-scrolling? That's not fair, get out of here. Oh my gosh. So there we go, completed the level with a bit of a headache, but we made it work. Excellent, so that's another treacherous one that I'm glad we got done without too much of an issue. Now we have eight six, and now this is the level I'm pretty sure I was thinking of. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a mushroom. We have four left of those, so that should be pretty fine. And then after this, we'll go all the way back down and do eight seven. So it's like, there are a lot of levels in this world, but for whatever reason, they're really, really easy. So we definitely need this propeller cap for a lot of reasons, but more specifically to uh, survive. Okay, that was weird. Ooh, uh, get up here. And what, what, what are some of this stuff? Nothing. So the problem with this is that it's just sort of a path upwards and there's this lava raising. There was sort of a kind of similar level in New Super Mario Bros. DS that had you, uh, oh boy, I can't believe I just did that at the worst possible moment because I gotta get that star coin, but had you actually able to move left and right, sort of almost like, well, oh no, I can't believe I just did that. Oh my gosh. Really, did I, that is such an easy mistake to make. You know what, I'm thinking that I might just go ahead and try again so I can get that star coin real quick. Okay, so I got that star coin a lot better this time. Let's hope everything works out here. I just gotta pay attention to what's happening. Land on each platform, go Mario, go. Okay, got it, there we go. So what I was talking about is there was a level in World 8 in New Super Mario Bros. DS where if you went in from the left side, you'd pop out the right. That's like Pac-Man and I think a game called Icarus on the NES, and that's all I was trying to say. Okay, so we got all these like moving, I guess like almost like a, uh, actually I don't know. I guess sort of like one of those TikTok things, like one of the clock towers, not, the, not a clock tower exactly, but a grandfather clock, that's what it's called. That's what those little platforms move like. Oh boy, we got it, we got it, come on, there we go. I don't know why I worry about it so much, but I do. And then we can throw a Koopa shell this way and get a couple extra things. So if I didn't have a propeller cap, I'd be expected to do a whole bunch of stuff with chains, and I'm still expected to do it because I'm not good at platforming. There we go. Where's the star coin at? Yep, just right up there. I'm so glad we didn't just get squished. Okay, gotta be careful, just like that. And once again, this level is like 10 times easier with a propeller cap, so keeping it is very important. And there's that level done, age six. That one really wasn't as bad as I remember it being. That one star coin, the second star coin. I don't know, I remember that being so difficult for me when I was younger. Yeah, Mario time. So there is eight six completed. So we're gonna go all the way down and do eight seven. One of my favorite levels in the game, it's a really cool one. So we'll check that out, see what it's like, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Can I teleport back to this world? No, I guess I can't. So I can start from eight one, so I don't have to go this way and risk running into one of these things. Ah, uh, darn it. Oh well, we'll go for it. Maybe we'll get a couple extra mushrooms out of it. I might miss out on my propeller cap, Mario. But I don't think it's useful for this level coming up. Oh, this one's much more difficult. It's just not running to the left anymore. Got it. Oh gosh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go like this, go like that, and then wait for the perfect time, and we got him. Yeah, okay. So there's three more mushrooms. We will go to eight, seven. And then everything will be perfect. It's just, it's such a cool level and it starts a trend of a certain type of levels you'll see from other new Super Mario Bros. games that I think is really cool. And then I think other Mario games can benefit a little bit. I mean, we've seen it sort of in some ways in other Mario games, but never so much like it is here in 8.7. As far as I can remember. But it is a very cool roller coaster level. It's awesome. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the uh, Fire Flower. I feel like that'll be easier. We might run into a couple enemies while we're riding this thing. It's just scary because there's this like, there's not much control and soon enough he's gonna be dipping into lava and we gotta jump over fire pillars and just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So we just gotta be careful. We're about to go to another one. Oh gosh, keep all your 
hands, our arms and legs in the vehicle at all times. Watch out! Oh, got it. Okay, be careful, be careful. And the star coins really sneak up on you in this level. I wouldn't be surprised if we had to do this more than once, but that's our first roller coaster done. There's more than one though. Nothing up that way. Still haven't even gotten our first star coin, so I'm sure we'll run into something soon. Okay, we're getting up like this. Come on now. Ooh, jump. Yep, this is where it starts dipping into the lava. I don't like it. We got a one up that I didn't need, but I'll take it. And if you start losing your momentum, you know, it'll go off without you. It, it always keeps the same pace, no matter if you're with it or not. Okay, so I just barely got that one. It's a tough jump. Whoa, okay. I did it. But we're still missing two star coins. But that was the first one, so I didn't miss out on anything. Not yet. And that's only the halfway point. We still have more outdoor roller coaster action. I don't need that. Let's not risk everything just for getting that. Okay, big jump. Oh, wow, crazy stuff. I don't know if this thing ever passed a safety inspection. Oh gosh. Okay, come on. Okay, I'll get a red coin, sure why not? I don't want the one up, but I'll take it. And now I think the last star coin's coming up. It's a bit of a risky one if I remember correctly. I can't remember. <laughs> I guess it's not here. I don't know where it is. What is this way? Oh, hey, another fire flower, just in case you need it. Cool, forgot about that. I mean, it's a pretty obvious one, so I'm sure I've found that in the past, but I like it. So where is this last star coin at? Because we will have to, oh, right here. No, wait, no! Ah, I jumped too soon like a dingus. I should have just taken the damage from the, the lava pillar. Would have been fine. Okay, come on, come on. Got it. Oh, and I didn't get hit either. Awesome, whoa, zigzags. This is really cool, but also really scary. Whoa, boy. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Jump over this one. Look at him go, it's really cool. But now we gotta go, <laughs> okay, we made it. We made it to the end of the roller coaster of doom. Jeez. I love it, but very crazy. So that's not the last time we'll see a roller coaster level in the new Super Mario Bros. series. We, those do pop up a couple more times in I think New Super Mario Bros. U, maybe in New Super Mario Bros. 2. But imagine like a cool roller coaster level like that in something like Mario Odyssey. I thought that'd be really fun, but maybe a little bit more difficult in three dimensions. Anyways, we can't worry about that. We are heading into the airship. And it seems like this is the end of the road. Is Bowser in here? I don't know. At the least, we know for a fact that Bowser Jr. and Kamek are in this airship. Because they always are, aren't they? <laughs> So we'll deal with them and see what ends up happening from it. Was that lightning I just heard? Oh boy. Now I do remember this being probably the most difficult airship level, if that means it's a difficult level or not. I don't know, we'll find out. Ooh, propeller cap. I will gladly grab that. Okay, so here's our first one. We're expected to jump off one of these cannons, but why would I do that when I have a propeller cap? I just wasted. Okay. Well, oh no, that was a super waste. What is wrong with me? Just jump over the obvious giant Cannonball. Okay, there's our mushroom. I'm just gonna let it plop on down like that. Thank you. Hiya. And then, should I bother breaking this one? I'm having a hard time doing it for some reason. I'm pressing down. Just sometimes it doesn't register it. It's weird. Bounce off of that. There we go. That's a little bit better. Still gotta be careful. We've gotten our first star coin, and I got back up with my power ups, but bad things can still happen. There we go, I got rid of one with the other. And throw this guy that way. Okay, so these cannonballs are going a little crazy. Oh, there's our propeller cap. It's not in a good position. Maybe I could just try to catch it when it starts flying up, because it's gonna do that in a moment. Right about here. Yeah, we did it! Okay, gotta be careful about this. But at the same time, no I don't. <laughs> so what's, oh gosh, don't hit that. Don't hit that either. This is a little wonky. Oh, come on, what is wrong with me? I did the silliest things. Like the silliest. I just gotta wait for this, just like that, and boom, go down the pipe. Easy as that. Why I made that so complicated, the world may never know. Okay, do that. We got all these platforms. We only have so much time to get past them all. And then same thing for all of this. Ooh, this looks scary. I don't like it. So we're like on the underbelly of the ship, I suppose, which is pretty cool, but also very scary. Okay, buddy. I need to get rid of you. Actually, should I have done that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, this block moves that way. Well, that's not too helpful. What does this do? Oh geez. Come on, try to get back up there. I guess I can just do this. 
It just creates a bunch of coins. No star coins out. Well, then I don't think I care too much right now. Gotta be honest. And I guess I could also, yep, get up like that. And then this is where I ex they expect me to do a bunch of stuff with this little block. I don't know what my chances of actually doing it are. Okay, oh, hey, look at that, I did it, <laughs> cool. And that's another propeller cap for us. I do think there is a star coin coming up that requires a propeller cap. Okay, I'm supposed to get past this before that blocks away, and I was able to do it, good. Yeah, there is a star coin over that way. This just gives me coins. Not too crazy about that. Okay, this is gonna be not so easy. Somehow I did that, holy cow, that was just lucky. That was just really lucky. And then I got some stuff going on this way. They sort of try to chase you. You know, they were in the left corner over there until I showed up. They're definitely trying to just follow me, which is very rude, mind you. Should not just follow people around for no good reason. This is the star coin I'm thinking of, yep. So this one's a bit tough. What I gotta do is hop down, and then propeller cap, we got it. So we already have like a full set of power-ups here. We shouldn't have to worry about too much. We can just go right down the pipe, but I'm sure we can break those little boxes for more. So what does Bowser Jr. have for us? The final battle, maybe? Oh. Oh, he's getting an upgrade. Is this his dad's? <laughs> well, it looks like he has some room to grow in it. But, oh boy. So if I remember this correctly, what we have to do is he sort of shoots out all these little mind bombs and we need to butt slam the floor, knock them back up at him and hurt him that way. I don't think there's any way you could possibly land on his head. So it's a little bit scary in that way. We don't do it in the conventional way we're used to. Okay, so he's still doing all of this. And the only problem now is I can't really do the, uh, the little jump. I'm used to doing all the, the little flip jump because, oh geez. So I'm sort of just, you know what? Right now, right now, right now, boom, got him, just barely. And I think if you time it correctly, you can actually just hit him the moment he, uh... oh geez, that's not what I wanted. Okay, maybe that'll make things easier though. But uh, you can maybe hit him the moment the mine comes out and then just be able to do this. Yup, just like that, look at that. <laughs> so if you time that just right every time, I think you can immediately hit him the moment he spits out the mine. Very good, and that means did we say Princess Peach? Ow. Hey, we did it! How are you? Uh, oh boy, Kamek, I thought we defeated you already. That was really quick. Well, now what? He's got her. That's not good. Where is he gonna fly off to? Oh boy, not again. This happened last game. It's happening this game too, giant castle surprise. How did we not see this in the horizon? It's huge. Bigger than Princess Peach's castle by like a, a mile. Jeez. Well, yes, I will definitely save. As we head into World 8 Castle, Bowser's Castle to be specific, let's go in and hope everything turns out okay. Luckily, I don't think this castle is nearly as bad as some of the other castles. Not bad as in like battle design, but bad as in difficult. Um, especially New Super Mario Bros. DS, that one was like a labyrinth, it was like this crazy maze. This one's a whole lot more like a linear level. Uh, and it's not too difficult. So I think that even then, I know that New Super Mario Bros. 2 had a really difficult final castle. And I think New Super Mario Bros. U, actually I don't think that one was too bad, I can't remember. Honestly, New Super Mario Bros. U and 2 are a lot farther out of my memory than the first two games are, uh, DS and Wii. So when we do get to playing them, it's gonna be a lot more of an adventure for me. You know, I've been sort of talking left and right about how well I know these games and just talking about different things I know about them. It's not gonna be the same for New, New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Mario Bros. 2, because I only played those recently and I've only played through them both once. Unlike these games, which I've played, you know, New Super Mario Bros. Wii more times than I can count. The star coins in this one really isn't too difficult either. We just gotta stand on little platforms like this, wait for it to lower. The moment you know Mario steps his feet on these platforms, they start shaking and then they'll fall down very slowly. They defy physics. Okay. <laughs> so I really don't even know if we're gonna die in this level. We might be able to make our way through super quick. That'd be great. Okay, and we got it. So now, let's show up here. Oh yeah, I remember this one. So this one is just, going downwards, but we gotta have to sort of time everything correctly if we wanna make sure we don't land in the lava. But I know that there is a star coin to the right, so we're just gonna try to stall out until we can find that. It should be just right over there. See where the uh, fireball is? Right there. Okay, so to get it, uh, probably not do that. 
instead, do something like that. Get up like this, okay, okay. <laughs> Losing my bearings a little bit there, but I think I've gotten them back. We still need one more star coin, but if I remember correctly, that's a little later on. For now, we're just gonna go down this pipe. Because, oh my. Look at this, we got ourselves a gigantic door that can only mean one thing, Bowser is behind it. And we get a fire flower, hidden right there. Nice one to get. Okay, let's give this a shot. It might turn out well, it might not. But just like in the classic Mario Bros. 1, as you get closer to the boss fight, fireballs start heading your way. So you gotta be careful dodging those. Be more careful than I'm being right now. And, oh, we found him. Hey there, buddy. Ready to be defeated again? You don't have Bowser Jr. helping you like last game. And I see Princess Peach up there crying. Okay, so we gotta be very careful about this. I could do, there's, it's interesting, because there's two ways you can defeat him. You can throw a lot of fireballs at him and defeat him that way, or you could go ahead and press the button over there and get a quick finish. We just sort of have to see which one works out well for us. If we get hit, then we know which one we're going for. But in the meantime, keep doing this for now, because I think this will be a cooler way to do it. Because not many people complete the boss fight this way, because you'd have to keep your power up, which is a little bit tough, but it looks like we did it. So, press that big red button and boom, princess, you are saved. That was actually not so bad, we did it. <laughs> he takes off his cap that's not there. You okay, princess? It's been a long journey. What? The ultimate disguise. That's better than Luigi. <laughs> but Luigi's dressed up as Princess Peach before too. That one had me totally fooled. Uh oh, what are you doing now? I don't like this one bit. Huh? Oh no, he even knocked out Kamek. That's what you get Kamek for being a jerk, but now we're gonna deal with a giant Bowser. That is not good. He is looking really intense as well, so let's keep moving, keep moving. And what is this? This is a fire flower. So you might notice that he's gigantic. Another thing is that he spits fireballs at us that not only can break us, but break the terrain around us. So we need to be careful about where these land because he always shoots them directly at us. So what we want to do is sort of manipulate that so that he starts making openings. Because if not, he's going to actually destroy the area around us and make us fall to our doom. So there's the third and final star coin pretty easily tucked away over there. So that's also another thing we gotta be wary of is that he could start destroying parts of the environment we're trying to stand on, making everything a whole lot more difficult than you'd expect. So I need him to like hit this over here. There he goes, perfect, thank you, Bowser. Okay, so that's sort of like, I think part, the first little part of this boss fight. Then we move over and hit this and get ourselves a very important component. It's the propeller cap, because now we're sort of running. We're running for our very lives because he's chasing us. He's a giant Koopa and he makes giant waves. Oh gosh, oh gosh, if I touch the lava once, remember that's an instant takedown, so I gotta be careful. And if I don't have the propeller cap, that could also make this very difficult. But we're already getting close to the end, I think. We just gotta duck and, cover, duck and co cover under this. Okay. Oh boy. And then go down here. We just gotta sort of time things correctly and be wary of the fireballs. Oh boy. Oh, and there's another little dip this way. These are always tough. Oh, and there she is! Come on, press the big button! Here he comes! Oh, <laughs> he's so far behind, he has to catch up. Uh, uh-oh. Are you falling? Huh? Oh boy! See ya, dude! <laughs> the whole town is falling on him. The whole town, the whole castle is falling on him. Okay, definitely I can see her face. That's the real Princess Peach. It isn't like a Goomba in disguise. <laughs> okay, we did it! We saved Princess Peach, all while wearing a silly looking propeller cap. Yeah, awesome stuff. Are you all right up there, Princess? I know it's very hot down here with all the lava. She seems just fine. <laughs> just gently floats down. Aw. Yay, <laughs> kiss on the nose. So there we go, we saved Princess Peach for real this time. And everything turned out as okay as it possibly can. I hope. Looks like it, they're just leisurely walking out of the castle. Another, another time the prince has been saved. Did I just hear Luigi? I think I did. I guess they stole some of Bowser's balloons? Guess that makes sense. Hi Luigi, how you doing? 
Aw, what a gentleman opening it up for us. All right then, well Mario and Princess are gonna head on in. Will Luigi join them? I would sure hope so, Go goodbye guys. Oh no, <laughs> Luigi's been ditched again. Poor Luigi. Oh, the toad's got your back. <laughs> okay. Oh Mario, did I ever tell you about the se that secret world? Secret world? <laughs> no, you didn't. What are you talking about, lady? Oh boy. So our journey's not done yet. It looks like we have ourselves a secret world to tackle. But for every star coin we get, or at least every world worth of star coins we get, we unlock another level in world nine. That's why there are eight different levels in this world. So we're gonna be going through every single one and getting all three star coins to 100% complete the game, except for everything we'll be showcasing in the bonus episode. So there are no secret exits, anything crazy going on. It's just really tough levels and three star coins to get in every single one. So you would maybe imagine that each world would be representative of a world, or at least each level would be representative of a world in the game. And you would be right, but it's not in linear order. I think it's actually more in order of difficulty than anything else. But yeah, that's sort of the idea you're gonna be looking for here, is that this is obviously a level based off of World 7. The thing is, it's not in linear order. Order 9-1 is not based off of World 1, but you do need to get every star coins in World 1 to unlock it. So it does get a little bit weird, but I think we'll be able to work with it just fine. Now, if I remember correctly, these levels can be really, really difficult. Oh gosh, there we go. And all I have to worry about is the star coins, so I'll try to be careful where I can so I don't get hit unnecessarily or uh, miss any of the star coins, but I think that as long as I can just have a good memory of where most of the star coins are, or at least be diligent enough to find them, hopefully things won't be too bad. There are a couple levels I'm sort of dreading going against, but we'll run into them when we do. Right now, I might have to be worried about, oh gosh, all of this nonsense, because I don't know if we can go into any of these pipes. Not yet, not yet, but I'm pretty sure there will be at least one that we can go in. Is it this one? Oh, it is! Will this be? Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where the uh, third star coin is. Yep, right here. So you could just jump off and land on that Koopa if you needed to, but since we have the propeller cap, that is pretty useful. We still have the propeller cap from the final boss of last episode, so that's been pretty helpful. Now let's just try to survive, because you might have noticed that there's no checkpoint on this level. I don't think there's going to be one. We just gotta survive till the end. And I'm pretty sure that's a common theme with a lot of these levels, is that they don't have checkpoints, so there we go. There's that done. So there's our first level of World 9. Not too bad, to be honest with you, especially with the propeller cap. It makes it a ton easier. So that's my big suggestion. If you're having a hard time with that level, propeller cap is gonna be your main power up to worry about. And there's a toad in World 9, 8. Okay, usually toads don't pop up until you complete it all. Weird. Okay, whatever. 9-2, I'm pretty sure this is a tough one. I might be saying that for like every level though. <laughs> okay, actually, I don't know. I don't remember this one too much. It might not be so bad. Can I go in this pipe? I cannot. I will have to be careful because this guy's not gonna be fun to deal with. I'm tempted to get a like a fire flower or ice flower or whatever will give me, oh, you know what? I remember this one. So there is a new mechanic going on in this level, sort of, kind of. We've had platforms where we stand on them and they'll go up or down, but none that look exactly like these ones. Okay, we got a Koopa that we can get like this. Oh boy, leave me alone, Mr. Fish. We can get a couple power-ups that way. Don't exactly need any of it, but it's nice to know it's there. Oh yeah, I do remember this. So if we wanna go down this way, we have to w wait for this to sort of line up with the pipe and then go in. Oh, and it's just this. Okay, this might be a bit scary though with that big old fish trying to eat, eat us. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, I did it, I did it. Keep moving, keep moving. Big fish is trying to eat you a lot in this level. It's not fun. But maybe if we well time a, there we go, well time a Koopa shell, we can get something nice. Uh, I might wanna try to go into that pipe if I can. I don't know if it's necessary though. I might wanna try to wait for you. You're gonna pop out of the pipe and then you're gonna retract and then I'm gonna try to go up and then there's a giant fish trying to eat me now. I don't like it. Can we get another Koopa shell? Oh boy, that might work. Oh, look at that, perfect timing. We're on a roll so far today. There's no star coin up here. I'm pretty sure I remember where the last star coin is, but I also am pretty sure I remember it being tough. I think it has something to do with all of this. So I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to hold a Koopa shell for too long or I'll end up uh, getting hurt. Oh gosh, oh no, oh, what, what happened? I fell, I was pressing the A button, but I guess I wasn't pressing it enough. Oh no, 
That's really bad. <laughs> I gotta do it all again. We were doing so well, too. Okay, so I'm doing all right. Well, now this is gonna get risky. Oh boy, oh boy. I went right under him there. That was really scary, I don't like it. So what is this power up gonna be? It's gonna be another ice flower, which I don't really need because ice flowers don't really have much of a use against this guy. So they really do give you the uh, worst possible power up. Oh, I know what I gotta do here. Okay, so I gotta stand right like this. Got it. Got it. Yes, okay, so now that we've done that part, I just need to dodge you and then duck under and then duck under again and then, oh, oh, got it, okay. Jeez, run out of here. I don't even care if I get hit as, least, as long as it's not too much. Oh, okay, so you can freeze them, but just for a moment, get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's insanity. But we did it, nine to de definitely a difficult level. We survived, we made it through. And now we can do the next one. It's just gonna be difficult level after difficult level, slowly ramping up. 9-3. Now it's either 9-3 or 9-4 that I know is really, really difficult. Oh, it's this one. So this is, of course, a, a level based off of World Ow. Uh, <laughs> World 7. The previous level was based off of World 3 with the uh, beach level. Or is that World 4? No, that's World 3, I think. Oh, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Anyways, bounce off of you, bounce off of you, bounce off of you. Can we get some one-ups here? We probably should, but it adds yet another new mechanic, which is the homing bullet bills. And they are not fun to deal with, I tell you what. I think this is yet another level that would be really helpful with a propeller cap. Unfortunately, they are not interested in giving you one. The, oh gosh. You know what would be really nice here is probably having this power block. Oh geez. You know what? <laughs> I just wanna get out of here. I don't know, right here maybe? No, that wasn't right. I don't know if that was supposed to get me a star coin or something. I really hope not, because I really don't like those ones. I do see this pipe down this way. This should be something. Uh, It is indeed a star coin. Oh, I only have so much time to do this as well. I think it's this way. It's a bit of a maze. We've had you know, a little star coin like this in New Super Mario Bros. DS, but it wasn't timed. This one is. And then we can just go through this pipe and it launches back up. That was the first star coin. So luckily enough, I haven't missed anything yet. But if I remember correctly, there is a really difficult section to this level that I'm not going to enjoy doing. We'll, we'll get there, all right. Does any of this have the propeller cap? Can you get out of here? Thank you. That's another ice flower. They really like giving you a lot of ice flowers. Oh, now I remember. We have, I guess they're homing bullet bills, or bonsai bills, as you can see. Okay, so we need a bonsai bill over this way if one can show up. Okay, you're gonna show up this way. Uh, not really what I was looking for, to be honest with you. Okay, so one of these guys would be helpful. Thank you. Oh, where did we miss one? Hold up. Where is this other star coin? Oh gosh, we're gonna have to do this again uh, because I'm way too far out this way to go back. Oh great, I don't like it. It definitely had something to do with that pal block. It had to. I don't trust it. Oh gosh, oh, I don't like this at all. Come on, can we just get to the end of this level? Cash in the star coins that we have that were pretty gosh darn difficult, that'd be good. Okay, we made it. So this is gonna shoot some more. Oh, get out of here with that. I don't even want your one up, I don't need it. I'm definitely gonna get at least a mushroom before we head back into that level to try to find that star coin. Wherever could it be? I'm guessing it has to be the pow block, probably over a pit or something ridiculous. So, give me a mushroom and let's head back in. I don't know if we'll have enough power-ups to last us through everything, but I, I sure hope so. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, let's take a good look for this thing. I mean, maybe it's just between wherever the pipe spits you back out and where you entered it. That can always happen, actually it happens quite often. But I'm going to take that power block just in case. After I deal with some of these bullet bills and Koopas and anything else that might be in my way. Jeez, it just, it never ends. Never ever ends. So I mean, I don't really see too much of a use for this pal block. There's the pipe. Oh, maybe it's just up here. Okay. Probably, because this is a pipe I definitely haven't entered. Okay, okay, I got up. Cool. So if I just moved slightly to the left, I would have gotten this. Okay, well, out of, like, if I left the pipe for the first star coin, we could have just gone and gotten this, probably. I'm hoping this is the star coin. It has to be, right? Run across all of these, jump. Got it, got it, got it, jump again, jump another time, and there it is, that's a fun one. I really like these ones where you have to do these like crazy platforming feats. I wish they were more like that. Okay, so now we have the hard part again. I'm gonna try to make my way through it a little bit more quickly. 
but uh, at the same time, I probably shouldn't be reckless. Once again, there are no checkpoints for these levels, so if bad things happen, I just sort of have to uh, do it all again. Okay, I got to this platform, hop off of that, go like this, oh, that was so close. Come on, last jump, I can make it just like that. Oh, we somehow did that. I don't know how I did, but I did. Okay, we're gonna jump off of you and just totally ignore the other dude. We made it, we got through World 9-3, that's definitely one of the more difficult ones. Took two tries, but that's okay. They're gonna take a couple tries. I'm still really dreading, I think it's 9-7 is definitely gonna be the most difficult one. But 9-4, that's what we have to worry about right now. Hopefully this one won't be too bad. I can't remember. Oh no, this one, what, what, what happened there? I accidentally pressed down. That was awkward. <laughs> That's one way to lose a life. Get the mushroom again. I did not mean to do that, I promise. This one's not fun. It's an auto-scrolling level, which really just sums up how awful it can be. I remember being stuck on this one for maybe even like hours. I wouldn't say this is the most difficult one, because, I don't know, I just don't think it is, but it definitely can get pretty close to it. Can I pick you up to get rid of this guy in the ice block? Yes, I can. I can throw you that way. It can sometimes just be quite the challenge. Okay, so we got our life back. Too bad I somehow really messed that up. The most difficult star coin in the game, at least in my opinion, is in World 9-7. So that's what makes it such a treacherous level. But, oh boy. Oh, ho, 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 be careful. There we go, got rid of him. But this level, overall, from beginning to end is just a top level. So we wanna grab this power block, but try to time it so it gets rid of all these bob bombs while these prana plants are sort of lighting up the bob bombs, or at least as many as I can possibly, oh my gosh, that was just me being bad. And then get up here and get star coin numero, numero uno. I was gonna say numero, I was like, that's not correct. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of pipes going around here. And obviously this one is supposed to be in some way inspired by World 2. I mean, it, it inspires the difficulty of World 2, but honestly, there aren't really many pipe-inspired levels in World 2. So here's the tough part, and this is probably where the second most difficult star coin in the game pops up, is that these only go down when there's at least two units on them. So try to juggle that, it gets really difficult soon enough, especially when there's a star coin we need to get. Is this the one I'm thinking of? I don't think it is. This one's tough, but not as tough as some of the other ones, I think, or one of the other ones. Or maybe it is this one, oh gosh. Because we need to get this, and then... There we go, we somehow did that on the first try. I am very impressed. We still got more to go, though. Got that power up, getting rid of you as soon as possible would be great. I don't like it, I don't like it one bit. I'm gonna pick up this, uh, do I need this for a star coin? I might. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so we gotta like, wait for these two bob bombs to sort of do their thing. And I'm gonna try, oh, do I? Oh, okay, I do remember what I gotta do here. First off, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I need this to go back up, I need this to go back up. Cause I need you. I remember what we gotta do. I gotta remember. I remember. We no. <laughs> that is so not fair. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. We're supposed to freeze that piranha plant, and then we're supposed to hop on top of them and go in that pipe. I'm almost positive that's what we have to do. That is such an awful star coin. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. We got it. Oh my gosh, that is such a ridiculously difficult star coin because you have to keep your ice power there, you won't be able to do it, but also the bob bombs are shooting you overhead so you can't rush it, but if you hit him with the ice ball and you take too much time, you can break out of the ice. It's just like there's so many factors it makes for a very ridiculous situation and I do not like it. But we survived it, which is awesome, and that also means we can move up here to world 9-5 and do the next one. I am just still flabbergasted on how difficult that is. It's just insanity. It, let, it helps you end a level a little earlier. Oh, I remember this one. I don't think this one's so bad. I think it's a, a, pretty fun. I think there's one star coin in it you practically cannot get though without a propeller cap, and the level doesn't give it to you for no reason, which is a, a weird problem this world has. And I think that this game has it from time to time as well, where it's like, okay, we have this star coin for you, but there's literally no way you can feasibly get it. 
without just having a power from another level. Like, I don't think that's really fun design. I think that's usually just annoying to have to play the same level twice. Not because you maybe failed at getting the power up in the level by just not playing well enough, but it was never in the level in the first place. Now I'm sure, oh, come on. Did we just, did we just miss out on that star coin already? Okay, this is not a good start. That darn penguin was in the way. I'm just gonna let this guy take me out so that we can try all that again. Okay, gonna try to be careful because apparently just silly stuff can happen. Okay, so we just need to belly slide. Oh, I guess it doesn't really work. Thought that would take him out, but not really. Oh boy, the penguins are just such a pain in the butt, even with the penguin suit. You'd think it would just make it much easier, but not quite. I just gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, dude, I wasn't expecting that. What does this button do? Probably just gives us a platform right there. Is it permanent? I think so, there's no timer noise. Oh boy, oh, he's following me. <laughs> Why would I need that if I could just wall jump up? Oh gosh, uh, maybe because of that. Ready, set. Oh, come on, that's so awkward, I don't like it. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. Okay, uh, these guys are just bouncing between each other right now, it's a total mess. So upcoming is the really difficult star coin that I actually, I don't know if it's even possible to get without a propeller cap, so let's make sure we check around. That's just a penguin soon. So let's check this out, see what I can do. I'm pretty sure it's up and around here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. First off, let's get some of these blocks. Uh, this, can I duck under this? I sure hope so, but that didn't do too much for me. Okay, now I'm up here, and now I'm up this way. Oh man, I don't entirely remember this. Oh, you know what, is it right there? So yeah, this is where it gets really weird, and I don't really get it. Like clearly I can jump on one of these blocks and then I can, but how are you supposed to make a jump at that angle? That's the part that makes no sense. Okay, you know what? Maybe these red coins can help me out. Now that I'm just normal Mario, oh my gosh. Too bad ice physics are awful all the time. I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? No, of course not. Ah, oh, this level, it's not as bad, or not as bad as in terms of difficulty, as some of the other levels, but man, is it a headache, no matter what. What if I freeze you? Oh! Yeah, what if I freeze you? Okay, now you're frozen, let's hope you stay. Oh, I think he just broke his frozenness. Not quite yet, but his friend did, so they do break in their frozenness. They don't just last that way forever. It's not an easy thing to throw. You can't sail ne next to the big one either. Um, there it is. Can I land on it? I can, no, I just slipped off. Oh, that is, and now I don't have a Ice Mario. This is an awful star coin. I, I do implore that instead of doing this, you just go whatever and you get, because I, I can't do it now. I don't have any other frozen Marios. That's really, really dumb. I, I, I implore that you just go and get a propeller cap and save yourself a headache. So it is possible. I never actually knew that that was actually how you did that. I am not doing it that way. I'd rather save myself an hour of trial and error and just go ahead and just do a propeller cap. So that's exactly what I'll do if I don't die here. Oh my gosh. I am really bad at this game. So another predicament was actually getting to this point in the level with the propeller cap, but I was able to do it just barely. And then we just hop down and do that. I do not like it one bit, but that's that's all we had to do. Now we can actually complete the level and hopefully not totally fail and fall flat on our face right at the end. I think we'll be fine. This time I got the power cap, so if I make a silly mistake like I did before, it should be fine. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, got it. Okay, so go ahead and get that one up, and we are good. We are getting out of here. That level is not fun to deal with. But we are more than halfway through them all, which is great. We're at 9.5 now, now we just have 9.6, 9.7, and 9.8. We're actually making some decent time. After you cut out all the fails, I'm sure this episode might not be too long, but 9.6 shouldn't be too bad, right? I think this one's not so bad to prepare us. Oh, no, actually, this one's pretty difficult. This is, of course, based off of World. Oh yeah, World 3 is the Ice World, so that's what I was getting mixed up before. But uh, last, the last level was based off of World 3. Uh, this level is obviously based off of World 8, and there are just constant platforms dipping in and out of the lava. Propeller Cap makes this one a bit of a breeze as well, but it can still be a bit of a challenge because there'll just be gaps of land that are a little bit more difficult than you can manage to just Propeller Cap over. If I needed coins, I'd go ahead and grab some of those, but I do not 
And for now, I'm just gonna try to survive against this jerk, because he's surely gonna make things more difficult for me. And those, I was not expecting those to turn into the coins for whatever reason. I should have. And he is a little bit of a tough one, but as long as we uh, have the propeller cap, once again, it's quite easy. This level can be a bit of a challenge, but as long as he has some propeller caps left over, and I, I know I have completed a lot of these levels without power-ups going into them. I just prefer not to do that today. Uh, well, I gotta do it now. <laughs> I'll play through the level again with you guys along for the ride, just because I feel like it is a much different level without the propeller cap that maybe we should check it out like that. For this one specifically, it could be worthwhile. Next level though, mm, I don't care what we have to do just to get it done. If that's a propeller cap, if that's anything else. But this is a bit of a problem because you have to sort of follow the platforms in a weird way. And once again, lava, one hit takedown. So if we make any kind of mistake, it's gonna be game over. I'll have to try it again. But luckily, the first two star coins really aren't that bad. I think the third one's tough, but I can't remember. I think that's one of the ones I'm like, just whatever, get a, get a propeller cap. So it was perfect timing. We died where, where we did. And it was like 100% my own fault. Okay, yeah, dodge all of that. And then we just gotta wait for this lava pillar, fire pillar, whatever it is, and try to ignore this guy as much as possible. Did those head towards me? Come on, that's not cool. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that any more than I have to. Okay, so there is a red coin thing over this way. Ooh, that was really easy. But oh no, what, what happened? I pressed the jump button as much as pressing the jump button you can do. I don't understand. Okay, there we go. Much better. <laughs> I am not good at this game. Okay, so we have another fire flower. Oh boy. Just in case I need it. This is where things get a little scary because this thing's gonna fall down like that and then I'm trying to just be ready for it. It is not easy to time and I'm just sort of getting lucky. Okay, so this is another one that's a little weird and that's just a much easier task when you have the propeller cap. Getting it isn't too bad. Going back? That's another story. Ah, uh, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, ho, ho, not a bad jump there. Now it's just trying to make our way back. I need to jump right when it's at its high point so we can do that and then do this. Like I said, if you're having a hard time with it, propeller cap is your answer really, or playing with multiple players. That's sort of, honestly, if you're looking for an easier way to get every star coin in the game, multiple players is almost always the answer. That way you can sort of both get power-ups, you both can have a couple tries at it. That's usually the best answer. That's why some of these feel so hard in single players. I feel like they were made so that they weren't just all super easy in multiplayer. Anyways, I am not looking forward to this level. World 9-7, based off of World 5, it is the frozen jungle. So it's a little bit of a mishmash, but you might see that everything, ow, has frozen blocks around it. And to add to the madness, we also have fire spitting piranha plants. So what do you know? They're gonna be melting the blocks for us, which is not good because all of the ground are these little guys, which are actually returned from Super Mario World and we don't see them anywhere else in the game. So another thing in World 9, that must've just been like a scrapped idea. Can I just get up here, please? Thank you. And then we have these things right here, which are little Goombas and little eggs, nests. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Oh gosh, please stop. <laughs> and just every time I throw one of these fireballs, the level gets a little bit more difficult. But I sort of have to do it because of the enemies that are everywhere. So it's just like, pick your poison. So I don't know why there's so many different like weird little ideas with this level that were never approached in the actual game too much, but I sort of like it. So this is where things get really scary because we need to get this star coin, right? And that was such a dumb idea because I just destroyed so much of my own platform. What I should have done there is I, I should have faced the right of it. Come on, Mario, stop! And now we have to do that again because, what? That fi the fire bro fell off his platform. I've never seen that happen before. That makes this moderately easier, but also not because we need to hop down there, but also make sure that we survive for long enough so that we can get back up. So it's just like, uh, why? Why is it that bad? I'm gonna go ahead and get, I don't know. I mean, I could just go ahead and start with a star. Let's try that. Let's start with a star and also a fire flower. This might be a really bad idea, but it also might be great. We'll have to see. And I gotta make sure for that second star coin, I need to face to the left of the star coin. Or it's to the right of the star coin, but the star coin is to our left. 
Okay, look at how nice this is. Uh, looks like we still slide on ice when we're in star power, but it at least helps us get through the part of the level we already survived. We know we can do this, ow. And then I get hit with that, which actually might be a problem, because if I don't get another fire flower soon. Wow, wow, Mario, what do you do? I don't want you to wall jump. I want you to proceed forward like you have done the entire game. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and move this way. Plop down like that, that is so much smarter. So what we're gonna do here is this ducking cover. Yeah, we did it, we did it, okay, great stuff. So I don't know what caused this guy to fall off his platform like that, I've never seen that happen before, but if we could, yes, no, maybe. Come on, get rid of this jerk. Okay, he's made this so much more difficult, but somehow we were able to get rid of both fire bros. No, stop with this ice physics madness, I don't like it anymore, we're getting out of here. I don't know how that took me as few tries as it did, but man, that is usually something that takes me forever. That is by far the hardest level in the game. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, I would love to hear your opinions on what the hardest level in the game is, in your opinion, but for me, I think that is by far the hardest level. Okay, so, 9-8 is actually a bit of a breeze. I'm gonna let us just sort of hop into it normally and see how things go. Maybe we'll save our first toad ever in this entire adventure. I'll be showcasing that a little bit more in the bonus episode uh, that comes up next episode, what do you know? But this is, in all technicality, the final level in the game. I think the toad is in here, but honestly, I think he's gonna be a little bit difficult to handle right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let him do his own thing. And for whatever reason, there's Waluigi symbols in this level for no reason. You know, that might be hinting something. Oh, maybe there's a game with Waluigi coming up. No, never happened. I don't know if they were planning something, but I don't think, like this was another one that had a Waluigi symbol, unless it's supposed to not be. Maybe I'm being a total dingus, it's not supposed to be a Waluigi symbol, and instead it's supposed to be in the shape of a coin? You know what, that might make a lot more sense. Anyways, I'm really messing this up. All I gotta do is get some mushrooms and then hit another block, and I should be able to get it from Power Cap, but I might be able to get one here. Oh, lucky me, sort of, kind of. Getting it might be a bit of a difficult situation. I'm not gonna be able to get that, am I? Oh, uh, nope, not happening. Goodbye, oh, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be an easy level and somehow I'm making it difficult so far. But we got all these guys bouncing around as you've probably been able to notice. Oh, come on, no. And it's an auto-scrolling level, which is probably its only point of difficulty is the auto-scrolling part. But things get a little crazy here in a moment. Obviously a bit inspired by World 7 with this sky kind of things going on. Go ahead and get that. Oh, it's a mini Mario mushroom. Is that really gonna be worth my while? I don't know why it gives you this. But that has to be, oh look, it's in the shape of a bullet bill. I wonder why that could be, oh my gosh, giant bullet bill, you can't land on him. Well, I don't know why I tried that. <laughs> I really don't know why I tried that. Oh no, I can't believe I died on this level, I'm the worst. I'm like saying, oh these levels are so tough, this is the easy one. And then I like totally fail on it. It's the last level of the game. I can go ahead and use a propeller cap. We didn't save that toad, so the toad went away. Oh gosh, try this again. B, I'm thinking that maybe I was a total dingus and it's supposed to sort of be in the symbol of a coin, not Waluigi. Because if you look at it, it's supposed to be like the indentation in the center of the coin. <laughs> but you know what? I've made my own little lore now. I'm gonna pretend it's a Waluigi symbol. I guess if I had one more coin on the uh, the smaller part of the L, it would make a lot more sense, but I'm the full of nonsense, aren't I? Oh gosh, I don't like the mini Mario jumping around. That's literally the sole purpose of that thing is just to make this more difficult for no reason except for to make the level more difficult. So I'm trying to avoid that while also be ready for whatever propeller cap might show up next. I think it'll be, well first off we get another one up which I guess is okay. But I think this one should have, no that's a mini Mario. Stop it with that, I don't need a mini Mario. I need the opposite, I need big Mario and a propeller cap. Come on, keep moving this way. Don't get hit by these guys. Don't get hit by them. Come on, where is the propeller cap at? Oh, can I get that? That was a pretty easy way to get that star coin. I like it. Keep moving. I gotta survive with what I got. Don't make this too difficult for myself. Just keep going. So we know that we can't land on those giant bullet bills. They're bigger than bonsai bills, but they also look a little bit more smiley than them. Okay, what, what, what? Okay, there it is. I just need to actually get to it. Yeah, we got it! So let's just stay up here for now if we can. Just like that, excuse me, mister. <laughs> he, he, there's nothing stopping him, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, got another one. So I guess wherever the queens are, oh, come on, I'm so bad. Jeez. 
<laughs> we gotta just pay attention to the coins and maybe we'll turn out okay. So I need to bounce off of all of that. Uh, miss this one and a couple others. Oh, I am really bad at this game. Propeller cap, propeller cap and not a good spot. That's for sure. Okay, 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 be careful. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Can we hit this? That'll just be another mini Mario. What about this one? There's a propeller cap. I'm gonna hold on to it until I need it. Oh, he's coming in from the left side now. I think that's the case. This gets really ridiculous, but it's not supposed to be all that difficult. I'm just making it difficult because I'm bad. Okay, ooh, look at that. Okay, so it's actually trying to tell me where the next bull pill will be. It sort of sneaks it in there. But let me try to end the level before it gets here, boop. <laughs> See ya, dude. And there we have it. Every single level in the game completed with every single star coin. Oh my gosh. That was quite the journey now, wasn't it? And as you might be able to see, yeah! Yahoo! You found all the star coins in world nine. You've now collected all the star coins in every world.